Hey everyone, it's Fia, back again with another Twitch VOD for you. This one's from the 16th of February, 2022. Uh, and it was Heartbreaker Runs, again, because it's still Lovers in the Air, and it hadn't dropped, and it's, look, it's fine. Uh, and then afterwards, we did some pet battling, because it's a regular stream day, and so I didn't chop it off right when I'd finished my runs. So, <laughs> uh, you can find me live at twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama. If you tack a slash schedule onto that, it'll convert my live times to your time zone, so you can figure out when I'm going live in your local time because I find that that's a useful thing to have. Uh, and you can find all my social links, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all that fun stuff down in the description box underneath the video. I hope you enjoy the VOD as much as we enjoyed do doing it. Do you do a, I don't know, but um, keep your ears peeled. Yeah, for, for Tim Tams, Penguins and Baja Blast. Enjoy. Hello. Where am I? Oh, for goodness sake. It's been logged. I've logged out of captions. And there we go. Hello. Testing. There we go. Hi. Greetings. Uh, let's start us up a battle. Hi, the sun well. The ah! Oh, Jackie, thank you so much for the resub. 13 months with a nine month streak. My God, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it so much. Good God. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's me. Greetings. Uh, good. Okay. Let's get cracking. Mm, let's get, let's get going. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ, that's so many hydrates. Well done, Zam on first. Shiba on second. X with, ooh, just, mm. Look, this is why I like that it actually, like, says. Now it's cool, yes. Um, 69th. Uh, unfortunately, Koala, if you stick the exclamation right on the end of it, it thinks it's all part of the command, so it doesn't respond. Fun fact. Uh, third for X. An F from Zam. There we go, Koala. Fantastic. 69th for Koala. A boogie from X as well. All of the goddamn hydrates. Mother of God. Good afternoon, Apathy and Seeker. Too slow, but that's okay. Last for Yori. A baby jazz from Seeker. Hello, Jason. Good morning, afternoon, and or evening, Nutty. To you too. A bone storm from Zam. Let me confer with my sources. No. A hydrate from X. Hello, Lucky. This time I'm early. Welcome on in, Daz. Welcome on in. Well done, Fairy. Hello, welcome in. Hello, Cinders. Early for these Cinders to catch the VODs more often than not. Time zones are a bitch. Time zones are a bitch. It is Fia. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. What are the butts? Oh, how do, are you getting currency again, Seeker? Or are you still? Is it still not thinking? I only just now thought about preconceived ideas people might have about me from vids. New anxiety trigger. I mean, I, I'm not sure if this will help or make it worse. And part of me is saying just keep your fucking mouth shut so it doesn't do any damage. But um, everyone has preconceived ideas about everyone, even before they get to, like, so we we know a bit about you. We don't know you. Like, we don't know you know you. It's it's practically impossible to get to know somebody on that level only over the internet with anonymity involved. But we do know some things about you. The things I've learned about you, I, I feel privileged to have learned about you. Um, and I'm sure I probably do have some preconceived ideas. Um, things that I have kind of assumed to fill in gaps and things like that. Um, but everyone does about everyone. You can see a username on a screen, not even seeing what they've said. You can see a username in, in black and white, no, no chosen colors like we have in Twitch and all that kind of stuff, no badges, no nothing. You can see just a username and the human brain in all of its magnificent glory will build an entire persona out of a single fucking word or mush together of letters. 
being a username. Uh, the human brain will generate an entire human. We will we will decide their gender, their hair color, their their the fate, the way that their face shape is, their their eye color, all this kind of shit. Um, even if we don't actually think that we're doing it, we don't actually do it consciously. We have all of this, which is why when you learn something about someone, you go, "Oh, interesting." It's not that you didn't think. Like if someone says, "Oh, I'm a guy," it's like, "Oh, okay." It's not necessarily that you didn't think, it's not necessarily that you thought they were a girl or non-binary. It's that your, your, like your image in your head, your preconceived notion may or may not have had that in, you've learned something to add to the picture. And so something, it might not have actually changed, but it's solidified in, in this image you have in your head. Everyone does that. We can't help it. It's just the the human brain doesn't like unknowns, and so it it slots things in to fill out the picture. Uh, it's also a um, it's also a survival instinct. Um, part of, like things like pattern recognition and things like that. But um, like our, the human brain fills in gaps that we don't have knowledge about as a, as a like survival instinct. Think about when you see a tiger through like trees and long grass and stuff and you only see slivers of tiger, but your brain knows it's a fucking tiger. It knows it's not just bits of orange that are just kind of sitting in, in isolation. It knows that that's a tiger and then it tells us to get the fuck out of there. So in order to, like, we have these preconceived ideas as a safety feature in our brains. We fill in those gaps without realizing in order to preserve our sanity, in order to keep ourselves safe, that kind of stuff. Like, I assume that everyone I'm speaking to is human. I could be wrong. There is incredible tech out there. There could be uh, an animal with a thing of, like, by, like, you know, the brain net thing on, managing to somehow type into Twitch chat through some random program that a human has designed. Like, I don't know that that's not happening. But I have that assumption because of other experiences that I've had. Do you know what I mean? I don't think, like, everyone is going to have preconceived ideas about everyone, and you have preconceived ideas about us as well. I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think that's a bad thing. Uh, will Fear get them out tonight? Yes. Type too quickly, like, that's okay. I thought you were just like really excited and so you were like 69th, but then the bot can't recognize it because there's an extra character on there. Um, there's the dad girl. Uh, sad thing is, I'm in Oz, I just work a lot. That's all right. And look, people have different schedules and stuff as well. Some people work evenings and afternoons and nights. Um, not everyone works a nine to five. Hello, I'm a person who doesn't work a nine to five. Well, I have uh, my day job is a nine to five, nine to five thirty. But um, the, my second job, my night job, is precisely that. It's a night job. It's not a. It's not a nine to five. So nothing wrong with that either. I love from Chile. Happy to see you again. Hello, try. I think you may have done the wrong. You may have accidentally redeemed that there because that's not a quote. So I'll refund that to you. Um, but hello, hello, welcome back. Yeah, uh, that's that's broken. Maybe I need to restart. I didn't get a chance to restart my PC last night because um, as soon as I finished streaming, I popped up Vegas and started rendering a YouTube video. Um, but maybe before I start tonight's render, I should um, I should restart the PC and see if that helps. That's really odd. Uh, nice accordion top you're wearing. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Ways to wander Sky Terror. No. Um, right. You know what's really funny is wearing lashes and like rolling your eyes and having them like tickle your eyebrows. It feels super strange. Highly recommend you try that sometime. Also highly recommend that you put lashes on and wear them for an hour or two and then peel them off. There is no feeling comparable. It is the, it's, 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 it's an interesting sensation. Don't grab your lashes, just grab the fake ones. But it's, it is an incomparable sensation. So, like, it's kind of like, you know, pulling on tight jeans, like skinny jeans, over freshly shaved legs. There's not quite any other feelings like it. Yeah, highly recommend you give it a try just to see. Uh, so I have a, a brown in my crease. It's a dark brown. And then I have a cooler dark brown. So, like, think about, think about if you took a, a, a dark brown and then, like, 
took the warmth out of it, took the red tones out of it, made it a bit cooler. Um, that so, But they're kind of indistinguishable on camera, which I'm like, fuck. Uh, so, but there's those two different shades of brown, dark brown, one dark, uh, one, one warmer, one cooler. Uh, then I have metallic red on my lids. And there's a little pop of gold on the inner corner. And I've got a, a uh, yellow eyeliner on the bottom one that might have all rubbed off by now because my eyeline uh, just hates eyeliner. It just eats it. Um, but yeah, that's what we've got. Uh, I own it and it flies. Uh, box. Uh, she with the queens really don't like you. Yeah, or Seeker. They're, it's just, bro I don't know what's, I don't know what I've done. I don't know what I've done. Uh, I'm just not having any boxes starting day. I have lots to open last day and get mecha disappointed. Why would you do, but why? What if you got it tomorrow? Then you'd have to do all these runs for the rest of the fucking week and you wouldn't have had to have done it because you got it from yes from, from tomorrow's box. Don't do that. That's a silly idea. Like, like, no offense to you personally, but like, good lord. It's just no, you'd potentially be wasting so much time. Then again, I am I am exceptionally time poor. Like I can't I have no time to do fucking anything. So that's um that is an un yeah, I could never. I could never. Um Okay, howdy, Zarin. How you going? So glad I don't need to go outside today. The wind isn't happy. Oh dear. Oh, I sh actually, let me just double check in the thingy. Who was it? Because I got another package today. Package. Package. It was from, oh, it was from Anon. Okay, I don't know who Anon is. Um, but I got the, um, it's a, a top that comes across, it's like a, a straight neckline and then straps. Uh, and it's white with like black tartan over the top and then it laces up with black ribbons up the sides, a dress that arrived today. The last of that first batch of Yes Style stuff. And I love it. I tried it on and Jas helped me lace up the sides. Uh, there's not, it's not a gap, it's all fabric, but then it's got like loops stitched onto it and then you thread the, yeah, it's not like a, a clubbing dress or anything like that. It's just got some fancy bits on it. Um, thank you, Jack, for the quick cue. Uh, so that arrived today and I'm very happy about it. Also my order from Mecca, uh, not through Throne, not through Throne, but um, I bought a thing from Mecca and I also got my birthday gift and it's really funny because my oil cleanser that um, I've been using for literally years at this point, uh, it's from Bare Minerals, has been discontinued and they've replaced it with another cleansing oil that they claim is the same, but the recipe, like the ingredients are entirely different. So I'm like, I'm really nervous about it. I don't know if it's going to work with my skin. I've still got half a bottle of the old stuff left. So I'm just, I'm going to use that up and then I'm going to try the new stuff. Um, and if that doesn't work for me, my birthday gift from Mecca this year was a bottle of cleansing oil from their in-house brand, Mecca Cosmetica. So I got, um, I, got an, I got two bottles of cleansing oil, except the one I bought is 180 mil and the one in the present was 30 mil, which will get burned through in probably under a month. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. If I like it, that's a really good thing. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, I love that top. Thank you, Kim. I have it in like a deep emerald green as well. This is something from Throne. This is this was purchased for me as a gift through Throne. Uh, who was it from? Rumple Claws. This is from Rump. This is from Rump. He's one of the mods here. One of the mods, he's American, so he doesn't get to hang out and chat with us as often as he might like because the time zones are a bitch and he has a family and a job and all that kind of shit and apparently, like most humans, needs sleep. So, um, yeah, but he's, he's so, so, so lovely. Uh, and yeah, he, he bought a few things off the wish list when I first, uh, first kicked it off. Um, and yeah, so this one, this one is from him and I like it lotsly. I like it lotsly. It's gonna be like almost almost every stream now. I just realized I have my earrings in. Fuck, I'm a wanker. Um, every almost every stream now, I've got enough bits and pieces that it's gonna be like, oh, thank you. It's a gift from such and such, which is like mind. Wait, I was telling mum because it's my mum's birthday today, and I called her to wish her well. Uh, and we were talking about my wish list and how redonkulous my birthday was, uh, and about Zerin. Um, being exceptionally generous and about everyone with the 
hype train and all the, the and explaining to her what throne is and she was very worried at first i'm like no 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 it's privacy no one gets my address except for the company and then i don't get to see their billing details either so it's like it's privacy and protection for both of us on both ends which is real i love that i think that's absolutely fantastic um because safety first um but yeah so um and she was just she's like my god your your family are just so generous i'm like yeah yeah, I, I, I do not know how the hell I managed to build this place, but, like, good lord, I am so grateful. So eternally thankful. Um, I actually have clothing I can wear that doesn't have holes in it now. Um, but it's from YesStyle. I can, I think I can drop a link. Let me, details, I think. Yeah, I can. This is the, I'll drop the link. That's, oh, is this gonna be really long? It is, actually, let me think. Shorten, copy. This is an affiliate link. There you go, I've dropped a link in chat. It is an affiliate link. Um, I am an affiliate with YesStyle. Uh, and if you, if you use my link and or use my discount code, which is Fiamma29, um, you will not only get a discount, uh, but I will also make uh, a couple bucks, potentially. And that money can be either cashed out and used to spend on dentistry, uh, or if I don't have enough to cash out, I can use it as a discount on my own orders. So if I need to buy more clothes, I can do so and use my commission as a discount. Um, yeah. Uh, Obsidian Gravewing. No, wrong, I'm Shiba. I, I, in my head, canon is that you're responding to Seeker. There, Shiba. Uh, but no, it's not the Obsidian Gravewing, but it's a very good call, like a very good guess. Because it is very similar. Oh, I'm a rogue. Shit, I need to be in melee range. Um, it's very, very close coloring. Um, so many cowards in this chat. My god, Sam. Any moth you have. Moth. I have some mammoths. Do they count? Sorry. Um, dusk flutter. I think those are the only two that, yeah, I don't have the other two. So, let's go with the ready pink one today. I like the amber one. I mean, I like both of them. I think they're both really cool and intricate and look beautiful. Uh, but I'm in the, I'm in a warmer mood today, I think. Uh, our brain needs to fill in the missing gap. Do you have a point? I guess I had to come to terms with people in chat and Discord doing that. I hadn't even considered other people watching VODs. Uh, even though I watch them, yeah, that's, you're right. Like, I, I mean, to be honest, if they're going to be making assumptions about anyone, not to sound self-centered, but it's probably going to be me. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I didn't think about that either. Like, I guess you kind of, like, I guess I've been online for such a long time that it's just kind of like, I know I do it with other people and I know other people do it with me and there's not, there's nothing I can do about it. The only thing I could possibly do to fend off preconceived notions about myself is to be even more open. And I'm not really willing to do that. I feel like I do deserve to have some things that I keep to myself. And if other people want to make assumptions about that, then that's their prerogative. They can do that. Um, but I'm, it's either I expose my entire life and, and talk about everything in minute detail, or I accept that there's going to be assumptions made about me. And fuck, even the stuff I do talk massively openly about, like, you know, how I got onto the launcher and all that kind of shit, people still assume I slept my way in. Like, <laughs> no matter what I do, there's going to be assumptions out there. Um, uh, a lot of people say, you know, that's part of the package when you put yourself online like this. Uh, and they're right, however, that doesn't mean I deserve them. There's there's a difference. It is part and parcel as it stands oh, currently, well. but that doesn't mean it's deserved. Sean, with the resub, it is a resub, isn't it? It is 11 months, my God. Holy shit, only one more month until your new shiny badge. <gasps> Thank you so much for your support, Sean. I hope you're having a lovely day. Ah, uh, your eyeshadow is so cool. Thank you, Lucky. 
I try. Like, I, ge I genuinely try. This is not just like, a, you know, I try. No, no, like, I actually do try. Um, I washed my makeup brushes yesterday, and 98% of them are still wet. Uh, and of those, about 50% of them need another rinse because I somehow accidentally didn't wash all the soap out of the bristles properly. Um, and they all feel slimy. So I had to, like, I found, like, three brushes that were dry and managed to make it work. Um, but yeah, I'm actually, I'm really happy with how it turned out today. And the, the little yellow details as well, really kind of, because I, I put it on and I'm like, they're the right colours, but it's not quite there. It's not quite representative of the mount. There's something missing. And then I pulled out the yellow eyeliner and did a little pop of yellow in the inside. I don't, I didn't have time. Like I was already running massively late. Um, I didn't have the time to do like uh, little fiddly details and stuff like that, but an inner pop and a liner, I can totally do. Uh, and that really just kind of, you know, lifted the whole thing. So thank you. I appreciate it. Ah, uh, Warlock. Mm, 20 wind rider. No, not a coward. I still suck apparently. Ruby shell crow lask. No. Be a coward. Cowards live longer. Oh my god. Blazing Drake. No, I'm disabled. I have nothing but time. Fair enough. Um. Bulbous Necro Ray. No. Hello, Jack. Iron Sky River. No. Obsidian World Breaker. No. Come on. We've done that one before, Sheba. Remember with all the little golden dots everywhere? Rusted protodrake, there you go. It's a rusted protodrake. A family in this gonna be I know, right? I know Jewel Donix spent the happy birthday fear, Mum. Yeah, she's gonna be here in two days, under 48 hours to go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, I still I'm not hundred percent none of us are exactly sure when they're gonna be showing up. Um, because they're gonna come around here. Uh but there's a chance she might arrive while I'm still streaming, like while we're finishing off the Heartbreak runs, especially if we get shit cues, uh, like we have been. So, uh, she may appear on stream. It will heavily depend, like, it is like I'm, you know, 100% consent based. Like, you know, um, if she, like, she's welcome to come around and just stay in the lounge room until I finish up, like, she knows that. Uh, or she's welcome to kind of poke her head in and say hi. It's, it'll probably end up depending on how she's feeling on the day, um, how she feels about her, like, self-confidence wise, you know, like, I put myself on camera every day, even when I'm, even days that I'm not streaming, ha, uh, I still, you know, ha take photos or I film bits and pieces and stuff like that, so I'm, I'm always on camera, so I've kind of gotten used to it, but for someone who isn't, um, super often, sometimes that whole self-confidence thing can creep in a little bit, and I respect that, so if she doesn't want to, she doesn't have to, uh, but... I can't wait to see her. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, was there a second unopened box in that last June? No. No. Um, there is the box of chocolates that you can loot from the boss. I stopped looting a while ago, but I didn't go through and open all of the boxes. There's a, it's a box of chocolates, a white quality box, and you open it up and it has a whole bunch of little foods that your character can actually eat uh, in there. So yeah, but it's not, it's not another. Um, uh, Tomcats would have yelled at me if I had an unopened box. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Um, yes, chocolate box. There you go, box of chocolates. Um, Adam will tell her she's in any, any unopened on any tune. Uh, hello Chaos, I'm doing well, how are you? How are you? Um, another news was talking about nerfing the drop rate of Heartbreaker in time for next year. Where have you got that from, Liz? Um, what's happening? Legends, hello V. Change the drop rate for the better is a buff, not a nerf. Saying nerf scares people. Yep. Nerfing means making weaker, making rarer, making worse. Buff means making stronger, making more common, making better. This is, this is actual definitions, guys. Let's uh, make sure we're using the correct words. Um, it's like me saying, I was gonna be streaming less during February. Lie, I'm working, I'm streaming more. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's an actual not the same thing. Uh, so you know when you loot boxes, we can't see what you loot. The perfect clip, maybe move stream range a bit. You won't, it doesn't matter, Jackie, because it will come up right in the middle of the bloody screen. Do not, do not you worry, you will fucking see it. Um, uh, 11 months in he's been better today, good. 
Remember, it's not about you. Exactly, exactly. It's their preconceived notions which goes on their baggage, the stuff that they have learned about themselves and their life and people they have interacted with previously goes into what they fear, what they assume about you. It's got nothing to do with actually you. Uh, what do we assume about fear now? Everything. So people are just misogynistic assholes. Correct. Um, she she sure you shouldn't have to... Let them assume they what they want. Uh, those of us who know better don't listen to that rubbish. Most people who opinions matter won't just believe that sort of stuff blindly. I agree. I agree. Uh, yeah, if a male streamer is on the launcher, there's no assumptions that if that they slept their way here double standards much. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it's because they're jealous. It's because I have something that they don't. And so they have to find a reason that isn't she worked harder. I could do that, but I would have to work as hard as she does. I could do that, but I would have to do what I do what she does as well as she does it. I could do that, but blah, 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 blah. No, no, I can't do that. She's only got it because she's got tits. That's like, they have to make it my fault that they can't as opposed to it being their fault that they haven't got what they want. That's that's the issue. It's, it's passing blame onto, it, they can't handle blaming themselves for a failing, they have to put the blame on somebody else. And because I'm the one succeeding, the blame is on me. Technically though, wouldn't that be my, no, it wouldn't even be my parents' fault because those cells aren't under their control. Oh fuck, I don't even know. Look, it's, it's complex. <laughs> it's complex. Ah, uh, 20 wind rider. <laughs> Lol, boot 13. Wonderful. Give me just a second. Uh, where are we going? The shape shifting detective. I promise I'm playing. There you go, Shiva. Congratulations. Oh, fear mum cometh indeed. The Predator Drake is my favorite mount. It is pretty awesome. Hello, Venti. Thank you, thank you. Wonderful to hear, Chaos. Wonderful to hear. Uh, right, change tunes. Cool. Is it a nerf or is it a buff? Uh, yep, this isn't fun. I've done the event a dozen times a day on my characters before in previous years and would, and probably would be doing it again this year if I didn't have other real life stuff going on. Right now, if you want to maximize your chance of getting the mount, it's in your best interest to repeat this event every day on as many characters as possible. That's mathematically correct, but not a great experience. We hear this frustration and the good news is that we're discussing this issue amongst the team and evaluating possible solutions for holiday events in general. The bad news is that even if we do end up making changes, they wouldn't be in time for this year's Love is in the Air holiday event. They're saying possible solutions. Nowhere in that blue post, is there another one? No, that's it. Not anywhere in there does it mention any change to the drop rate. We remember what we were literally talking about 20 seconds ago about making assumptions and filling in gaps that aren't filled in there? The good news is we're discussing this issue amongst the team and evaluating possible solutions for holiday events in general. Where is the word drop or rate in there? Ah, that's got nothing to do with this. Nerf also is again, making weaker. They're looking for a solution. Making the amount rarer is not a solution. Uh, so, and nerfing the drop rate, making the mount rarer is not a solution. My interpretation of that is perhaps they are looking at buffing it. Perhaps they're looking at a currency option. Perhaps they're, they're making it uh, drop from multiple things. Perhaps they're making some, maybe, perhaps they're thinking of making some complex storyline event or something like that. Um, it, but regardless, they say solution. They do not even mention the drop rate. But there you go. Uh, Fia is nerfing her free time in February. I am nerfing my free time. That is a good, very, good use of a word in a sentence, Jack. Well done. <laughs> I feel like I'm a teacher in school. Like, well done, chat. Good job. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Whew, that was great. Uh, if you don't see it, trust me, you'll hear it. Oh, fucking oath. You, you will see it and you will hear it. 
because rarity makes a makes a level up sound and it puts a banner on the on the on the page. Um, yeah, there's a there's a it will you'll see it, you'll see it. Uh, I can confirm the alarm from Tom Kestors. Just got it there when I logged in next tune. Oh, fantastic list! I've never actually heard it, so I'm glad to know that it does actually work and exists. I uh, get to pick up my new PC tomorrow, buffing to a 3080 Ti. Well done, well done. Dark Mac is hot, to be honest. Look, Dark Mac, regardless of like how he looks, is a phenomenal human being. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, people who matter don't mind, and the people who mind don't matter. Correct, correct. Ooh, why is Lucky apologizing? Oh, with the wording. I think it was you who had the wording. Yes, but that's okay. All good. Learnings. Learnings. Uh, also completely scientific and respectable survey of chat. How many folks call their children or have their parents call them sweetheart, dear, honey, darling? Can be parents, siblings, any sort of family connection. I use that on my friends who are my chosen family. Like, I mean, my family, yes, absolutely. Um... But I, I use that towards my family, be they older or like older or younger than me. I use them like I use pet names is the word you're looking for. Pet names um, with literally anyone who I'm close with, um, as long as they're OK with it. If I if I use if I feel like I'm close enough to someone to use a pet name and I do and they say, oh, that's I'm not OK with that. I immediately cease and stop because that's the respectable thing to do or respectful thing to do. Um, but no, I use I liberally use pet names. Uh, and people liberally use pet names with me when they know me well. Uh, I generally tend to feel really uncomfortable when people in stream chat use them with me because you don't know me. <laughs> like, we are not, we are not personally close. Um, like, Jass, I use, I use pet names with. That's, like, that's what I'm talking, you know, that kind of close. Um, there are very few people in my life who I am that kind of close with. Uh, but they have all received or given some sort of, some variation on a pet name uh, <laughs> during during my relationship with them. Uh, but yeah, yeah, pet names are a very personal choice though. Uh, some people love them, some people hate them, and some people really could not give a rat's ass. Uh, but it's all down to personal preferences and consent. Uh, consent isn't just for sex. Uh, nice clip you posted on IG today for you, thank you. Oh, right, it was the one where I swore at you. Yeah, good. One of the many where I swore at you, I should be saying. Ah, dear. Good morning, Ventu. Ah, to Headless Horseman. Ah, so it needs to drop today. Yeah, correct. It's gonna drop today. It's gonna drop today. <clears throat> it's also about the Madonna Virgin Hall Virgin Complex. Huh? I don't know what that's in regard to, sorry. Uh, I mean, for honest, there's some streamers who only do well because they have boobers and show them off, but have the personality of wet mop. That being said, I'm sure they still work hard behind the scenes to keep the stream working, so haters gonna hate. You would probably be surprised, just... Melvin. <laughs> like, firstly, no hate. We, we do not we do not throw shade to different people's methods of business doing. That's not a thing we do here. Just to make it clear for anyone who's here, this is not your excuse to shit talk uh, streamers who are well endowed. Um, but you would be extraordinarily surprised just how many of those people who, who use their bodies to make money are exceptionally intelligent and have incredible personalities, but they showed those personalities and then one stream, they were, you know, just kind of a bit, you know, in a shitty place or whatever. And so they had less of a personality and happened to be wearing a low cut top that day and their viewer numbers skyrocket and their donations skyrocket and their bits skyrocket and all that shit goes up and they go, huh, I'm going to be far more successful if I go, <laughs> oh my God, thank you so much for the sub. My God, guys, thank you so much. Like it's, it's a business choice. I'm not even kidding. Like I... I can't, I'm, I, my filter's not that good. I, I cannot put that kind of a mask on for, I can do it, <laughs> but I can't do it for very long. So I have nothing but respect, nothing for respect, nothing but respect for all of those streamers out there who put on a fucking character that is, that bears no resemblance to themselves while they're creating content because I could not fucking do it. It would be exhausting, fucking exhausting. So uh, yes, that's the thing. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm new streamers who do that and don't succeed. There's also that, yep. Uh, I suppose people who are between the lines ended up with a different story. Uh, teacher fear confirmed. You'd be screaming if you get it. Oh, you bet your ass. You bet your ass. Is it they'll succeed? Mini heart attack. I did heartbreaker. Open love box. So heartbreaker drop is the toy. Yep. Yep. It's the X52 heartbreaker, not the heartbreaker. And it's purple, not blue. The quality. Just as a. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Amazing. Aw, thank you, Keg. Much appreciated. I'm, I'm glad I managed to pull a look off with. I washed my makeup brushes yesterday and most of them haven't dried yet and I was like shit I managed to find like three dry ones that I could use to, to put shit on my face so that's good. Uh, learn dings? I like dings. Dings are fantastic matey. I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> Sorry I have like there are a handful of words that I regularly mispronounce like on purpose and that's just like one of them. It's like obviously it's not mispronouncing but like the destruction manual I'm not sure if anyone else it's instructions but it's destruction yep uh, and then like uh, well, learnings learnings is one I go with like often um, trying to think I can't think of any others off the top of my head right now but that's probably because I'm fucking tired but that's okay um, I'm calling me my brother Minions. It was very interesting to see people's reactions in the park. Love it. Love it. Minions assemble. That's ten. Ten hordies. Skippity doodah onto the Alliance server. Warlock. Mm, mum calls me Bug, Dad calls me Mook. I also very much use pet names on my friends. I'm Missy Moo. I'm Missy Moo. Also other nicknames that are like derivatives of my name that I'm not going to tell you about, obviously. But um, like, yeah, the, the big, the big non-specific one that I get is, is Missy Moo. To the fact that now I'm trying to think, I wonder when the last time, I think the last, like the last hundred times that my father has used my actual given name has been when he's been talking about me to other people. Uh, <laughs> he never addresses me by my name. He always addresses me as Missy Moo. Um, he's just his pet name legend. <laughs> it's just whatever pops into my head at the moment. I, like, it's fun. Occasionally he'll look at me like, what is that? And I'm like, I don't know, I was trying it on. It obviously didn't work, I won't use it again. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's fine. Sometime, most of the time actually lately, it's been fuckwit. But, uh. <laughs> Affectionately, always. But, uh, Jazz's pet name is Fiari Modmother. Yep, correct. No, it's Meat Shield. Oh no, just cut off a limb will be fine. Absolutely, absolutely. I joined the stream at the wrong time, it seems. Potentially. I mean, is there ever a wrong time, though, Grizzly? Is there ever a wrong time? Oh, it was a battle. Shit, thank you. Distracted. Good afternoon, looking for a rat today. Thank you, Crumb. I think that's a compliment. I think so, but thank you. How did I get off the phone into? Um, depends on when you started talking. Ah, uh, relationship with one of concepts is to describe behavior of men. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you, you were talking about family. Um, which had no relation to how men treat women. That's just how family members treat family members. So yeah, I think you needed to be a hell of a lot more specific with that. Oh, the the um, Virgin Mary thing. I still, the Madonna thing or whatever, I still don't understand how that connects. Um, I, I, if that was connected to a thing that we were talking about or if you just brought it up out of nowhere kind of thing. Unsubscribes. Uh, I mean, making a dollar off of annoying men is great. All the power to them gaming the system. If you're with the Valley Girl accent, that was not, that was not a Valley Girl accent. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Got a friend who does it. This so like I can't use my will and dadness like that. <laughs> I hope that people are welcome to use whatever they want to get money. Exactly. Like power to them for being able to use something to, to make dosh. Like fuck yeah. Respect the hustle. Respect the hustle. Uh, and slut shaming someone for it ain't cool. Agreed. Yeah, we don't do that here. Ever. Um, not much no, it, it, it wasn't, um, uh, I don't actually, that's a complicated thing. Um, but yeah, it was more, it was more a generalized, like when I said, that's not what we do here, it's a very generalized comment. It's like, we, we are discussing this. You, everyone is going to have an opinion on it, but we do not accept slut shaming and that kind of thing here. 
we we do not shit on people for that kind of stuff here. We just we just don't do it. And I was leaving that because there will be new people here who are lurking, who hear what we're talking about. Are like, oh, I have an opinion on this, and they'll jump into chat to engage with us. Um, I just don't want that kind of engagement. So I yeah was just letting everyone know where the boundaries lie. Uh, I find it interesting when people make scathing remarks about people who are mail order brides. No shame on the person buying the goods, but shame to the woman who is often supporting her family back home is lousy. Agreed. 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 I am not a smart person. I was about to say I'll run the DPS while you queue alliance. Good. <laughs> uh, my name only has one nickname, really. Fair. Fair. Though a creative person can turn a name into pretty much any nickname that they so desire. If they put if they put their mind to it but yeah in terms of like stock standard usual shortenings or nicknames or whatever yeah mine mine's the same there's only really one nickname that you can that that a boring person will derive from it but my parents are very creative my mom especially so she's got all sorts of things that she calls me that are all derivatives of my name Ufiyama, she is missy moo she is indeed uh so only so short only a y gets added to the end of it fair fair enough uh, I do distractions as well. Dogs mispronounce heaps. Uh, and I've adopted their oh my dog phrase. Love it. Love it. Elder Squid is now trying to use my nickname. My mum called me as a kid. And it sounds so weird coming from a tiny mouth. Oh, good lord. Affectionately fuckwit. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, when you stare inherently at the camera talking about consent, it had me worried for a second. Oh, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. It was about consenting to being called pet names, actually. Uh, that I, I'm a person who uh, receives and gives pet names uh, liberally to those who I'm very close to, like very, like, like jazz close to, yep. Um, but that if I, if I felt like I'd become close enough with a new friend and I used a pet name and they were kind of like, uh, then I immediately cease because that's the right thing to do because consent matters. It's not, you know, consent is not just for sex. Uh, that's what the yeah so it's actually no it's a good time we're just talking about shit as per usual can you do a valley girl accent i can are you asking me will i uh no no because every time i do it gets clipped and it's a really really bad accent oh we lost that was a long ass battle uh put it back put it back put it back yay jas hates my valley girl accent like vehemently he hates it like to the extent that sometimes i do it to annoy him like that's how much he hates <laughs> oh god valley girl triggers so he hates it. i love that he yep mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, uh, I like the way i love to scratch an itchy but it hurts yep yep all righty at the end of the day we appreciate sex workers in this chat we do absolutely we do Ah, uh, like totally, indeed. See, you almost had me going there, but I, I caught it right at the end there. Um, okay. So, um, good. We're back here. Where's the box? There's the box. Where's the mount? Um, so yes, we do. Also, it is strange. It is, it is. Anyways, gotta run, have an amazing rest of stream. Will do, Keggy. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Just got a terrible turnip. Ah, well done. Well done. Ah, I say when I flipped put everything in my bank on the edge, saw an ominous seed, had to goggle, then went and planted it. Fantastic! Wonderful wife gave me a pet name. I had to explain to her that just because bitch is a female dog doesn't make it a pet. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's good. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, nearly work, nearly, nearly. Considering 40% of streamers are women, 97 of the top 100 are male or male presenting. Uh, women don't have it easy no matter what they do. No, no. Um, but that's that's what I'm. That's why I say about the whole, you know, like I'm I am not succeeding, but I'm doing everything right. So it must just be because she has tits, because I don't have tits, but she does. That's the only difference between us. So clearly they're going there because she's got tits. No. It's because you don't talk, like you don't talk while you're gaming. You're boring as fuck to watch. It's because your camera is tiny and, and like really bad quality. Get some lighting because we cannot see you. Um, and it's just, it's boring. If we wanted to watch 
gameplay with no commentary, we'd just play the game. Like, that's, yeah, I don't know. It's, um... <sighs> there, are, there are so many really, really, really simple things you can do to boost your content. And not just boost your content, but also boost your discoverability. And because that's that's the thing, discoverability is key. You've got to, you have to, there are hundreds of thousands of people who stream now. You have to make a person want to click your thumbnail over everybody else's. There are ways to do that. And it's not by getting your tits out. Uh, Frozen is one that makes almost everyone say it. Valley Girl, Surfer Guy accent. Yeah. Good morning, Boot. How you doing? Not the girls don't surf. No, no, no. Of course. It's a, like, the surfer dude and the Valley Girl, they are stereotypes. Um, I, I totally understand where you were going. You were not being exclusive or saying that opposite, like, Valley Guys, I'm sure, exist, as do surfer chicks. Um, it's, it's more that those are the stereotypes. And that's okay. You can acknowledge that stereotypes exist without, like, Ignoring the fact that people outside of them exist as well. Ah, misogyny. <laughs> Hello, Bara. How are you? Long time. How you doing? Uh, someone who's seen the DMs of sex working and I personally wouldn't put myself through that for any kind of money. Shit would wreck my mental health. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Level 51. Amazing. Yeah, it's, it's the kind of person who watches, and I'm not gendering it, I like the kind of person, yep, the kind of person who sits there watching uh, a streamer who has uh, a, a quite a low cut top on um, because they're comfortable in their skin and that's a, a top that fits them really nicely and they like the way that their body looks in it uh, or it's because it's the only thing that's clean um, or because the rest of their clothes have holes. Uh, or because it's really fucking hot. I had a person tear shreds off me in stream once because I was wearing a singlet top, a tank top. You know the ones I wear with the thick straps? They called me a titty streamer for wearing a tank top that showed approximately half a centimeter of like joining of the breasts. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, so like they'll watch this person doing that for, for hours and hours and hours or whatever and then they'll make some untoward comment in chat and the streamer will go mm, i don't like that and time them out or ban them or whatever and then they'll go into the reports and report them for for you know whatever the the sexual sexually suggestive content or whatever it's like bitch you've been watching this for six hours only now that you've been rejected, you're gonna go and report them because you now you think they're violating Twitch's terms. Were they not for the last six hours? I mean, they'll still like the the report will go ignored because they're not. They're just wearing a shirt. But like, it just, like people are idiots. People are idiots. Um, I guess I have a standard. I've been cruel or an asshole. Uh, it's been a very long time. Work schedule have refused. Doesn't allow me to stay up late anymore. That's okay. How are you? I'm doing so well. I'm doing so well. It was my birthday last Friday, and I'm just living my best life. Uh, all I need now is a fucking heartbreaker. <laughs> Trouble being an asshole, even in video games, is why I almost always go to get through. Chain tops are legit comfy. They are, and when it's a fucking 35 degree day. And I'm streaming from a room that does not have air conditioning. I'm not gonna wear a fucking turtleneck sweater, you numpties. Anyway. Mm, it just mean you can get away with being an asshole more. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because people are like, no, they're not being an asshole. That's, they're, they're so nice. If they, oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Bara. Oh my God, happy birthday. It's my mum's birthday too. That's right. I think I remember at some point realizing that. You shared the birthday, but I, you know, look, it's been a while. <laughs> I have a terrible memory. Happiest of birthdays to you, my dear. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Hope you're having an incredible day, being showered with love and food and presents. Hmm. Hmm. This 
streamer didn't want to have sex with me. Don't they know this is against the Twitch's task? I'm a subscriber. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Still the wrench. Mm. Mm. It's been eight minutes. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. Um. Hmm. I hope that the day ahead of you is is full of love and food and presents. Wait, what? Oh, we're talking about um entitled asshole attitudes from dickheads on the internet, dude. <laughs> Um, I get confused by hypocrisy, like men in robes being upset by trans kids wanting to wear a dress. Yeah, it's, um, they're idiots, basically. <laughs> That's the thing. Um, maybe not in those words, dupe, but, um, it's, it's more, because I, I made the comparison to, like, you know, watching a, watching a streamer. A person who's watching a streamer who has a low cut top on and they're watching and they're staring. Maybe they're doing other stuff and just, you know, chilling out in the stream, maybe like six hours or so. And then they say something in chat that's untoward and the streamer says, I don't like that and times them out or bans them or whatever. And so that person in their outrage will report them for sexually suggestive content, even though they've been watching them for six hours. And it's like, okay, so is it sexually suggestive content? And it has been for the last six hours that you've been watching, or are you just pissy because they rejected you? Like, so that was that was what um, Zam was imitating. There's people who go around just chatting, looking for women to clip them standing up. Yep. Do they realize, like I, do, do they realize just how much pornographic content is available on the internet for free? I mean, I understand that like being able to chat with someone makes things a little bit different and that most like chat Porn services charge a fee, but like, dude. And I use dude here as a non gendered thing. Um, yeah, I, I mean, people of all genders. Like, there is porn on the internet. The internet, in fact, is for porn. Enjoy. <laughs> Twitch is not porn. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Um, anyway. <clears throat> I think you were back in an odd moment, Jess. I'm hoping so too. Sadly, Lost Ark just went down for three hour maintenance. It's not a fun way to start the day. No, but I mean, it could be an excuse to take a nap to make sure you're like fully charged for the rest of the day. Oh, excuse me. Uh, it's silly. It's all because society as a whole has developed a norm, and if something doesn't fall within that, it's wrong. Sad way for people to view the world. Yeah, it, like... <sighs> the homophobes and transphobes and stuff, like... Part of me thinks, like, they cannot possibly actually believe what they're saying about how it will ruin... Like it'll break down society and all that kind of like they can't possibly they they're just they're using they're trying to use scare tactics to get people on their side, surely. They can't actually think that's what's going to happen, considering that it's been happening for fucking hundreds of years, potentially thousands. Like, they can't honestly think that that's and then I realize that the average intelligence person is smarter than half of the people on the planet. And then I'm like, oh, right, of course, good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have high hopes for humanity moving into the future. Mm. 
Douchebags on the internet got real comfortable saying dumb shit online without the consequence of getting punched in the face. Keyboard warriors degrade others because they're insecure about something. Yep, they are. They are. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean what they say doesn't hurt. Unfortunately. Like, I've... I've developed a, a fairly kind of thick skin for a lot of stuff. Um, I believe, like, especially... Especially through the the years of streaming and stuff like that. I, I've, I've heard a lot of shit, you know? I've read a lot of shit. I've been told a lot of shit about myself. Um, but... There's, like... Even if you can shrug it off and keep going... It's, it's It does settle in under the skin there. And just kind of sting a little, you know? Like, it's... You can't help but sort of, yeah. And we talk about masking as a thing that people do with all sorts of um, uh, conditions and and bits and pieces that they're dealing with. You know, we, we talk about masking, uh, and I masked for years and years and years and years and years. Um, it's 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 as simple as how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? When you're dying inside. Um, that's, you know, that's, that's masking at a very basic level. Um, and so all the years practice of doing that kind of shit, I think has helped me be able to keep a straight face for the most part on camera. Not always, because I'm human. I'm not fucking perfect. Um, but it's still like, yeah, sometimes it's genuinely hilarious. It's like, really? That's what you're going to go with? Like, that's... That's the insult you're running with today? Okay, sure. Have fun with that. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> if that's the best you can do, sure thing. Have fun. Good job. Um, but then, you know, there are other times where it does sting. And it is it is what it is. But yeah, it's... um, It's definitely a learned, a learned thing. Um... Um... Send you new tapestry. Yeah, is even a dang sun. A song on the internet. Yeah, exactly. A song about the internet being for it. Avenue Q. It's a great song. I saw them live when I was a bit younger. That would they was oh, it was so good. So good. Chatterbait exists. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's there's this sick little pleasure in trying to get it from someone who isn't trying to offer it, which has its own complex side issues. Uh, that people ought to get some fucking therapy about. Uh, but, yeah, that's... Yeah. Like, if it's freely offered up, it's worth less or something like that. Which is, you know, you got to convince them. It's all part of the game. Hot tip, it's not a fucking game. That's how you get banned. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's gross. It's gross. Something stuck in my head? Good. Good. Uh, the internet is for the internet is for porn. Yeah, correct. Sounds like a song. It is a song. Um, Lost Ark is weirdly playable with controller now. Okay, interesting. I admit this was not the conversation I expected, uh, but it is interesting nonetheless. I appreciate the way you're handling these kinds of difficult topics. Oh, th not a problem at all, Lucky. This is this is kind of what we're known for here, like. We call them fear talks. Like I said before, thank you for coming to my TED talk. Fear has the same number of letters as TED. <laughs> and so for a long while now, um, my my rants have been referred to as fear talks. Um, and that's, it's it's kind of a mainstay of the stream. We, we don't have, there are no topics that are off limits. However, that being said, I do reserve the right to cut off a conversation if something is happening that I don't appreciate, like people are coming for each other over a difference of opinions, like as long as everyone keeps it respectful. Uh, of course, also, I am human. Um, I don't have a chance to prepare topics um, before stream and stuff like that. that. So if something comes up that I am not prepared to deal with on that particular day, be that because I have past trauma, be that because I've just been having a rough day and it's not something I think I can tackle I'm in a mature- I'm not a paladin, uh... 
not something I think I can tackle in a mature way that day, things like that. If we come across something I'm not comfortable talking about, I will make it known. I will set the boundary and it will be respected or people will be timed out. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's in, if, I'm, if I'm in a good place and everything's, everything's going well and stuff, um, I, I, don't, I can't think off the top of my head of any um, topics that are off limits or, or banned or anything like that. Not, like, there's some chats you jump into. Uh, most chats will say no religion or politics. Uh, that's not the case here. Um, I'm fine with it as long as we discuss the topic and not people. Um, you can discuss your own personal opinions about stuff um, as long as you don't start directing those opinions towards others and things like that is okay. Um, and, and being respectful, you are going to encounter people who have a different opinion to you. It's part of life, and it is something that every single mature adult should be prepared to deal with. To have a discussion respectfully with differing opinions. Uh, and if you can't do that and something comes up, then and, and you start attacking the person for having the opinion that they have, uh, you'll be banned. The only exceptions to that are not banned, uh, timed out. Um, the only exceptions to that, obviously, if you continue to do it after we've asked you to stop, you'll eventually be banned. Um, the only exceptions to that are being hateful. I don't tolerate hate towards anyone. And that include, you know, no, no tolerating, I don't tolerate hate towards people uh, for their opinions and stuff like that. But if your opinion is hateful, then it's not going to be okay. Um, yeah, that's kind of the general rule that we go by. <laughs> Beach. I said, unfortunately, the recent political debate has fired it all up again. Oh, good lord. Um, the game is shocked how clean the systems are. Awesome. Let's see. Okay, 72 and won't die. Yeah, I got I got a character that got to like, was it like close? To, I think I was almost 100 or over 100 in NCK3 recently. She was a badass bitch. Time for some assisted dying. Morning, afternoon. Hello, Kaz. How are you going? Um, should not have to have a thick skin. People are assholes. Um, no. But it is, it is a fact of life that assholes exist. Um, and so being able to deal with them is a valuable skill to have in life in general. It's, it's as simple as that. Like, should, shouldn't. You know, shoulda, woulda, coulda, all that kind of shit. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Fact of the matter is, they exist. It is the world that we live in. Um, they need to face consequences for those actions, uh, but the actions still happen, and we need to know how to deal with them. Uh, I'll tell a doctor I'm fine. I'm always up, if I ever see a new medical professional, I always, the first thing I tell them is that I deal with uncomfortableness with humour. Even like, psychs, yes, but um, also like, uh, doctors. Like, if I'm scared about something, I will deal with it with humour. So I'll, I'll, you know, be like, oh, you know, I'm in total utter pain all the time, but it's fine, life is great. That's the kind, like, that's how I tend to deal with stuff that I'm genuinely scared about. Um, and so I always make sure that it's clear to them. Uh, and they usually put it on, or like make a note of that so that they remember the next time because they see hundreds of thousands of people, you know, like it's it's a big thing. Um, so that way next time, and I'm dealing with that, they don't go, oh, okay, well, she's laughing about it. So it can't be that bad. It should be okay. They can see on my file, nope, okay. She's actually genuinely scared. And that's why she's responding in this way. Um, and I get that at first and I tell them that so that when I'm dealing with my fear later, they, they're able to see through it to what's actually going on. Um, but I've seen that many bloody doctors and specialists and shit at this point that I've kind of got my, my visiting a medical professional practiced and, uh, yeah, down pat. I did keep a straight face to see it on floor. Have you seen the Blizzard person heartbreaker drop rates? They do not mention drop rates. Literally. None of the words are drop or rate. We spoke, yeah, we, yeah, someone, uh, we, we had a quick chat about it before. Um... Let me just, oh, that's not the right, um, reopen close tab. There we go. So, um, yeah, even, 
even uh, Wowhead has tweeted, like the, the Wowhead thing says, X45 heartbreaker drop chance, Blizzard evaluating solutions to future holiday frustrations. Nowhere in the entire fucking thing do they ever say, we are going to adjust the drop rate or we are looking at adjusting the drop, nowhere. Um, it specifically says, uh, we hear this frustration and the good news is that we're discussing this issue amongst the team and evaluating possible solutions for holiday events in general. Possible solutions may involve increasing the drop chance. It may involve putting it on a vendor. It may involve putting it at the end of a long quest chain that takes place over several years. It could, like, there are so many other things that could encompass the word solution. People have read between the lines and have come to a conclusion that Blizzard have not at all even mentioned in passing. The rest of it, like, the, 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 the blue poster was talking about their own experience, and yes, that's mathematically correct, run it on a shitload of tunes to increase the drop chance, but that, like, the actual where they're saying this is what we're doing does not mention drop chances at all. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. I would prefer to have it before they make any changes anyway, because that'll mean I have it, rather than having to wait another year. <laughs> Just my thoughts, personally. Um, yeah, fucking wowhead. I just, I really hate misinformation and twisting words to to put that kind of message out there is absolutely misinformation. So I will stamp the fuck out of it as soon as I see it, every time. If I know something's misinformation, then I will call it out, which is what I'm doing here, just passionately. I'm not upset with anyone, I'm just very passionate. Uh, good. Okay, uh, it's about control. As I've been reminding the squids, people only have power. If you let them, obviously this is oversimplification. In so many situations, not the whole case, i.e. survivors of abuse did not choose to give someone power. Uh, it does give me a little kick of satisfaction to dismiss shit people. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, or like hold a mirror up to them. It's, yeah, absolutely. I have to go and find it by the impalers. Uh, I've never do feel hurt and sensitive inside. Easier said than done. Exactly. Absolutely. Um, do you some fire this week? Um, that auto mod. Cyber safety lessons are now at the point where it's here's what you shouldn't do. Here are the consequences. Here's how to report stuff. And trolls will always happen if you can't handle that. Don't post. This is for eight year olds. Yeah, this is. That's. Yeah. I mean, I, I absolutely stand by the whole if you. Like, the standard you walk past is the standard you accept. If you see someone tossing out racist slurs and you don't report them. That is you passively condoning the use of racial slurs wherever they're currently being used. The uh, the exception to that, of course, is when it is not safe to do so. Your safety has to come first. Um, you know, if it's if it's an axe wielding maniac who's very very loud and yelly and angry, throwing racial slurs, it's probably not in your best safety interests to approach said axe wielding maniac and say, excuse me, we don't use that word in 2022, because um, you'll probably get your head taken off. Uh, but you know, like, so obviously safety considerations first, use your fucking common sense. Uh, but in online games and stuff and on forums, good Lord, it is so easy to report that shit. And it often takes less than 10 seconds, less than five in some cases. It's not that big. I'm not asking people to go crawling through forums and scouring chat logs to report it. Like, no. When you see it, report it. Done. That's it. You can report it and then you forget about it. You can move on. There's nothing else you can do. Just... If you engage, it's often what they want. Obviously, there are some times where it is appropriate to engage and have a conversation around education, like why the words they're saying are wrong and things like that, but... In online games, N no, that's not. <laughs> it's usually not the appropriate forum. Report and move on. Um, people have as much power as society lets them have. If there's no repercussions for being a shitbag, then people will be a shitbag until they find a target that it works on. And people will do whatever they can to to further their own cause as well. This is the other thing. It's it, People aren't doing it just because it's there. They're doing it because they get something from it be it money, be it power, be it entertainment, be it whatever, like, if they don't get what they're looking for out of it, eventually they will stop and find a different activity that will give them what they're trying to get. 
which is why often I just ban a person. If you see someone, if you see a message in chat get deleted, stop talking about it immediately. Unless I engage with it, unless I say, yep, you've been banned. That's not the kind of thing we say here, whatever. F feel free to engage in a conversation about that. But if you notice, if you see a message talking about my tits, and then the message goes away. And then I don't say anything about it. And none of the mods mention it. Don't start saying, dude, that's not cool. We don't do that. No, just ignore them. They're looking for attention. And you saying that shit is attention. Follow the lead of the leaders of a community, any community. Follow what mods do on different forums. Follow what streamers and their mods do in other channels. Follow what I and my moderators here do when it comes to those kind of things. That is your your best way of like, like kind of, cause yeah, the number of times like I'll see something like that and it's dropped and then I see all these comments, you know, calling this person out and having this conversation. I'm like, I don't want to give them any attention. I'm, I want to move on from it. Potentially, the comment made me exceptionally uncomfortable and I do not want it addressed because every single time I see a comment about it, my anxiety is rising, I want to throw up, I want to quit, like I want to stop stream for the day, but I don't want to because I have a job to do. So if you follow our lead, it makes things so much easier for, and I'm not trying to call anybody, this is not a call out, this is just like, we're talking about dealing with shit fucking idiots on the internet, this is a way you can do it. Right. What is this? Attempt... 18 for today? No, maybe? Yes, 18 for today, 1268 in total. We'll get there. Get there. Uh, and thank you both to Dupe and Zeren for the biddies, for the, for the sounds, much appreciate. Uh, what was it Team America taught us about assholes? I don't remember the exact quote, but it's something about everyone has one. Doesn't mean we want to see it or something. I don't know, it's, yeah, look, that's great. Team America, I have never been able to decide whether I hate or love that movie. It cannot be in between. I am not ambivalent about it. I have feelings. I cannot decide what those feelings are because there are so many, just so many little moments that are just, oh, that's a perfect encapsulation of the thing that they're talking about. But then there are other parts of where I'm like, I fucking hate this with all of my being. I, I j oh. But I imagine that's probably the same with a lot of people. Like, it's such a divisive movie. Um, it sounds like they're gonna change how you get it completely, but there's also, there's so little info. Exactly, so little info. We cannot, we can't, all we know is they know it sucks. Stay tuned. That's literally the summary of that entire blue post. Yes, you're right. I know, it sucks. Watch this space. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Um, there's also a potential that they look into it and they can't figure out a way to do it that makes it still as rare as it is because I'm pretty sure they're probably happy with how rare it is, but it's not fun to, do you know what I mean? Like they want it to be rare, but they also want it to be fun. And having that balance between the two is really, really difficult. And there is always a chance that they are, they, they, you know, they are discussing the issue. They may discuss the issue for three years and still not be able to find a solution that they feel is right. You know what I mean? Like, we just don't know. We don't know. I know there's a battle. Um, but until, until we hear further from Blue Post people, I'ma keep doing my heartbreaker runs. <laughs> Got 50 tunes, I'm gonna bloody well use them. And I'm gonna keep using them. Ugh, fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Ah, uh, it's a mood about the doctor who's been trying to get diagnosed with chronic pain thing for almost seven years now. Uh, indeed, indeed, they're considering possible solutions. Exactly. It's making fear irate. And BLP buying from vendor for three, 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 three tokens would be nice. But you can't get that many in a year, can you? They'd have to kind of like tweak things. Uh, so you've seen it then. I have. Sorry, I touched the no phrase badly. It's all good. No, you you didn't. Wowhead did. All you were doing was passing along the information that you got from Wowhead, which you did correctly. I'm angry at Wowhead because Wowhead has been doing so much stupid shit lately from blatant misinformation you like this. Are not prepared. Pink! Hello! Pink Cyber Kitten, welcome on in. 
Uh, Aussie, Zam, and Lennis, congratulations on your bonus shit. Hello, welcome in. How are you? How is your stream? I hope that you are. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Tell us all about what you were up to. Um, where's this one? But yeah, um, what where my frustration is is Wowhead. they this is like it's blatant misinformation. They're reading between lines and then creating a headline out of what they find there, which is not okay. They're intentionally misleading people. Uh, also, putting spoilers, story spoilers, in article titles. It's not acceptable. It's not okay. Um, and so I'm just, I'm really pissed off at the way, and I know it's all clickbait. It's all clickbait. It's and not necessarily misleading clickbait, but it's, we need to generate as many potential clicks on this website as we possibly can, because that's how they earn their ad revenue. Every single time someone clicks an article, they get more money and they need money to keep the site alive to keep the servers on, to pay people for their articles, to pay the the staff who manage the the comments and all that kind of shit. Like there's there's a lot going on behind the scenes that all needs money. It all mean it all needs money. Um but I don't agree with how they're making it. I really don't agree with how they're making it. So yeah, my 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 passion, my negative passion is not at all aimed at you, Kaz. Um it is aimed at Wowhead. I just want everyone to know about it and that's why I'm so loud. <laughs> I'm sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. It was absolutely not my intention and I sincerely apologize if that's what happened. Uh, good. Axes in this economy. Look, I mean, you can get them kind of cheap somewhere, I guess. Maybe a shovel? Shovel wielding maniac. Good morning. Hello, yo. How you going? I meant to ask, how'd you go with lights today? Were they backed up in the cloud? They were. Thank you. Fuck! Yeah, no, uh, they're absolutely backed up. I had to do a hard reset too. I had to do a hard reset to make them work. So, um, I'm really glad they were backed up. Um, but it should, I think it should be working. Did we get a raid notification before? Did they change colors when we got the raid? I didn't, I didn't see. Um, but if we see the actual message, we should still, oh, of course, absolutely. I'm a crank upgraded meter. Just Tiara. I love it. Love it. Hey, a princess. Thank you for the cast of command, Shiva. Much appreciated. I mean, easiest way would probably be to keep the drop rate the same. Just up how many heart shaped boxes you get per run. Like, just drop five of them into your bags. So instead of 50 attempts a day, I'd be getting 250 attempts a day. As an example, that's just pulling numbers out my ass, obviously. Interesting. But it's still, it's still the same activity. It's, yeah, I don't know, mm, I don't know. Interesting con concept though. Um, the other option might be that um, you can buy heart shape boxes with your leftover love tokens. Instead of buying the mount with the tokens, you can buy additional chances. Maybe. Lots of interesting ideas though. Hello, pink. Uh, lately, well, like the last three years, look, I know, I know, but it gets worse every time there's a new patch coming out, and so, look, I just, I have my feels. Uh, right, Alliance, first ten done. Back to Horde for the second ten. The second ten. Creating sensationalist headlines, they are. They are, and they're, that's journalism, unfortunately. Uh, lately is used, like, down the road or the other day. Yeah, look, potentially. That may or may not represent that may or may not resemble how I feel. Um, I hope your night is well. It is indeed pink. It's going really, really well. I hope yours has too. Thank you again so much for the raid. Made it to 80. Yay, lights! I'm unsure. Okay. Uh I just told everyone what else you got today. I <gasps> Invincible and Mim's head. Oh my god! Princess! Well done! Congratulations, holy shit! Ah, uh, heart shaped boxes in the open world. World bosses, world quests give all a chance to drop a heart shaped box and bosses in all dungeons. That could be interesting. Hope to heck is good on Tuesday. Um, love is in the air, mythic plus with harder difficulties awarding more boxes. Complete a plus 21 and just all of a sudden, brrr, 40 boxes in your bags. <laughs> Would that not be fucking hilarious, though? 
Well, that's not working. Just tried orange. Oh. Uh, hang on. Open Lumia Strim. It said it did. Um... It says, Pink Cyber Kitten raided you with 11 viewers. Uh, starting next in queue, alert Twitch raid setting lights to default. Maybe the redemptions didn't work. Uh, maybe I have to connect that again. All right, let's 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 have a squizzle, shall we? This button. They should be there. Alright, so Lumia Stream has everything set up still. But. I know the overlay is not working. I don't have the overlay on, you numpties. Uh. Commands, mm, Twitch extensions, they're all there, 50 bits of pop. If I click test this, it goes to orange, test this, it goes back to green. Yeah, I don't know what's... Everything says it should be working! But, you know, everything is awesome. Uh, oh, we're wrapping back around. Brilliant. Oh, for God's sake, Lumia Stream, shut it. Um... Oh, it was good. No mounts, though. That's okay. Tend to hide PTR news on Warehead after a while. Just got Blizzard live and Warehead news shown. Yeah, so I used to do that. Um, and then a couple of times they did some boo-boos and they mislabeled stuff. Uh, and so I got spoilers a few years back. So I don't trust it. Um, but that's me personally. Just because I don't doesn't mean that you can't. Um, that's just my own experience. Uh, oh, shit. Am I in tank form? I am good. Emily 350 tries Mim's head. Welcome on in, Fel. And that's that, yeah. I, um, so Mim's head was part of my luckiest mount week in, in WoW. Um, I mean, I didn't get them in the same day, but on a Monday, on a Mount Farm Monday, I got Invincible. The next day, the Tuesday, I got the Headless Horseman mount. It was during Halloween. And then the next Mount Farm Monday, after I'd spent the week moving all, I think it was like 17 or so of my tunes over to Ulduar, um, on my seventh attempt, I got Mim's head. <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, the box is just a chance to roll that three, 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 three sided dice, right? Yes, it is. It is. But I mean, more chances means you're not limited to 750 attempts per year. Um, you know what I mean? It's, it's a little better than that. But we don't know what they're, they're looking at possible solutions. That could mean anything. Uh, so we're just gonna have to wait and see at this point. I just look like it was not. It did not look like orange. Ah, uh, no biggie. Wonder if Lumia needs to get a new off key or something. Um, possibly. Possibly. Let's do that, and then turn that back on again and refresh, and then turn that off, refresh. It back on and refresh. And that's everything. So I turned off the connection and then I haven't re added it, but um, I was questioning why the lights were that blue green all the time. I thought the default was orange red. Um, no, well, I've in the past I've changed the default around depending on like my makeup that day and all sorts of fun things like that. Um, but I had it on green because recently someone paid bits to set it to green, and so I left it as green for a few days. Plus, they also match my lucky earrings. So, like, 
Oh, I can't stay long. I have to get sleep. It's to be up in eight hours. That's okay, Pink. Rest well. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much again for the raid. I hope you have a wonderful rest. I have a problem with my Streamlabs bot. Oh, no. That's no good. Ah, oh, those lights in the background. The Nanoleaf. They are grossly. They are. They're the Nanoleaf shapes. This is the nine-piece hexagon starter pack. Uh, they were sent to me anonymously to my PO box by a very generous person. And I'm eternally grateful to them because I fucking love them. Ah, uh, we'll check back in later. Of course, not a worry. Hello, Cade. Uh, are you saying they're looking at making this mount easier to get? They're looking at a solution. Okay, here's the words. Uh, this is the blue post, word for word, start to finish. So, yep, this isn't fun. I've done the event a dozen times a day on my characters before in previous years and probably would be doing it again this year if I didn't have other real life stuff going on. Uh, right now, if you want to maximize your chance of getting the mount, it's in your best interest to repeat this event every day on as many characters as possible. That's dot 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 mathematically correct, but not a great experience. We hear this frustration, and the good news is that we're discussing amongst uh, discussing this issue amongst the team and evaluating possible solutions for holiday events in general. The bad news is that even if we do end up making changes, they wouldn't be in time for this year's Lovers in the Air holiday event. Nowhere there have they said it's go they're looking at making it easier to get. Nowhere there have they discussed raising the drop chance or anything like that. All they're saying is we know it's a problem because it's not fun. We are looking at ways to make it more fun. That doesn't mean upping it. it we, we have no idea. There is no way of knowing what the fuck that means. It is so vague, so ambiguous. All we get from that is... We know. Hold on. That's it. So yeah, that is the information that we have. Wow has written an entire goddamn article out of it and has called it X45 Heartbreaker Drop Chance, Blizzard Evaluating Solutions to Future Holiday Frustrations, which I think is very misleading, putting like solutions and drop chance in the, the thing like that. Um, but that is not what has been said. All they've said is, we know, watch this space. So, I ain't relying on that. Up to you if you would like to. I'm not going to judge anyone for their personal choices. Definitely not. Uh, but I'm going to keep running it. <laughs> um, uh, I try not to associate myself with fandoms because of toxicity and go solo. Uh, boop. Uh, I started watching a YouTuber that does TV and movie reactions. She gets a lot of hate for her opinions on characters and shows. Like, she's a demon and Elena Shipper. It's a lot of harassment for it. Fandoms can be horrible at times. Look... People can be horrible. People are horrible. Um, people can take such exaggerations, like they, they can feel a certain way and then just exaggerate the hell out of it um, because they don't have to put their name on it. Like there's just a, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if you could call it a, a fandom, but just simply by streaming, if you stream like I do, mainly one game, you are going to be associated with that game. And people are going to put weight on your opinions, and they're going to they're wait and ask you for your opinion, and, and be excited to hear about your opinion. And if they connect with you on, on a lot of, like, if, if you have a very similar opinion to them time and time and time again... And then all of a sudden, you don't agree. They don't agree with you anymore. Oh god, people can flip so quickly, so fi so fucking quickly. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, it's a fun time. I understand passion. I really, truly do. There are so many things in this world that I'm so fucking passionate about. But, like... 
passionate to the point of saying horrible, horrible things to someone because of their opinion on something that honestly doesn't really matter that much is um is not is not very good. Uh very generous. Yeah, right? Trying getting some of my cinema room and it's more expensive than the TV I'm wanting. Oh my goodness. I've seen people with like these massive big setups that must have at least a hundred panels in them. And I'm like, how? What? I mean they look incredible, but this is this is nine. This is nine. Uh this is not 1247. Uh or 1274, as the case may be. Um but yeah, no, I I love them so much. They they have really they make things so, like firstly they respond to things happening in stream like they they turn bright purple if we get a follow um and they they go through ashes colors if we get a uh donation they go through green purple and black if we get a a raid because um my raid alert is illidan and illidan is those colors um so yeah like i have this whole thing and and cheers depending on how many bits it is it go they flash different colors and all this kind of stuff but they also are really great ambient lighting. Like I can turn, I very rarely use my ceiling light anymore. Um, I just, I turn those on and if I need more light then I turn my key lights on and I can make them warmer or cooler. Um, I've like the the step one photo shoot that I did, um, the, the underpants um, for Instagram and Twitter and stuff as part of my sponsorship deal with them. Um, I got like, well, I didn't get the shots. Jas got those shots and he's fucking awesome, but we, we kept taking photos and nothing was quite looking right. And then we came in here and I set both of the lights on to the same Bow setting of like warmth. Your and it just brought all, everything to life. Just having that warm ambient lighting. It wasn't like a spotlight or a ring light or anything like that, but just the warm light flooding the whole room. Just, oh, so easy to get the perfect shots. Like it has made everything so much easier. And I'm so thankful that I have the, the anonymous gifter for the nano leaves and the nano leaf panels and uh, Zarin for the, the two key lights. Like, just unbelievable generosity, and I'm blown away by that. Blown away. You know, like, you, you think about supporting creators and stuff like that and you think you know you give them cash that's awesome you know helps pay bills and things like that same thing with subs bits it all turns into cash at the end of the day it helps them pay their bills um but like gifts things like clothes like the, the shirt i'm wearing at the moment was a gift uh via my throne wish list from from rump one of my mods um because i have my my wardrobe all my old clothes are full of holes because i am broke you know, they say starving artists, it's kind of a thing. Clothes full of holes, creator. Um, <laughs> but like having clothes that fit and look good and feel comfortable enables me to produce good content because I'm not worrying about, oh, like, oh shit, hang on, I have to hold that, I have to hide that bit there and because there's a hole there and stuff like that. But it also means I don't have to pay to replace the clothes, which means that money can go towards my bills. That's right. So like, and then things like key lights, yes, of course, I replaced my enormous unwieldy soft boxes that were like so bright they were giving me headaches and the lights were starting to flicker and it was just driving me mental, literally. Um, and like all that kind of stuff, sure, but then you think about the other, they're portable, they're super portable, which means that I can take them out into another part of the house and plug them in and illuminate that to do for, like for a photo shoot or in here for a shoot, that kind of stuff. It just makes getting further money from sponsorships and shit like that so much easier if I'm put together, look professional, all that kind of stuff. So like I am always eternally grateful for any kind of support that anyone is able to offer. And support is free too. Following on Instagram, biggest thing anyone can do for me right now to help me make it to full-time content creation is dropping a follow on Insta. I know, right? What the hell? But of course, all the, all the other social media platforms, interacting with posts if you've got the time, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's, um, I've just been blown away in the last, God, I've been streaming for nearly six years now by everyone's generosity. So amazing. Maybe a great night day. No, a wor not a worry at all, Pink. I hope that you are well rested. I hope you're already asleep because that was like eight minutes ago. I'm eight, eight minutes behind on chat. I'll try to catch up, I promise. Um, 
Neither does so bad years. I farm some mounds. Makes getting it nowhere near as awesome when you get it. Sometimes. It depends. It depends. Oh, excuse me. Oh, and I have it, so I guess that is why it took so many years. Oh, I can imagine. Well, congratulations on having it, though, Shana. That's awesome. Um, there were options other than Delena. <laughs> having options in this economy. Um, thank you for the biddies, Saren. Gingerbread, please. Absolutely. Give me just a second. I've got shit all over my desk and I need to clean it up. Okay, it's not shit all over my desk, it's just stuff right in front of this box where I have the bits. Um, which is creating a temporary annoyance. Um, get a heart-shaped box from the bosses. That's a bit odd. Is it one that you doubled up on? Like, did you accidentally run it twice? Uh, or... Is, it's not, it can't be low level, I'm sure. Um, yay dang, yay! I think so, maybe my brain went bonk, I don't know. Maybe. Is the tune 50. It should still get a heart-shaped box, it'll just be a green quality one instead of a purple one. Yeah, it's another- Ah, oh, thank you, Pink! I am very happy and very proud uh, to be a Logitech G affiliate. Uh, Logitech G ANZ. Um, and so yeah, this was this was one of the first bits I received from Logitech. My G733 in the shade lilac. Uh, I I love it. It's it's just it's just wonderful. I really really love it. Um, I have quite a small head, uh, and so before this, I hadn't worn a headset in five years because nothing I could find was comfortable enough. Uh, and this one is adjustable enough. Like the cups on the sides move up and down, and the strap at the top has little notches that you can move it so you can there's two on each side so you can have it at like the maximum or you can move one down or you can move both down to make it smaller again um so i have it on the two smaller settings uh and it just it fits my head which is like you know before i found this one was actually a really difficult thing to find um so yeah i am i'm very happy with this one um did i see the blue pose well i did I did. I also saw the misleading title Wowhead put on it. Uh, to summarize the blue post from Wowhead, we know it sucks. Watch this space. They have told us nothing else. There is no comment about adjusting the drop rate. No comment about adjusting how we might get it or when we might get it. It doesn't. There's nothing. All it is is we know it sucks. Watch this space. And that is my, that, those are my feelings on the topic. Also, fuck Wowhead is, is my other feeling on the topic. <laughs> fuck, fuck the specific part of Wowhead that does the articles for the front page. The rest of it, the database is fantastic. The database with the crowdsource comments and all that kind of stuff, absolutely amazing. But the, uh, the articles and stuff, I'm just, I'm so done. I'm so done. Um. I was still in a fan at first, it was original couple in time to let it grow on me. Uh, I feel, I mean... Your Instagram. Brilliant. Thank you, Nano. Much appreciated. It's gonna temper was offline or doing that, I think. Yeah. Hey, look, at least you know, right? That's a good thing. At least you know. Love it. Yay! Yay. Ah, uh, you get anything from Mobile Boss Counter the Kill? Gave me the renown. No anima from the World Quest, and we're both EU. Oh dear. I misread that as hair. <laughs> My hair has leprosy. Good. Okay, wonderful. I'm doing relog, see if it triggers. Nice. You are the reason I've switched from Razor to Logitech. No way. Oh my god. That's... Oh my god. That is like... Several levels of amazing. Several levels of amazing. Holy cow. Thank you for allowing me to influence you, Krom. That's amazing. Ah, uh, black and blue Drake. Paul Damon, a white and brown duck called Elena. Fear does not read it for the articles. No, I do not. <laughs> I see what you did there. Ah, uh, hashtag influencer. New keyboard rocks. Ah, the G213. The G213. Let me just pull that one up because I am... Ah, yes. Awesome. Oh, I hope you love it so much. That's super good. That's super cool.
Also, I feel each time Fear talks about G733, I should say the cup depth is 1.5, not 2.5 like I would like, and it hurts my ears. No, oh, that's, I mean, you can if you'd like, but... Like, honestly, I haven't experienced many headsets that are much deeper than this one, personally. Um, granted, it was a long, it's been a long while since I've worn a headset that wasn't one of these two, but, like, is that not the standard or something? I do also very specifically talk about it being like small heads and stuff like that though. I mean, I understand that people with small heads can still have ears that stick out or whatever, but it's, yeah. heal this person who seems to have very low health. Also, if a person has specific types of ears that do not suit lots of different headsets, it's probably something that they regularly Google when they're looking baby at a new headset. Tune, da, 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 baby tune, da, 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 da. I mean, that's something that I do with a lot of stuff is uh, when I'm looking at a new piece of tech or, or a new, even pieces of clothing and stuff like that, if there are certain parts of my body that only work a certain way, I absolutely Google like model number of thing I'm looking for and, for example, cup depth. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think I've ever had a headset with two and a half, two and a half centimeters is really deep. Is that actually a regular, like, is that a, a regular cup depth? Interesting. Okay. I'm, I wonder what Jass's is. Oh, well. Um, my next big purchase will be a new mouse. Yas. I'm sure if it's a standard, if it is, I can't wear, so need non-standard depth. Yeah, that's fair. But like, again, if, if it's something, like, if somebody has a, a part of their body that is unusual in some way, then it is really up to them to research the products that they want to buy. It's, as it is, even if your body is 100% normal in every way, it's still 100%. Also, up to you to, to do your research before you buy anything. Don't just blindly listen to influencers. Fuck. <laughs> Do I really need to say that? Um. Uh, so are you loving healing yet? I'm loving healing cues. Does that count? A mouse is a pet or a computer mouse. Oh my god. Good question. Good question. My name's Angela Carey to see if it triggers box dropping. Excuse me. Uh, I'll be bending your ear for recommendation. A good gaming mouse. G502. If you can get your hands on a wireless one, even better. Uh, but the G502 wired is equally as awesome. Um, I believe the G600 is back in manufacture if you're looking specifically for a uh, like an MMO mouse with like a ton of buttons on the side. But I've used a, a G502 for literally years now. Um, I had one that was wired and then I replaced that with one that was wired and then I replaced that with this one, which is the wireless one. So literally years and years and years I've been using G502s. Um, so that's that's like my big recommendation, but I think that it's I think it's I the G600 agree. that, um, ah, fantastic. I was just purchased a humble bundle. Yeah, by the way, if you add for your name to be added to the leaderboard when you purchase a bundle, it also sends a, an alert through. Um, Cause I'm a humble affiliate. And so I get a cut of your, your bundle purchases. It adds another slider that you can like determine the cut that I get if you're interested. I do post new bundles um, in the affiliate specials channel in Discord 
Uh, because I get emailed when they go live, because I'm part of the partner program, so... There you go. Uh, my set is about two inches. Interesting, okay. Oh, two centimeters? Okay. So one and a half is shallower than that. Interesting, okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, it's fine, I forgot to do the thing, try to do it twice. Two centimeters, already over halfway. Still saying, yep! Oh, well, I mean, as, as much as I was when I started the event. As much as I was when I started the event. 29 out of 50 completed today. Uh, don't listen to fear saying not to listen to fear. Be a rebel, listen fear. Sure. <laughs> Fuck. I uh, love the G600. Put a ruler in the cup of my ears of my Razor Essential when it comes up to the mesh covering, not touching the speaker. Distance on the ruler is 2.5. There you go. Uh, my splendid fellow influencer. Understood. Good. Wonderful. Oh dear, knowing when to ignore fear about listening or not to fear isn't always easy. Ah, and Oz with another bundle. Amazing. I know Oz doesn't often watch, but if you are, thank you so much for continuing to use my link. I really appreciate it. Helping me pay my dental bills. Isn't it wonderful? Um, just looked up the G5 Ritchie. Very fancy looking. Drop some research on it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Definitely do your own research because it needs to be like your own, like a work for you as well, you know? Um, I personally love the weights. Like, I really love a heavy mouse. I know a lot of people like a really, 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 really lightweight one that can, like, zoom around, but I need to feel like I'm holding something. I need to feel the feedback as it moves across the, the mouse pad or whatever. So I am 100% a heavy mouse person. Uh, Dunno, Cade, Ozzy, Len, Meaty, Koala, Goose, Seeker, and Fairy. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. We are exiting the event. <laughs> because it's no longer event time. Um, it was literally three shamans and two DKs. Good. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hey, a duke. How are you going? I agree. Awesome. Also agree. Big and heavy masses for the win. Yes. Yes. Um, this one has like a little pop thing in it that I can never quite get to because of my, there we go, because of the nails. Uh, but then the weights sit in the bottom of it. Wow, it's really dark in here. I wonder, and then it magnetizes in, which is great. Um, no clicky bits that I can break my nails on. I know that's not a concern for a lot of people, but it absolutely is a concern for me. So just, just deal with it. Um, <laughs> what is going on with the camera? It's like, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, where's Lumia light? No, Lumia, rather. That's not as bright as it could be. Oh, it's on 25%. Why are you on 25% brightness? You numpty. That's too bright. I think I wanted it on 80 from memory. Yeah, then you can kind of see the difference in colors. Um, Cool. So that's a little bit better, but then I think maybe the gain. I hate that the slider has a little box with a number in it and I can't just click on the box and type the number in. I think that oh, my batteries are dead for the, the light, the hearts are actually on. But there's like the faintest little glow because there are their batteries are nearly dead. Um, there we are. I think that's close to what it has been in the past, I think. Yeah, well, let's go with that. I think it was because it, it was so bright outside today. It really messed with everything. Okay. On to the next one. It's okay. I was like sitting on instance cap, so I needed to wait a bit anyway. Um... Win. I wish it was a concern for me. I never get my nails to grow properly. There are a bunch of things you can do. Like, do they not grow or do they break? This is the this is an important distinction. I broke a nail. I'm gonna run. 
happen. <laughs> I don't, they don't break very often anymore, which is really good. I've managed to get them into a really healthy place. They never used to be. Like I've got quite, I've got really bendy nails, um, but they used to be really thin. They're a bit thicker now, but they're still flexible, which means that when I bash them on stuff, often they just bend rather than breaking, like snapping, which is really good. That's why I want them. Because a bend is better than a break. Uh, hello, Dunno. How are you going today? Did you manage to get good sleep? Um, I think I, th I think so. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. Um, break more often than not. Do you do anything with your nails? Like, I'm guessing that they still break regularly now. Like, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying have you had a break today, but like, I'm guessing that they still regularly break. But, um, what do you have any? Nail and and no is okay. Um, do you have uh, any sort of nail care routine or anything like that? Um, yeah, that's the question. I'm gonna stop trying to ask it now. Hmm. <laughs> hello, Yaza. Hello, hello. Hope it's a good thing. I th I think so. I think so. <laughs> oh, I am on Alliance side now, by the way. If anyone would like to join me, no pressure, but if you'd like to, that's where I'm hiding. I used to, it was really broke, decided it wasn't worth worrying about as it hadn't oh, made a difference Alliance. in the year. I've been trying it now, I just accept my brittle nails for what they are. What were you doing? What didn't work? If you don't mind sharing, if if you don't, like, if you if you mind sharing and don't want to share, it's totally okay. I should I should be giving you an out here. Um, but I've experimented with so many different things over the years. I, when I was a bit younger, started getting acrylic nails. Um, and by the time I stopped, it had been years. And so my natural nails were fucked and I've managed to get them back to fairly healthy. I don't have any polish on at the moment, but um, that's like, those are, those are my nails. Um, so not only are they actually really quite long, but I've also managed to get them into like literally a pointy, pointy shape. Uh, I file them to a sharp point. Like they're stiletto nails, but natural stiletto nails, which is unusual. Um, to say the least. Uh, and and everything on the internet says this is the weakest nail shape. Don't don't use this nail shape unless you're wearing plastic and blah blah all this kind of right. No, like in in the year, longer than a year now that I've had stiletto nails, I've had three breaks, three in over a year, and that is totally different to my prior experiences with my nails. Um, so I would love to be able to share what I've learned, if possible. Obviously not telling you what to do. I'm not an expert. All I'd be doing is sharing my own experiences. But if you're not comfortable with that, I understand entirely and I will absolutely not push it. Um, ew, Alliance. Yes, Alliance. Uh, <laughs> Going to bed. No worries, Jack. Rest well. We'll see you next time. Oh, I used to be a chronic nail biter. Me too. Me too. Uh, whoops. I leave Q. Took all the things. Um, I was a chronic nail biter. What I eventually got me to. What eventually got me to stop and be able to grow them a little bit, um, I ha there was a nail piercing. If you guys remember from like the early 2000s, there was like a trend where people would drill little tiny holes in their nails and put like dangly bits through them um, as like a nail piercing. I was like all about that and I wanted it. And I asked mum and she's like, you can't, like you have no nail to pierce. Like you can't use it. Why would I buy something you can't use? And so she said, if you can grow your nails, if you can grow your nails to, to this kind of length, um, I will I will buy you the kit. And I was like, and so I did. I did. And by the time they were the appropriate length, nail piercings were no longer in fashion. And I realized I didn't want to potentially have a split 
through the nail that I'd worked so fucking hard to grow. So I didn't, thankfully. But then I did go to destroy them with acrylic nails anyway. Mm, good for self-defense. Good for self-injury, honestly. Um, I'm not talking about self-harm. Um, what I'm more talking about is like trying to unscrew the lid on a bottle or something and like stabbing myself. Um, <laughs> it, it happens more than I would like to admit. But yeah, I, I injure myself more than I injure others with them. <laughs> Accidentally. That it hurt. Oh, uh, I was doing this routine with nail oils, filing and shaping, moisturizing creams. They made my hands ache, <gasps> which makes me realize I was probably allergic. Look, if you're allergic to the compounds, there is a very good chance that you're like, so your nails are kind of, they, they react to stuff in the same way that your skin does. So if something is making your skin dry and angry, it'll probably also make your nails dry and angry and dry, angry nails are really brittle. Um, so there's, there is, there is, there is that, there is that. Um, jojoba oil is a really, really good one. It's spelt jojoba, but it's pronounced jojoba. Just look, it's a thing. Um, Jojoba oil is the closest chemically, out of all the oils and stuff we use for skincare, it's the closest chemically to our natural sebum that we secrete. Um, so the skin finds it quite easy to use, like it'll it'll drink it up and, and send it where it needs to go kind of thing, more easily than some other oils. Um, and it also soaks into nails real easy. Uh, if you've got like an old nail polish bottle or something like that, that you can clean the bristles from, you can like fill it with jojoba and just like brush it on like, you know, and then rub it in uh, and get it into those cuticles. Um, filing and shaping is good as long as you're using a crystal nail file is what I'd probably say worked best for like, no metal, obviously. But the sandpaper ones, I also felt tore at my nails a bit and made them really kind of, so my nails peel as well. They don't always just snap straight off. I'd get like layers, like I'd get a pale patch at the end of a nail. I'd be, what the hell is that? And I'd kind of scratch at it a bit. And then it's like a bit of nail would just kind of flake off. Like they'd peel the layers back. Um, and that's what would I get. That's what I got before I started using a crystal nail file. Since using that, it is since switching the, to the crystal, um, I get it a lot less often and crystal nail files are not too expensive. I got a Manicare one from Priceline for like seven or eight bucks, but they last forever. You don't like, there's no sand bits to get off. You don't have to buy a new one. They just, you wash them and they're fine. Um, I do have an ad starting soon, so I'll stop talking about that until we get out of that so that Lucky won't miss anything. Um, I copped off half my fingernail with sharp Oh, <gasps> Chopped off, oh my God, yeah. I'm, look, I'm glad it was your nail and not your finger. Glad it was your nail and not your finger, but like, good lord, I hope you're okay. <clears throat> Stabbing someone when you go to hug them, done that a few times. Yes, all the time, all the time. Got like just under a minute left on the uh, ad timer. Mm. Seeing the blue post about events. Like, yes, the uh, event. The the article name on Wowhead is massively misleading. Uh, the only thing that the blue post actually said was, "We know it sucks. Watch this space." There's nothing about changing drop rates. There's nothing about changing where it comes from. There's, there's nothing about making it available at other times of the year. Literally nothing at all about any of it. The only thing the blue post said was, yes, I know it sucks. Watch this space. Um, and Wowhead have just been twisting things and, and putting things next to each other that aren't specifically related and making people read into things. And yeah, it's just a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Right, so now that I believe I'm out of the ad break, so Lucky should be able to hear me again. Um, I, I know this is, look, Simply Neological, if you haven't already, on YouTube, Simply, as in like simple, but Simply, Neological, Nail, and then Logical, but like stuck to Nail, yep. I, I'm sure you've probably seen her stuff before, fucking everyone has. Excuse me, she has a very specific video 
that is just about nail health. No nail art, no trends, no silly shit, just literally nails and nail health. Um, and honestly, watch it, take notes, and try things out because I swear to God, it changed my life. <laughs> well, my nail life at the very least. Um, I have like 160 something bottles of nail polish. And um, I actually get, pro like, I don't, I haven't, I've been so fucking busy, I have not had a chance to paint my nails because love is in the air. Um, but yes, it's, it's yeah. Um, I, I cannot wait until I can try it, like, I, until I have some time to do that. Maybe, t maybe I can do it tomorrow. If I, if, if I find time to paint my nails tomorrow, what color should I do them? One of my adventures with fingernails here, apparently, absolutely. It's completely faded now. I used to have a scar on my arm from a friend's nail. Oh my goodness. That's impressive. Yeah, simply not. Thank you, Koala. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's how you spell it. Uh, I don't read any of that stuff. I just finally see my pants when playing. Wow, brilliant. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and then end up in the black hole of sea. I need to catch into that. That's okay. I really appreciate the advice, Mini. Look, of course, you're so welcome. I know the pain. Like, I, I know the pain. And if I can help someone else not have that pain, by golly, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> by golly. Um, imagine having time. I know, wouldn't it be magical? Pink. Try that again. End up in the black hole that is Christine. She is. She's wonderful. Honestly, she is what I aspire to be. Like, I, I kid you, the way that she's open about, um, like how, semi-open about how much she makes and like the realities of, of making a living from YouTube and the way that she does, you know, back to school giveaways that aren't a fucking MacBook with a whole bunch of stickers and shit. It's goddamn tuition fees. Um, like I, I just got goosebumps, like, if, if I was able to get to that sort of, and I, kn I know I won't, but that's, it's okay. If I was able to get to that kind of level, I would fucking love, I mean, obviously in Australia, we don't really, I mean, we do have tuition, but it's not the same. Like you don't have to have a college fund. You don't have to take out a million private loans, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but like even just providing some kind of a, a scholarship dearly where you give someone a big chunk of money to pay for their housing and pay for their fucking textbooks and and all the extra bits and pieces that they might need and stuff for school like that would just good lord that would just be epic there is legendary there is no other it, mm. god i would love to be able to give back like that i would love to be able to give back like that She's just, she's such an awesome human. Such an awesome human. And like an awkward Ben. Oh, oh Ben. Oh, Ben. He's just like, yep, I've accepted that this is my life now, regardless of whether or not I actually enjoy it. Like, it's just, oh, yep. Uh, pink because heartbreaker. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Rocket Colors, which one video? Four days later, I was still watching them. Yeah, I binged all of her videos, literally going back to the start, um, in the space of, like, a couple weeks. Like, I was listening to them, not so much watching them, but, I mean, I did occasionally. I think it was back when I was working my, like, day job, like, my full time, back when I was working full time. So I'm talking, like, three years ago? Three and a half years ago? I think? Yeah. Um... And uh, yeah, I, I like, I watched, I watched a video and then I went back and watched the next one and then the next one and the next one. And then I was like, why is there not a next one? Oh no. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I haven't watched any of her stuff in a while. It, it has been a long while, but um, she's just, she's yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, laughs in hex debt. Yeah, but it's different. Hex debt is not like a loan from a bank where they'll, they'll take your house to pay for it or, or, you know, sue your estate or anything like that. It's like, if, if you don't make enough money in your job- I'm not a paladin, uh. To pay for your degree, 
then you just don't. It's, it's as simple as that. If you do not make above the threshold to have to pay back your hex, then you don't. They don't pass, they don't take it out of your estate, they don't pass it down to your kids, there's none of that kind of crap, or your dependents. It's just, if you don't make enough to pay for it, then you don't pay for it. It's not real, like, it's not debt in the same way. Um, uh, hello, Rose. Happy time zone to you too. Have been able to do all 50 attempts every day. So far, so good. Yes, so far. I'm at 35 attempts so far today. Um, good to see you. The hex can be put off for so long. It can be put off literally forever. If you do not, if your income does not pass the threshold to pay back your degree, you do not pay back your degree. It's been almost a decade? Wait. It's been over a decade. Since I, since I, or roughly a decade. Since I graduated university. I have never paid a cent of my hex debt off. Not a cent. Because I've never earned over the threshold. Not a cent. Uh, if you do make enough, it's proportional what they take. Yep, absolutely. If you make a fuckload, then they take a big chunk. If you make just over, they take a couple bucks. Did you see the Wowhead post about this mount? Yes, Wowhead's title is misleading. All that the blue head, the, all that the blue post said, the only content in the blue post was, we know it sucks, watch this space. We have zero other information. How many is that, five people who've asked now, I think? Regardless, I don't give a flying fuck. I want it now, not next year, so. <laughs> they may not change anything. They might be, you know, they're exploring possibilities. They may explore all of the possibilities that they have staff bring to the table and none of them fit what they want to do with it and so they don't change anything. We don't know, they don't know. It's just watch this space. Um, Weeps and Broke Master's degree. Um... Yeah, that's fucked. Why is that fucked? The whole- why did- there we go! Axiom, thank you so much for the cheer! Much appreciated. Why- why is that fucked, Rose? I uh, just look at the threshold. Yeah, glad I never went to uni. We might need a warehead command. Command? Ah, uh, look, no one will give a shit about it two days from now, so... It's fine. Part of me wants to redeem a command called Fuck Wowhead. <laughs> nah. I uh, never for a sound redeem. Ah, uh, but do we really want them to make it less rare? Um, I, I honestly have no opinion. I want the mounts. I will put in whatever work they determine is required to have them. It doesn't bother me either way. It is frustrating. It's not the most fun type of gameplay, but I'll do it. <laughs> I, I enjoy the chase. I enjoy the hunt. So I'm I'm one of those weirdos. I ran off in ten issues. Never told them to stop. So four savings back at tax time. Oh dear. Wait, hang on. You never told them to stop. Shouldn't they just realize like you have it's it's the fucking tax office. Like you you don't have any hex left. We'll stop taking payments. Like that's a bit strange. Oh, long day finally come to an end. Fantastic! I was lucky this year for Mount. Oh, congrats, Kalu! Well done! Instead of making it drop more, I'd rather have them make a new one that was less rare. They preserve the prestige for the people who have the Mount now. Um. Oh, the money thing is fucked that you can't pay it off. It's not cool. I absolutely can pay it off. I don't have to. I don't. That's, abs that's the opposite of fucked. Um, so you can, like, people in Australia can absolutely make additional payments off it. So how it works is, there's a threshold. Let's say the threshold is $50,000, right? If you earn $51,000 or $50,001 in a year, they will take a portion of it. When they take tax, they will take a small portion of your income to pay off your hex debt. However... 
if you earn $49,999, they will not take anything. If you earn $100,000 in a year, they will take more. If you earn $150,000 in a year, they'll take even more. The more you make, the more they take to pay off the debt. But if you make under that threshold, they don't take anything ever at all. I can still turn around and pay, take my own earned money and pay it into that debt, the hex debt. It's higher education something scheme. Um, so it's for a university degree, right? Um, so I can absolutely go and pay it manually, but I don't have to. They're not taking any payments out of my paycheck for it because I don't earn enough. Why the fuck would I? Some people want to be like a debt free, but personally, I don't see it as being an actual debt because it's not like I'm going to get a call from a debt collector saying you haven't paid it. It's not like a credit card that's gone into collections or they're going to take my house away because I'm not paying my mortgage. It's none of those things. It's literally just, it's okay, we're going to wait until you earn enough. The idea is you go to university to get a degree. The, like, the idea is you go to university to get a degree so that you have more earning potential. The idea is that if you have a degree, you should have the ability to earn more in a job. Therefore, you don't pay it back until you're earning the money you should be earning with your fancy piece of paper. If you get a degree and it turns out it's fucking useless and you never make that much money, then you never pay for it. That's, that's the opposite of fucked. It's a really good system in my opinion, in my honest opinion. Um, but yeah, like I understand obviously if you're not from Australia, you have no idea how any of that, like that any of that is a thing, but that's how higher education works in Australia. Tertiary education. Um, yes, you can pay it off. You don't have to. Uh, East Frank, people know you as someone who's interested in this man as one of those five asses who wanted to know your view, which I do. Of course, of course. It's just, it's just really funny that my, my answer is getting shorter and shorter over time because I'm becoming more practiced in how I like rattle off the couple sentences that contain my opinion. Um, enjoy the hunt too. Don't they take out of salary? No. Increase the CPI. There's no one kicking the door to make you pay for it. Correct. Correct. And I have never earned over the threshold, so I've never paid back a single cent on my hex. <clears throat> I do report my Twitch income to the tax office because I earn enough that I have to report it. It's no longer considered a hobby by the Australian tax office, otherwise known as the ATO. So I have to report my earnings. Even with that though, <laughs> still haven't earned enough. Maybe one day, not today. No, they don't stop in their own government. Gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> Uh, An illusion. <laughs> what are you hiding? Yeah, the, the the repayment threshold has been slowly but surely dropping over the last 10 years. Uh, but I've never hit it, and I don't think I... I don't think I will this year either. I don't think I will. Where's my tax shit? <laughs> oh, that's my notice of assessment. I want my... Oh, there it is. <laughs> no. No, I'm nowhere... No, I'm not even close. I wasn't, I should say. I wasn't even close to that last year. Uh, and... Judging by my income this year compared to where I was at at the same time last year, I will not be close this year either. Not, not nowhere even. <laughs> oh, I wasn't kidding when I told you I was broke. Um, Twitch doesn't do tables. But yeah, no, Twitch does not do tables, but that's okay. Um... Vision. Yes, we do. The prestige of the mount is just in your head. If you can't tolerate other people, get the mount easier than yourself. You should introspect some more. Huh? I I don't care anyway. Like I just yeah. There's a mount. I want it. I go get it. If it takes effort, oh well. I go do effort. Not everyone is like that. I recognize that. Um, but look. I just I just play the game the way I want to play the game. And other people are free to have their opinions. Absolutely. Um, but I'm just having fun. Mm -hmm. 
I went to university to learn more, not to earn more. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, this is the way the government sees it. Uh, the government don't ever learn more. That's, um, that's kind of one of their trademarks. <clears throat> uh, especially the Australian government. They, <clears throat> they prefer arguing, like, uh, kindergartners, uh, in, in the big room with all the chairs instead. Um, uh, not the Senate, the fucking, I don't remember. But yeah, no, um, but yeah, that's just, that's, that's the, the premise behind it. It doesn't matter why you went to university. Fact of the matter is, this is, this is how the system works and why it works the way it does. Um, but, you know, back when they all, the people who are actually changing the, uh, thresholds these days all got their education for free because there wasn't hex back then. It was just, here, have a degree. But that's fine. Welcome on in, Falsy. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Uh, so it's like a helping hand, but only the people who get to use the help in the long run has to pay it off. That makes sense. Yeah. A similar system in Sweden. Cool. Thank you for explaining. You're welcome, Rose. Uh, it used to be that you could keep studying forever and never pay, but they eventually limited it. Yeah. Yep. Because, you know, the people doing the limiting who have their free degrees and free master's degrees and, yeah, no, we can't give anyone else what we have because then they'll take our power, but that's fine. Whatever. Ah, uh, this report tax from Twitch making it not a hobby if you're a professional influencer confirmed. Um, so Australia every handful of years, someone's going to tell me how many it is because they always do. Uh, we do a census. Basically, you get a, a thing in the mail. Uh, nowadays, they do it all online. You log in. You used to have to fill out like the, the piece of paper. Like there was like pages of paper that you had to kind of fill out and stuff like a booklet. Uh, but these days it's online. You do the census. You log on. And you give information about yourself. You give like your your um, I think it's your date of birth, um, like where you live, uh, your rough income bracket, all this kind of stuff. There are there are a lot of questions you don't have to answer, um, but it's and it's all decent. It's all depersonalized. It's all completely private. You don't put your name anywhere. From what I remember, there was zero name entering anywhere, um, but I could be remembering that incorrectly because I do that a lot. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, it's to gather information about the, it, it's the census. It's to gather data about the population. And uh, we had our last census, I think it was last year. Although with time being what it is, it could have been the year before. Um, <laughs> and on the stuff, it said, what is your main occupation? And you had to put in like a description. It was a free entry box. You had to describe what you do. You know, like administration assistant or, or forklift driver or nurse or secondary educator, secondary teacher, or you know that kind of stuff, right? Um, and I was like, do I put in assistant accountant, or is it stream? Which how do they even calculate? Like, which one are they? I'm healing. I'm sorry. Um, which, how do they calculate? Like, which how do I know which one's my main job? And Jas was just like, I I don't know. I don't know. And then there was a little box, like a little question mark in a circle. I'm like, oh, maybe I should hover over that. And I did. And it said, this is the, if you have more than one job, this is the job you spend the most hours doing. And I was like, and then I'm like, wait, hang on. But does, does that mean live time or does it mean back end time? And then Jas looks at me and goes, even if you were just counting live time, you still spend more time streaming than you do at your day job. And I was like, I am aware it is on the wrong screen. I said I was in the middle of healing and that I wasn't going to be switching shit because I was trying not to let people die. Thank you for your patience. Uh, Koala, Spam, Bod, Aussie, and Fairy, congratulations on your bonus shit. Um, but yeah, so I ended up putting fucking content creator on the census. What? So yeah, I was a little like, that was a, that was a bit of an oh my God moment. Not gonna lie, that was kind of like a holy crap, this is real, this is what I do now, this is my job, oh my god. Uh, but yeah. Okay, on to the next one. Uh, what's the threshold now? I might have to pay some back soon. Ah, uh, 47 and something. Yeah, 47k and change. Um... I just calculated 50k, if I made that much, I'd be making 30% more money. Yeah, I, uh, I make nowhere near that amount, that amount, but that's fine. Well, as long as I can survive. Um, we don't ever learn more TM. House of Representatives and Senate question up. Yeah, the fucking Q&A. Bullshit. Yeah. It's their daycare center of which one is occurring this, 
It's fine. I, I have I have not wa I watched one. And I was just like, these are the people in charge of making sure the country runs correctly. And I had a bit of an existential crisis moment, and I never watched it again. The government making everything good? Shit. Not always. To their credit, sometimes they get shit right. But more often than not, they don't. <clears throat> Oh, no, highest living cost. Yeah, um, Australia is yeah one of the highest cost of living countries in the world. It even says that on uh, like visa application forms and stuff. Five years, yeah, on the one and six. Yep, so last year. So I enjoyed doing it online last time. It did not take nearly as I was expecting to have to sit here for like an hour and a half doing two people like because Jas and I were the ones living here. But it was so fun. We got it done in like 15 minutes for the both of us. I was shocked. Shocked. BS. I said put down influencer. You did say to put down influencer and I said no. So I put content creator. Um. Hello nurse. So happy for you. Thank you Rose. I'm happy for me too. Not gonna lie. I'm loving life. Like. Shit's just great. Shit's just great. I'm about to drop. Oh, I am. Yeah. So I've actually got OBS over here. I can see. I've um, put when I'm when I'm running these and I'm actually healing a dungeon. I've got OBS on my second screen. I can see what's there. So I am never gonna open a fucking box when I'm on the stream reader screen. It's not happening. Like, have a little faith. Have a little faith. When I'm not concentrating on what's going on, sure. But I am absolutely. Like, if I missed that moment. I would hate myself for a hundred years. It's not gonna happen. It is It is not gonna happen. I'm not gonna miss it. Hence the bonus streams. Um, try not to watch it, very frustrating. Oh yeah, no, I just, I absolutely do not watch. Never, I spend 90% of the time insulting each other, yeah. Yeah, like sure, insult the policy, but why the fuck are you insulting the person? It's got nothing to do with it. Good Lord, get over it. Uh, it's something their teammates say, yeah, or oh, heckling, like the actual, like, god damn, are you 12? If so, you shouldn't be on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> uh, incomplete. These are the people in charge of making a country, uh, countries run properly for themselves. Yeah, look. Uh, I'm running caverns alone. Every blue item is double dropping with the bosses. Oh, weird. That is... Interesting luck you have there, Seiko. Smooth. This is attempt 40 for the day. We're getting there. They've definitely got their shit sorted with the Q-timers, let me tell you. Ah, oh, well done, Sheba. Well done. Are you guys excited to find some new pets? Maybe I should go do Heartbreaker. <laughs> Maybe you should. Yesterday's was horrible. Oh no. This is my last Alliance tune. Actually, while I'm here, Alexia has a 101, so I can go buy that toy. Fairlyn has 164, so she can go buy that toy. And if I do a single daily on Fear, I can buy that last toy as well. Maybe I should do that before I click over to the pets. I think I will. Just to cross them off my list. Because that'll feel real, or like, that'll feel real good. Real good. And we'll get, we'll still get the happy brain juice noises. I ne fucking watch before this one declines and I have to get a go back to healer again. Um it must have been real hard, but it's been homesick, I guess. She's made a quiddle. It's a quiddle with four words. You can think at the same time it's wild and fun. 
Alright, let's stay. Well done. I'm glad you guys this lot. Do you have a favorite class to play? No, all good. Uh, mage. Uh, I'm a fire mage. The the word fiamma actually means fire. Uh, flame, sorry. It means flame in Italian. Um, and my, my main for 15 years that I've been playing has been a mage. I've always played fire if I can help it. Um, sometimes I've needed, like if I was back when I was raiding, like with a proper raiding guild and shit, uh, I would play arcane if that was meta. I don't enjoy frost. The frost playstyle just doesn't mesh with me that well. Um, so I, I don't play frost. Uh, but yeah, fire mage is my character of choice. Class of choice. Got the same yesterday. Remain can cope with four. Oh my goodness. No, it's not paladin. Nah. There's a sound command for that too. Is on cooldown? It is. It is. Um, we had a <laughs> last night when people realized it was a thing that existed, and that it's in the the overlay. There's a there's an extension that you can pay bits to pay sound commands off cooldown. God, it was just. Why is the sky purple? Am I? dying or is it just because the green is making me see things a little bit strange jazz is the sky purple what is going on outbreak is about to drop it appears the sky is indeed falling oh dear oh dear uh but yes there is there is an extension uh, to play sound commands for 50 bits off cooldown. There's also uh, a random uh, button that you can use for 10 bits instead, but it, you obviously you can't choose what it plays. Um, but yeah, so we had like, there was a good 10 minutes there where it was just, not even 10 minutes, but like, just, I'm not a paladin, I'm not a paladin, I'm not a paladin, I'm not a paladin, just over and over again. And so it was great. I was like nearly crying with laughter. be a cloud but why is the cloud purple trusting someone who can see out windows <laughs> why is it i'm gonna restart my pc after stream tonight shiba hopefully that'll help why is it purple it is absolutely not purple it's the fact that the blinds look green because of the nano leaf panels tweaking the outside color by comparison it's making it look more red because, you know, eyes. <laughs> oh, sun is going down. Clouds reflect light. Funny. No, the, once I moved it, it was not purple at all. Um, once I looked outside, it's just regular old grey, like dusk colours, but with the green everywhere. Like, Jess, you can come in here if you'd like and have a look from my perspective. The, the clouds outside look like, like pink because of the green everywhere. Um, maybe it's a Nazoth cloud. Just to pick up the purple. I don't think the camera's gonna be able to pick it up, honestly. Oh, kind of, actually. Terrible photo is terrible. Here we go. I'll post this in Discord. It is a shocking photo, and you can just see a sliver be between the. Blah, 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 blah. You can see a sliver between the blinds, um, but it definitely looks pink in comparison. But it is not. But it is not. Uh, uh, 
reminds me of showing a really strong spotlight to the sky with a purple beam. <laughs> Ah, when you think it's epic, but it's common, or even poor, because it's grey, not white. Good lord. Pink. Yeah. Well, because, like, red is the opposite on the spectrum of green, and of green because it's, like, blue and yellow, and then it's opposite red. So if you make something look really, really green, something in comparison will look more red than it actually is. Therefore, pinky, red, purple type of colour. Oh, I'm a healer. Shit. Okay. Right. Oops. Does someone get them out? As in guest makeup? Yes. Sheba. Rusted Proto Drake. This guy is what, 500 runs for the mount duty, right? Right? I'll be at 500 tomorrow, I think, if I don't get it before then. I think tonight I'm only gonna get to 450. Math? I think that's math. Oh, shit, wrong tune. Uh, what's the text command reward that you can buy with embers? Just curious. If you click on it, it should tell you, Chaos. When you click on something, you have to confirm it to be able to actually buy it. You can't just click on it and it happens straight away. So you can always click on something if you're curious. And that goes for other streams as well. Um, if you're curious about one of their redemptions, click it and it'll have a description. Oh, I can pause to check. Okay. Mm. I have a couple of stretches and stuff to do as well. Well, Matt, thank you, Rose. Another hydrate. Uh huh. <clears throat> Did I right? Handy trick, right? Because, yeah, I'll jump into a new stream all the time and be like, what the fuck does this mean? Because it'll be an in-joke with the community or whatever. And that's, that's great. Like, that's awesome to have. But I'm like, I don't know what this means. So I click it, and it usually tells me. And if it doesn't, I'm like, does they just assume everyone will get the in-joke? <laughs> and then I ask them, hmm. Sorry, I have an email, and I don't know how I feel about it. Hey Jess, that delivery card? I just got a- I got a ping three hours ago saying it was ready to be collected. <laughs> Oops. That was loud, good lord. Um... Yeah, I'm not a paladin, uh... Yep. Yeah. Um, I, you're welcome. You're welcome. Clearly what we need now is a design that is a mallet with a circle and line through it. Return baby pally, me 
minutes ago, and we're still daily crafting in the last 25 tunes. Opens Twitch and gets distracted. You're welcome. You are a paladin. You are. No! Wrong. On mugs? You want it on a mug, okay. I, I have to have a play around with our current emote size and see if it actually prints okay on mugs. Because you need it to be a decent size, but you don't want to stretch it and then have it. Because um, uh, Teespring is, or Spring is really, really good at doing, um, like when you're, when you're designing it with their really easy to use designer, um, it does a thing where, Uh, like if you if you start moving an image and making it bigger or smaller because sometimes you make something smaller And then you go to make it bigger again, and you can't remember how big it was supposed to be So it'll say like print quality great good average and then like shit, but not shit um, So like it actually tells you Whether or not it's gonna look okay, which is really good Still yes still the rules BuzzFeed says what you are, internet rule. Look, BuzzFeed can suck it. <laughs> Basically. Come on, how are you? Nothing. Next one. Oh, excuse me. Almost done. Six more to go for the day. Six more to go for the day.
hope everyone's having an awesome time. Sounds maybe check the stream wasn't booked. I know. Look, it's we had a quiet moment. We we had a quiet moment. It's okay. It happens. We have been very chatty today. There has been almost constant like stuff happening and conversation being had. Sometimes it is nice to have just like a moment of quiet. Uh, but it does make me feel uncomfortable. Like I have to fill the silence. Because, I mean, I'm supposed to be an entertainer, right? And what if someone drops by in that one moment and they're like, oh, well, this is boring. No one's talking and the streamer isn't even talking. But I usually do. I was just taking a 10 second break. Like. <laughs> Let me confer with my sources. How about no. strawberry seeds stuck in my tooth? Uncomfortable. Very nice to just relax and listen. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So... We've got six tunes to go. Once I've done with these six, I'm going to jump on to Alexia and go buy her toy. Then I'm going to jump on Phelan and go buy her toy. And then I'm going to jump on Fia and do one individual daily. And buy her toy. And then the only thing after those three toys that I will need from this entire event is the mount. And that's a pretty good feeling. I'm crossing off as much as I can this year. Year of the event. Crossing them off. Uh, once all that's done though, uh, I would like to do some pet farming. I have a whole bunch of polish, polished pet charms to go and, um, to, and to go and spend. Uh, so that'll be fun. Cross a few more pets off the list. And then, um, oh, that was quick. And then I'm thinking maybe the pet battle dungeons, because I think I'm really close to being able to buy the three currency pets from each of those. So that'd be really good. We should we might be able to get quite a few new ones today, actually. Excuse me. Why? Why? I'm wondering if there's like... No. I don't know what has happened there. Oh. What? It looks like Lumia is down. Because the, the connections thing, Lumia services keeps turning off and on. Um. I'm going to restart that. That lets me. It isn't letting me quit properly. Sorry, that was me. I didn't realize it would make a really loud noise like that. That's entirely my fault. Uh, let's restart that. I wonder if it's me or if their servers are down. Um. Usually, game listen to the wisdom of fear and the really crappy drop reads you're having. Look, they're okay. 
It's just, it is, it is a, it's a rare one. It's okay. Why did Koalatron not say it was on cooldown? Or did it play? That's interesting. I don't remember. Look. It's okay. How goes the grind? Going well, thank you, Jeannie. Oh, noises intensify. Have you seen the way I had put? Yes. Um, they never said making it easier to get. All they said, literally everything that was in the blue post, fuck all the context, ev fuck everything that Wowhead has said and speculated about. The only thing... The only thing that Blizzard actually said was, it sucks, watch this space. That's it. There's, they haven't said anything about making it easier, about doing... There's, there's nothing. All they've said is... It sucks. Watch this space. In fact, their complaint about it was that it wasn't a, an entertaining experience. It wasn't even about the drop rate being rare or, or too too hard or anything like that. It was literally, it wasn't fun. They might make it just as rare, but have it be more fun. So, like, we don't know. They might do nothing. They might evaluate all these possible solutions and then not do anything, not change anything, because they can't make a balance between fun and rare that they want. We don't know. Um, Wowhead is just built a whole lot of assumptions out of a very simple statement from Blizzard. Um, so, yeah. That's what I think. People are reading way too much into it. Um, new pet stream. Yes! Who's about to enter an IRL boss fight? Uh, there's someone's family tree studying it because, uh, okay, person thing. I mean, brilliant. I will look at it later. My lady looking extra push on that top. Thank you, Savage. This is a gift from Rump, and I like it very much, Lee. It's really comfy and, and really awesome. I like it a lot. Thank you. Um, to we'll get good response? Wowhead being wowhead. Oh, it just, yeah, wowhead being wowhead's about right, isn't it? It just, it really upsets me because they, they're such a good, like the database is fantastic. It's such a good resource, but their articles are just, they scrape the barrel like consistently. And it really upsets me. Okay, can we reset to default, please? Good, thank you. Lumi is just having a time today, I reckon. Having a time. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're having a lovely day, Jeannie. Wow, head aside. Uh, lacking things to post lately, post anything and everything it seems. Yeah, it's it's about getting the clicks. Um, and I mean, a blue post about an event that's currently going on that is a hot topic of conversation is an appropriate article. But not what they've done with it. Not what they've done with it. Um, it's just, yeah. Um, I, I understand. So if they put up an article, right, that says interview with John Doe, Okay. But then John Doe mentions seven key points during this interview, right? Cool. So instead, Wowhead goes, interview with John Doe. Interview with John Doe. Uh, they don't even mention John Doe. Uh, Blizzard interview reveals point one. Blizzard interview reveals point two. Blizzard interview reveals point three. Blizzard interview reveals point four. And what that's designed to do is that people might not care about John Doe. The people who care about point one will click on the point one article. People who care about points one through five will click on all of those articles and then maybe the original one as well. Like it's, that's the key. They're trying to get as many clicks as possible because the more clicks, the more ad revenue. That's how they make their money. Uh, and they have to make money to be able to survive, to be able to host the database and all that kind of shit, they need ad revenue. So I get that. I just don't like it. I, I, the bit that I really don't like is the fact that they put fucking spoilers in their article headlines. They don't have to say, like, 9.2, Batman's parents die. They could say, Batman, like, 9.2 spoilers involving Batman's parents. Or, you know, involving fucking... Arthas involving fucking 
Jailer involved, like, but spoilers, just don't put the whole fucking spoiler in the title. Just tell us that there's spoilers in this article and that it relates to a character and that it relates to uh, the, the patch. Like, there's no need to lay out storyline major plot points in an article headline. There's no need for it. If people did that on Twitter, they would be fucking reamed for it. So why the hell are we allowed to do it? I just don't understand. I don't understand. Ah, uh, not that one, this one. Spam, boy, Zam, dick, and fairy. Congratulations to all of you. Ah, uh, just wake up with a cup of coffee. Fantastic. Well, I hope it is wonderful and delicious and you get what you need from it. Batman's parents won't. You'll have it out for Batman's parents. It's the, it's the biggest, like, major plot point thing that I can think of that was, like, old enough that most people fucking know about it by now. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I don't want to use something that's two or three years old because I could still fuck it up sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that that was like literally decades ago, so. <laughs> um, I agree. I never heard as interested in the new survivor game that was announced. I did see that, that they're looking, they're hiring a team and stuff. That'll be interesting. I hope it's not just um, like, hey, this is, I mean, they didn't jump into the BR. They kind of did with Hearthstone, but not really. They didn't jump onto the Battle Royale trend when that was happening. Um, but now the trend is kind of survival games, like, you know, team-based games where, like, you try to kill your friends and there's a murderer amongst you and things like that. There's, there's those kind of games seem to be, like, the hot thing at the moment. So I hope it's not just them trying to cash in on a trend. I hope that it's genuinely, like, a, a beautiful open big thing and stuff but hey look we'll find out in a couple years won't we we'll find out uh there's something about this Australian accent the word fucking just rolls off the tongue indeed endured about 80 months behind i'm mildly proud of myself for only shadows ah oh, fantastic thought congratulations congratulations unless it's like valheim i have not played valheim i do not do sandbox um i i as a as a very overgeneralized rule, I don't tend to enjoy sandbox games. I, I don't. Um, so, I mean, I'm never say never. I I'm sure I'll probably give it a go. At this point, I've played most of Blizzard's games. Uh, there are a couple that I haven't, but um, there it's because they're either you know the original game. Like I haven't played Lost Vikings. <laughs> um, uh, but, like, I, I have played most Blizzard games at this point, so I would probably give it a go. I'd probably give it a go. Uh, but if it turns out to be really sandboxy, I can't see myself getting, like, super into it. Uh, just because I, I need goals that are laid out for me. There is, there is of course, um, you know, some people love making their own challenges. Look at fucking hardcore WoW players and stuff like, you know, when they die, the tune is gone forever sort of thing. I respect total a massive amounts of respect uh but i much prefer a game that has goals laid out for me um it just i don't know i guess it works better for my brain or something i, I feel like i'm actually achieving something rather than just wandering around aimlessly uh but because i mean i might do that in life why why would i want to do it in a game as well it's supposed to be escapism right uh, <laughs> uh but i'm glad that there are different types of games for everybody you know that's that's a good thing but yeah, we'll see. You know, it'll be a few a few years before it um, hits the thing. You know, they're still talking about a concept and hiring pretty base uh, positions for developing that game. So it, sh it should be a few years before it hits. Um, I would imagine. I'm not really super, super in with game development, but I know it takes a while. Um, this is all that I've played for the past five years. It's pretty much just WoW and Hot's Why? Why does that make you feel old? Fear what's for dinner? I'm feeling snackish. I think we're having chicken pasta tonight. Uh, was not I having dino nuggets tonight? Brilliant. Would you consider Lost Ark? Uh, uh, probably not. Probably not. I just like nothing that anyone has said about it has even caused me a modicum of interest. Um, I just, yeah. 
I think I'm just so involved in WoW that everything else is just kind of like, I'm sorry, what games? <laughs> Uh, I'd consider you a hardcore WoW player collecting things, doing this downtown shit 50 times a day for like two weeks. That's hella hardcore. No, I know, but you know hardcore like as in Diablo hardcore. Like when, when a character dies, you lose them forever, you can't get them back kind of thing. That kind of hardcore. It's a specific type of player. A specific type of challenge, I should say. Um, yeah, it's, it's different. It's not just how much you play. I want chicken pasta. Chicken pasta is delicious. Because we have like macaroni. Like the ends of a pack of macaroni, there's only like two servings there that's been sitting there for a long ass time. So I'm like, yeah, let's just have pasta. Let's cook it up, have the rest of it. We'll be good. Uh, shit. Am I not in? I am in tank form. Where's my... Uh, hello, Majesty. Congratulations again. How are you? We had a chance for some rest. Yeah, what she was had for some of course, of course. Humans are different. They are, they are. But yeah, in that in that context of that conversation we were having, hardcore had a specific definition. That's all. Um I have the green background, super pleasing. Oh wonderful. Yeah, someone uh redeemed their bits to change the colour of the background with the with the overlay extension. There's a thing in there that you can use to control my lights. There we go. Fifty out of fifty for the day. Uh what's that? 450 attempts total so far this year, 1300 total total so far, 1300, no heartbreaker. That's okay. Um, I mentioned Diablo, Diablo 3 hardcore mage, had for a year, died over the weekend. Oh, Savage! I'm so sorry for your loss. So, so sorry to hear that. Ah, uh, like some people think what I've done in WoW is difficult, but I just do I find fun. It's not hard for me, of course. I'm fun with Lost Art, so much to do, and it's free, which is then both. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it, truly. That's wonderful to hear. So did someone change it back to green after I deemed orange? It didn't... It didn't flag in Lumia. Did you lose the bits? Because it didn't come through as a message. Like, it didn't come through as a redemption in the log. There's a, there's a log that I can see all the different light changes and why they've happened. See, that's just come through because I just had a Twitch follow and then it went back to default. So I don't, I didn't have anything in the log to change it to orange. Um... Using some energy. They should give you like a, like an accounting thing, like where your bits are going. That'd be real nice. Just because it's not technically money anymore doesn't mean that you shouldn't be able to- Do you know what I mean? Because otherwise they could just so easily just take bits here and there. Uh, I mean, not that I think that they would because it's fucking fraud, but like... Yeah, I don't know. I just- that doesn't sit right with me. I wish they'd give you like an accounting thing where you could see where your bits are going. Um... I'm chilling really super nice. So exhausted. Back to work Saturday. Wonderful. Green is super fun. Awesome! Oh good. I'm glad you like it. This is not much anymore. How cool it changes when you get followers. Yeah, I've got it set up so it changes when I get followers. It changes with uh, cheers, depending on how much a person cheers. You know how the actual bits have the colors, like the green, the gray, and the green, and the red, and the blah blah blah. Or like so, they change to the color of the bits. Uh, if there's a raid, it changes. If there's donations um, or subscriptions, it changes. It's really fucking cool. I think the only thing I haven't managed to figure out is to make it flash if I get a gift from my wish list. Because I don't think that there's a throne integration with Lumia. Mm. It does. Ah, wallet bits history. Ah! Ah, it doesn't work for extensions. Ah, shit. Lumia definitely said successful. How cool is technology? It's amazing. It's amazing. Drop down menu where it says on site, change it to extensions. <gasps> Nutty, look at you go. Thank you so much for the info. Let me know, dupe. All right, so I am purchasing the sturdy love fool. This is a bit ridiculous. Sturdy love fool, and I need to turn ATT on. 
So otherwise we're not going to get the happy noises. Uh, should you have an UDI code now? I do. I do, but it's not uh, an affiliate one. However... Does it track? I can't even remember now if it tracks or not. I remember I don't I don't get any affiliate payments from Udi because they did sponsored streams. So they they gave me the Udi first round and then I did a second stream where they paid cash because they'd already given me the Udi. So I did a stream with the previous Udi and got paid for it. Um, same thing with step one. I haven't done a stream with the underpants. I mean, I'm wearing a pair of the underpants at the moment, but um, I'm not going to flash because that will get me banned. Um, but step one is not an affiliate code and it's not an affiliate link. They paid me for my socials posts and stuff in underpants. But yeah, but interacting with my posts and stuff, specifically about step one, having those really high engagement rates on those posts is what will get me future brand deals. And because they've already sent me underpants in the future, they may send me money for more content kind of thing. Like that's how that sort of thing works. Yes. Thanks, awesome. Uh, I just to think what it looks like for you. Do you have any general WoW goals before 10 -0? Honestly, at the moment, not really. I'm just mount farming and like get more mounts, get more collectibles, like it's not, yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I might find one, but I'm, uh, yeah. Happy brain juice noises. Good. So Alexia's done. Uh, let's hop on to Phelan and we'll buy the Hearthstone. It shows 250 bit redemptions for today, but not what they're for. I need at least one Phelan and the second may have been light. Okay. All right, what we'll do. Um, there's this one. Because I know it's been a bit fucky today. So, there we go. Let's go with that. And just hope it works in future. <laughs> Possibly do like it. Is it possible to make a light change 51 bits just temporarily? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but it's okay. Like, don't don't stress about it. It's fine. We'll just we'll sit at that for a year. Um, like the old one ring wow challenge. The first ring you got, ran it to Black Mount, Black Rock Mountain, threw it into the lava, aka deleted it, mostly because you were usually low level. Getting there was non-trivial before levels were adjusted to your own. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. Ah, uh, I got back into wool farming the past two weeks and I'm in my zone. I'm so zen. Brilliant. Is it still worth it for you? Because when I was looking at how much gold I was making per hour, but it just, it was just not worth it. Um, although I'm like very time poor and I have to like, these days with how much work I'm putting into the stream behind the scenes, I, I cannot afford to do stuff that isn't like super profitable anymore, unfortunately. Um, but obviously, you know, everyone's going to have different priorities and stuff like that. Uh, all right, so I'm purchasing the Hearthstone. Petalfeet's lovely Hearthstone. Oh, I forgot to turn ATT back on. Shit. God damn it. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, logging out. On to Fear. And we're going to turn all of her add-ons on because I can. I'm oh, sure we'll be able to see if it works. Ah, uh, okay. Um, sure. Give me a second. Uh, which one do you want me to? Which one would you like me to change? Uh, no, no, I want commands, Twitch extensions. Red, please. Edit. Ah, uh, no. Okay, so the bits is a drop down. I can't change it to fifty one. I can have it at 50 and the closest are 42 or 69 because of course. So what would you, what would your choice be? 69 giggity. Yeah, but that is more expensive. So I don't want to like, you know, but yeah, that's why it's an option. Same thing with 42, because it's, you know, the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Mm. 
extortion. No, hey, I gave you the option of dropping it. Can I be, like, there you go. Uh, refresh, done, refreshed. You may need to refresh your page though. Got to get every class to 60 before patch. There you go. It does work. Why is it redeemed value? Be. I think it's supposed to say command. I will fix that later. I'm gonna change it back down to 50. Apply, refresh. I know I've got mail gonna expire, it's fine. Mm, is working, it is. Thank you so much, Dupe, for your generosity in helping me make sure it works by spending cash. Like that's, I, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Why am I taking that portal? I'm a mage. Um, the Everest will be through gold capping. Spend mine too quick. Gotta have it whenever it's one million. Token prices ruin that. That's what makes the look screen look nice. Yeah. Hi, Captain Wood. I don't want you caps in though. Change right there on the screen. Didn't need to refresh or anything. Yes. Awesome. Oh, that's fantastic news. So glad to hear that. All right, so I think I need one daily to get to 270. Uh, but that's okay, we can do that. Hey, how you doing? I think the perfect puff of perfume is going to be. What up? Yeah. No Awesome, I'm not going to go to Undercity. Uh, what I'm going to do... Let's turn this in. Yo. And that, yep, yeah, now I'm at 274. And I can purchase my love boat! After it sells all my greys. Love boat, baby love boat. So that should mean holiday, lovers in the air, bosses, heart shaped box, love token. What's it? A pedal feet's lovely hearthstone. Shit, I need to. It's there. I have pedal. Why does it say I don't have it? Shift click to refresh. It didn't see me collect it. There we go. There you go. Love is in the air. Bosses, Apothecary Hummel, Heart Shaped Box, X45 Heartbreaker, which gives me the achievement. That's all I need left. That's it. Last thing. That's such a good feeling. Oh, that's wonderful. That's really good. Um, up to being last play last 13 years. Some more to 60. Amazing. I feel I'm just not used to play my wagon. Yeah. Come on. Ah, cool. Awesome. Uh, I'm in Blood Boat TV show. Unfortunately, I do not. I do not. Get the 
amount, am I right? I know, right? How how hard can it be? I seen you around here before. How hard can it be? Alright. Polish pet charms, look at that. 1819. I should have enough to get a few pets. Uh <laughs> No, no. Oh, I think I do crumb. Okay. Uh, child of Yanni. Let's see. Get this one. Hmm. This one's really cute. From Happy Holawa. So I'm heading to Desert Aloha. 100 Polish pet charms. I'm really looking forward to the end of this event. I just, I really want like an early night. <laughs> I want to sleep and catch up on my stuff. There's a few pets I should be able to buy off Luna. Hello. Uh, so we have Child of Yoni. We have that one. Got that one. Raptor Containment Crate. I don't know what that teaches us, but I'm going to buy it. Tiny Dire Horn. Ashling, Child of Johnny, Vimpon, and Bultika. Okay. Bye bye. So, Child of Johnny. Raptor Containment Crate, which gives us Zandalari Shin. Skin Chomper? Shin Chomper. Shin Chomper. Nasty little creature. And Tiny Dire Horn, which gives us Tiny Dire Horn. Good. Alright. Did I misspell this? I absolutely did. Drustvar Piglet, not Puglet. That's fine. Um, I'm talking your space. Uh, yes, accordion shirt, it is. You are correct. A bag of Hershey's cookies and cream chocolate eggs. The cookie part is pink and blue and purple. It's my first favorite thing ever. That, okay, brilliant. And does it taste any, fun, uh, any different? You and your tank alt for quick heartbreaker shot end up getting it pretty quick. That is DPS. Ah, oh, Thor. Got the heartbreaker toy. Uh huh. Is it the NPC you need an item from winning PvP pet battle to access? I don't think so. I don't think so. That sounds like something I wouldn't have, honestly. Um. No, 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 just, just this one. Okay. Then I gotta go down the other side for the Drustvar Piglet. Crossing all the stuff off our list today, guys. Maybe I should check out the NPC. Okay, picture it is. Um, that I got Child of Johnny, or Yanni. I don't. It's the J A N I one. So have a look for that pet, and it'll give it give the user the vendor, and then you can look into the vendor from there. 
I'm messing up my link. There is two links there, yes. It's because of the uh, apostrophes. The apostrophes are causing the issues. Uh, right, this is Ollie. Okay, good. Hello, Ollie. Correct. Um, so I need... I don't have that one. I don't have that one. Nor that one or that one, but I have those two. Good. So, Abyssal Eel. Learned. Uh, mechanical Prairie Dog. Learned. Drastvar Piglet. Learned. And Great Wing Macaw. Or learned. Alright, Trag the Curious. Where do I get you? Hmm. Mm. working house? I do shop for the box. Maybe it hurts. It is set in PC. According to where I heard, you need to loot a shady message to unlock it. Okay, interesting. I must have done it a very long time ago, and I just genuinely don't remember. Um. Yeah, there might also be other ways to get the shady message. Who knows? Uh. Okay. Provisioner leisure. Mm hmm. If I do that, is that going to put me in the right place? It did. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Battle pets. Mm -hmm. Achievements am I missing? Oh, as in pets from achievements. I get it. Yeah, I've been crafting those fucking sacks for a long time and it's just not working. <laughs> I need to get like more of them, I guess. Um. The Gore Mythic. Tassivish. Wow, lots. Okay. <clears throat> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then the secrets, of course. So this one, fresh and provisional leisure. What have I not purchased from you? Design title amethyst loop. Really? Huh. This is already known by. But I don't have it. Oh, that's enchanting. Ha, <laughs> that's why. Good. Um, <laughs> title Amethyst. Oh, I don't have rank three. Why is it saying already known by? That's why I haven't bought it before. Because it says already known by. Fucking yes, I will buy it and learn it. Thank you very much. You are never going to find a better deal. Can we just go away? Thank you. Um, Enchant Ring Pact of Mastery. Enchant Ring Pact of Mastery. And, 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 and. Enchant Weapon Masterful Navigation. Come again. 
Because we like happy brain juice noises. Should work. Indeed it does. Good evening, Kay. Hello. How are you? We're having a wonderful day. Best boots in the empire. Right here. Drape of the Blood Purge. Swamp Medic's Gloves. Talanji's Expedition Tabard. Drag the Curious, the reason I'm even here. Be seeing you. You are never going to find a better deal. Zobal Spirit Sash. Uh, and then stuff from the supplies and things. Cool, so that's nothing else I can purchase. Wonderful news. You know where to uh, this button. While I do that, I'm gonna look for where I'm going next. Mm, hey, Elk. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Getting there. I uh, hope you're doing well. Next month. Oh, tomorrow know where to be. Oh dear. Oh dear. Can you change your like your work day last minute, or is it not a kind of place where you can do that? <clears throat> oh, where's the flappy? I know we're on the, the thingy. I'm just. Cool! Fairy, Spam, Red, and Thor. Congratulations to you all on your bonus shoot. I don't want I'm glad for them to break. Good. I'm so glad. That's great news. This means I can grind out some WoW instead. Fucking yeah. Fucking yeah. Um. I'm still leveling my units. While I'm on the uh, flight path because I'm lazy. Oh, check it out! It's, a, it's an enemy flag bearer. That's kind of cute. Let's do some of this. To work on my cable management. Love that. Go you. Cool. The only way to get the item is PvP bet battles. Oh, bugger. That's all right for it to drop. There are a few websites out there that have massive long lists of like uh, PvP pet battle teams and stuff like that with along with strategies on how to use them. Like yeah, you'll be you'll be fine. You'll be okay. I guess you know Matt like today? No, unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. 1300 attempts total. We're getting there. Oh, by the way, Kay, um, because we keep talking about apple and cinnamon, uh, Jas and I went to Woolies today, and they had Have you come to trade? apple cinnamon hot cross buns. Thought you should know. Remember, everything they were delightful. Changed. Absolutely delightful. No bullies in the morning then. Uh huh. Uh huh. Missing any pets from islands? I don't think so. Maybe though. I don't know. I want to go through the pet battle dungeons first though. Um, before. Hitting up my randomizer. Chaos, coas mode. 
how ass mode. Death's ad oh shit. Am I, what am I with this advance? Revered, oh okay, I can buy this one. It just costs Stygia as well. I'm pretty sure I have a fuckload of Stygia. Um, all right, so I'm heading to Ouroboros. To purchase a domestic Alnian from the Death's Advance Quartermaster. And then I've got one Kyrian and a bunch of Night Fae pets to buy. I just don't know if I can. Mm, now I wish I was in Aussie. Oh dear. Alright, so... Steward Fiddling. Azellus Goss is a vendor who is available to people who chose Kyrian as a covenant. Spawn at least in a hold once you've unlocked the Path of Ascension upgrade, which I haven't. Is there another way to get this pet? No, it looks like this is the only way. Some of them drop from stuff as well as being able to be purchased and things, but this one seems to be only from thingy. Rumble. Mm. Marcus Bones, where'd you get those Woolworths? Yep. I'll be doing nano campaign this week in patch. I don't have a mail where it has campaign or a nano. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, I don't have. I've only got. I've got mage, druid, rogue, monk. So I have cloth and leather. <laughs> but that's okay. Um. So the the Kyrian one I need is path of ascension, and then an achievement. To, to unlock it from the vendor. So I'm gonna have to have a look at these other ones and see what the deal is there too. This advanced quartermaster. This is what I want. How many of these do I? Yeah, I've got plenty, it's fine. We will have our revenge. Here we go. Uh, okay, so then... Let me check these other ones and see where they come from and if I've actually done the requirements for them. There's just fun. He's like... Locking the things can be kind of boring. The heck was that pop up? Uh, a week aura to tell me when rares are spawning in uh, in Corthia. Okay. So Levador is sold by Master Clerk Salon. The requirement to buy this item is to participate in three different performances at the Star Lake Amphitheater and be a member of the Night Fae Covenant. So even though Fia has done that, she can't speak to Master Clerk Salon. I think that's the idea. Oh, okay, no, wait. I might be able to do this. Let's go find, hang on, where's, what's Arden, all Arden Worlds a stage? Well, I've done four out of the seven, so it only requires three to unlock Leafador, so I should, if I can, I should be able to now. 
so that's fun. <sighs> Gate Crusher. Probably one in the middle. Okay. Mm, Dragon Soul can go burn a fire helm. I'm so sick of running it with no luck. Oh, you get the. You get the. How may I serve? question survey for chat not talking about just me but in curious like curious in general would you be more likely less likely or just as likely yeah it's one of those to purchase a gift for a streamer if there was like some kind of recognition on on social media so like like yeah we're talking about uh doing like a, a try on fall fashion thing but like if there was a post of a streamer in an outfit that you purchased for them on instagram thanking you would you be more likely to send them clothes if they were going to do that less likely because it's awkward and you don't want to be called out and stuff or like just as likely, like it doesn't it, it doesn't really matter. You're doing it for funsies anyway. Um, I ask this not because I'm trying to get more shit. I ask this because um, on the dashboard for Throne, they have these like tips that they cycle through, and a lot of the tips are just tell everyone that you got shit because you get lots more gifts that way. And I'm like, is that actually how it works for my community? Because generalizations of of Twitch and stuff, like I, my, the, my community, this community here, is not a a super like normal community by Twitch standards. So I'm like, at least from from my travels around the website. So I'm kind of curious if, whether or not that's correct for me, or if it's just kind of a generalization that they've. Kind of, do you know? You know what I mean? Um. Mm. Oh, this is actually one of the ones I need. Fantastic. That's good news. Even, uh, even if you had gifted something anonymously, still getting like a, f a photo of the streamer enjoying your gift on socials with like a thank you to Anon kind of dearly. Because obviously, you know, people do things with funny nicknames and anonymous and stuff like that. So that's, that's all good. Right, so I don't, am I actually supposed to be going? No, I'm supposed to be over there somewhere. him up the back it is okay something for every occasion all right leave it or is here no participate in three different performances at the star lake amphitheater and be a member of the night fake covenant so i can't buy it okay so night fake purchase star lake am amphitheater three performances 
cool. Um, I've got Lubra's Gahoon and of course the Silky Shimmer Moth, but you need all seven to be able to buy that. Um, and then the 5k. And you don't have to be Night Fae to purchase that one though, so that's fun. Um, fun Gus. So that means I'm going to have to, the reason I need this info is because I need to send the Polish Pet Charms to those tunes, you know. Um. Uh, does Fia need a chair stream? No, because I've got one banked already, but thank you anyway. You can skip the RP to be okay. Just as likely, I'm not really into social media call. That's fair. Fair. I hear bubble tea. As do I. I also smell pasta. Less likely I would do it, but not in it for attention. I'd be doing something nice for someone I thought deserves it. So if if you did something nice for somebody and then they they did a like, look at this awesome shirt crumb bought me, thank you so much, on like Instagram or something, you'd be like, I am not gonna do that again for them because I don't want them to put it on Instagram like that. Is that what would it actually put you off? doing stuff uh more likely all the way would make the watches feel more part of it i think cool gotcha purchase clothes and gifts to streamers if i get a thank you post it's good if i don't it's good too okay interesting interesting it's more about wanting to get the person something i know they want and enjoy of course of course just as likely definitely think more people would if they knew it would happen gotcha gotcha uh just as likely i really prefer to see people's initial reactions as they receive their gifts okay so receive i'd like to oh hello um, would you like to trade or? Cool. Yeah, I'm great. Thank you. I am. Thank you. Bubble tea. Grapefruit? Grapefruit's dark purple. No, it's not. Well, it's definitely not orange. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Oh, it's like pinky orange. It turns into this color when you dilute it. Yes, it does. Peach. Yes. It's been so long since I've had peach, it's so tasty. Oh my god. Um, receive. Def definition of receive. Thank you, Jas. Um, like, when the alert comes up and it's, oh my god, thank you so much, holy shit. Or receive as in, package is here, let's unbox it together. Do, like... Good question, maybe? I don't know. Let's say less likely not to turn me completely off, just if it gave me an option to remain anonymous, I would pick it. Cool, well, Throne does. Like, you can put in, like, a, you know, cutesy, like, like when, when Rump sent me this, he put in Rumple Claws, because it was right before Christmas. Uh, <laughs> so I knew it was him, but you can put in whatever you like. You can put in, like, anonymous, or I've had one that said a real person. Uh, and do you know what I mean? Like, you can absolutely be... But yeah, I love that they have an option like that, because some people... It makes them anxious. They want to help and they want to give and all that kind of, but they don't want to like, they don't want the attention. So I totally understand that. And I love that it's an option for people. Uh, recognition is nice. Actually enjoy the stream. Want to support streamer? Do it just for that, not for the recognition. Fair. So like, doesn't in like just as likely sort of thing. Uh, less likely for me, it would give me a weird feeling. I'd done that only for the show off that I'm gifting stuff. Okay. Interesting. A non would be okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, always nice to see the stream. I actually enjoy the gift too. I can see both sides. Yeah, for me, less likely. Anon is good. Anon is fine. Yep, one plus. Awesome. I don't think I care that much either way. Might skew random other gifter gifts towards clothes and wearables. Fair, fair. Don't like attention like that. Totally fair. Because, yeah, I have posted, like, when I had the lights that are now dead, I need to put more batteries in them. But um, when when these lights came about, I, I took a photo of them and posted them um, up and, like, uh clothing and stuff like that I've like yeah that kind of stuff is it's not just wearables it's more like hey I appreciate you but of course if someone's anonymous I'm not going to dig and try to like if they have made if they have put in the box anon it is very clear that they wish to remain anonymous and so I'm never going to dig into that kind of stuff because it's just not okay um res respect the wish for anonymity um, but, like, yeah, I, I've got a post scheduled about my earrings, about the lucky earrings. 
um, because they're fucking gorgeous and I love them. Uh, <laughs> and so like I took a selfie and I'm and it's scheduled to go up on Instagram and it's like, you know, thank you so much to the anonymous person who suggested the gift and also to the anonymous person who gifted them to me. Like, thank you to both of you so much because I feel like it is important to thank people, but respecting anonymity is also super important. Anonymity gives people privacy that sometimes they really need uh, not just when anxiety is involved, but like anonymity is something that we all need at some times. Um, anonymity can also be used for evil. But in this particular conversation, I think the option for anonymity is fantastic. And I really like that Throne does give people that option. Um, Somebody be curious with lovers. Oh no, like I watched person get it. Ah, gotcha. Opening the package for me, although the alert is a lot of fun. Noted. Okay, awesome. Uh, when the alert comes up because it's a surprise, also when the package comes. Noted. Noted. In future, I will hold stuff for opening on stream, maybe. Instead, you have to ask this to every gifter individually. Every person would answer this differently, which is why I'm asking out to, to chat um, to see, like, because you guys are the ones I interact with. Um, and I can't send a survey to gifters. I don't get their information. So <laughs> received as in, in hand, you have the package reaction. If you open the gift would be awesome. Visual enjoyment is great. The attention isn't necessary. Fair. Gotcha. The unboxing part of the stream would be good. Bit of fun for the community. Noted. Thank you so much for this feedback, you guys. Thank you. From now on, when I get shit, I will, I will unbox. And I say from now on, not because I'm expecting more shit, but because I know there's a couple packages on the way. I'm not being entitled here. I'm, I know, like, there have been gifts that I have not yet received, and I will unbox them on stream. Thank you. I will black out my address. <laughs> oh, I've definitely sent an expensive thing to a streamer before, but I did it on and on. I was glad to got to see them open it. Oh, awesome. Small things I don't mind them knowing it's me. Of course, of course. Um... Ideas. Yeah, some boxing stream. Brilliant. Okay, I will do that. I will absolutely do that. Um, I'm so sorry that I haven't been doing that. I'm so sorry I've deprived you guys of that enjoyment. I means I guess that also means I can clip it too, can't I? Like the unboxing and like use that as a thingy. Hmm. <laughs> I'm surprised you're going through stuff without having opened it on stream. I don't know you aren't obligated to open no purchase from Watchers. It seems like hand out. Mm. Fair. Um, I think the reason I opened it was because I'd been waiting two months. <laughs> and I just wanted to to try them on and, and see how they looked and all that kind of stuff. And I can't do try-ons on a stream. I, I can't. Um, I'm not risking getting undressed while my camera is rolling. It's just not happening. Um, so even if I'm like just no, nah. Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm just fucking paranoid about that. Um, so that was, I think that might have been why, but that's understandable. I get that. I totally get that. Uh, best part of all this too is we know what we got you, but the anonymity would be great to keep the gift. Give me humble. We can all enjoy it as a community with the unboxing streams too. Yeah, of course, of course. Great inclusion all around. There are, there have been a couple times where a box has come and I'm like, what is this? Um, so I don't know if it's a throne thing or if it's a personal purchase, in which case, like, maybe there are some personal purchases I don't want to open on stream. Uh, but that's, like, I'm sure I can probably figure it out with a bit more information if I have, if I do some digging. Uh, sure, I just wants used to have mailbox Thursday, used open all she got during the week. I would thank people. Oh, that's super cool. I do not receive enough to do that. Uh, <laughs> um, hot. Mm, hot, 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 but that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, let's get Jazz to have a look first if you're unsure. True, this is true. Absolutely, all right, cool. Thank you for the feedback, yay. Improvement of content. Love that. Um, what is Merasmius? I feel like this is going to be something I don't have. You need Night Fae Covenant and complete a quickly questline. 
Access the quest line, you need transport network tier one. Okay, so Night Fae purchase. Transport Network. Um and daily quests. Good lord. Ah, uh, so I need friendly. Friendly rep. Okay. Uh, fuzzy shimmer moth. I think it depends on what your love language is. For some, it is giving gifts, others touch or receiving gifts. Yeah, I know. Um, my love language is acts of service. Um, funnily enough. But yeah, it's uh kind of hard to do that. Um, especially when, you know, considering that this is a business, even though I'm a sole trader, this is still a business um, and people need to be paid for their work. You know, so it's, uh, yep. <laughs> I'm sorry, I looked up from my bowl of pasta and Sophia just called me a mushroom <laughs> with no context. Because it's the first line of chat that I saw. Oh my god. Oh fuck, that's so funny. Oh my god, that's so funny. Ah, uh, mushroom and knife. Yes, knife and mushroom. You're a knife and mushroom. No, you. Yeah, you get the fun guy, gal. At exalted. Um, yeah, that was the fungus, and I'm it not was. A paladin. Uh... <laughs> that that's fungus, and he's at uh, the little pets at friendly. Um, uh, as is the fuzzy, fuzzy shimmer moth. Okay, cool. So that's exactly the same. That's good. Um, and then there's Sir Reginald. Um, oh, shouldn't the demotion gives me nightmares. I still haven't got it to drop. So I said F this and went to play that. Oh no, Cinders. Oh no. Hey, you dunks. Has it been a while? I feel like you've been here recently. Let me have a squiz. Oh yeah, you were here a week ago. That's not that long ago. Welcome back. Ah, uh, that's mine too. So cool, indeed. Nailed it. Your active service is providing us with endless entertainment. I beg to differ with the word endless. <laughs> uh, there will be an end, at which I will go to bed. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Kay, for the biddies. Minute. Oh, title! That's awesome! Oh, cool! 1.5k manpower generated. Okay. Um. Has been dead, huh? Uh, I just noticed your title at Chuckle and I remember you showing us. The mid. You're my. I got it. I've got a knife. Yeah, the insane is a. It's a reputation. Achieve. There's a whole bunch of really difficult reputations to manage. Uh, and do all of them, and you get a, a, an achievement. A bit of strength. Until next time. Mm -hmm. That one. Always vods and clips. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, and even endlessly, actually, the vods will always be up now that they're on YouTube, unless they get like taken down. Uh, all right. Sir Reginald is Marasmus friendly. Cool. Same in place. Okay, and then Stemmons. Is Court of Night friendly? I've got Court of Night friendly. Can I buy a Stemmons? Uh, as of the current version, you must be a member of the Night Fae Covenant and at least friendly to purchase. Let's... Let's double check that. <laughs> so maybe what I do is when I get a package, I will post in Discord that I've received a package and then you'll know that the next stream there will be a package to be opened because I will not wait longer than that. 
<laughs> when I have stuff, I don't, firstly, I don't like having boxes lying around in places. It just makes me kind of like, I need, I need to get the stuff out of the box and like put it away. Um, so it'll be like that I won't be able to wait a whole last week or two or whatever. Um, so I'd probably be able to say maybe where the package is from. Depending on what they've put on the outside. <laughs> Some people are assholes. Mm, must be a member of the night fake coming in. Okay. Court of night friendly. All right, cool. So I can't buy any of these. So we're going to go into pet Did battle dungeons. But yeah, I can post package and then I'll say like where it's from. If I've had a couple of purchases from the same place, I won't be able to tell you which, like, so for the, for the uh, yes style thing, for example, there was stuff in there from Landa, from Rump, from Nano, and I think from a couple of Anons. I'm not going to be able to tell you what's in there because I don't have access to the orders the Throne have made. All I know is that a box has arrived and it has where it's from. So I won't, like, I can say, like, where it's been ordered from, but I won't be able to tell you, like, tag, like, you there, be there because it's going to, do you know what I mean? Is that, is that enough information to th for, for people, do we think? Or is that, I'm not sure how I could do extra than that, but I'm sure I could try to figure something out. That's fair. Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. All right. I can do that. Um, so I think according to... I have a package that's awaiting collection at my local post office, but that's something I bought for myself. That was, I, we were talking about the hair curler that I got. Um, so I kind of want to get my hands on that and try to maybe curl my hair for tomorrow's stream if I can. That would be really fun. Um, but well, like, I have work tomorrow, so who fucking knows? <laughs> So that's a, that's my own purchase. I can definitely show it to you, but, um, and then I've got, I've got two packages that have been sent by Mello. Two packages that have been sent by Mello. One, one was ordered or like received and ready for processing last Friday. And then it says delayed waiting to be processed, delayed waiting to be processed. But then I've got another one from Mello that says received and ready for processing, but it's due tomorrow. Delivery expected tomorrow. However, the other one that says that it's delayed was expected on Monday. So I might not actually get it tomorrow. Oh, fuck it. I'll double check when things actually get here. <laughs> what can I do for you? Oh, See good lord. Because I know, I think, because Zeran bought me a couple lipsticks, and then Sean bought me a lip liner. And that's all from Mello, but I think it's coming in two packages. But I think one package will have both the lipsticks from Zeran, and the other package will be from Sean. I think. I'm pretty sure. Because I think the first one got sent before the second one was actually made. Like, the order was made, so I think that makes sense. But given the fucking delays, who knows which one will get here first? Ah, the hero has arrived. I it's the fun bit. I predicted your next four moves. Anyway, okay. Okay, if I just... Does this mean something? And the real way to know is give it a shot. Absolutely. You know what? You're you're absolutely right. Um, this is a, a relatively new thing. Um, so yeah, we'll just let's give it a go and, and see if it works. And uh, feedback is appreciated. We have a battle. Two battles, same time. Must want to get in more war making. Good evening, Trud. How are you going? Great granddaughters now, make war not love. <laughs> Try it out, do it live, see so whatever you do. It feels right for you to stream. Absolutely, absolutely. We can definitely do that.
congratulations to Fairy Spam, Koala Eyed, Dick Red, Thor, Dunno, and Elg on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Congratulations. I just have to recover me from my scope. Oh, I hope you're feeling better soon. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Bit tired, bit warm, but uh, overall, doing pretty well. I'm just tired as F, of course. Of course, makes sense. <clears throat> I am having dinner. That's really tasty. Mmm. Hello, Recoil. Hope you're doing well as well. Mm-hmm. Nom indeed. Super nom. What's for dinner? I have macaroni, leftover macaroni, um, just like pasta that was dry that Jas cooked up. Uh, a jar of pasta sauce that we bought specifically to use up the macaroni. Uh, and chicken. Are you okay? Very tasty. This outcome should have been impossible. That strategy always wins. I am at a loss. runs done. No mount yet. Off to Ally. Good luck, Kay. Best of luck. Best of luck. I'm hoping for a drop tomorrow. I mean, as always, but you know. <laughs> also, I hope you can get the drop tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. I hope you get it today. Only because you still have an option uh, off the attempts, obviously. <laughs> Failing that tomorrow, as always, tomorrow. You mm. are not prepared. Baj, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. I hope you had a fantastic stream. Tell us all about it. What were you playing? What were you up to? Thank you, Sheba, for the caster command. Much appreciated. Dum -da -dum. Dum -da -dum. Oh, they're looking into the difficulty of getting them in the future. Yep. Well, not necessarily the difficulty. They're looking into the entertainment value, according to the blue post. Like, it's not a fun experience. And so that's what they're looking for. But yeah, they basically said, yep, yeah, we have like we know it sucks. Watch this space. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll see if anything comes of that. Who knows? Something might, something might not. Only way to find out is to hurry up and wait. Doing a chill last side heroic with the guild. Oh, fantastic! Well, I hope you all smashed it. I hope you had some fun. I hope you're all looking forward to the patch. Just a very quick note for all the raiders. Um, we don't do spoilers here, so no story spoilers or anything like that for nine two. Um, uh, you will get timed out. If you talk about them, just a, a little rule we got here. But um, no, I hope you guys are like chomping at the bit, ready to go for the next raid. Oh, excuse me. Uh, so if not this year, maybe next year, indeed. Which you consider two rosemary thyme bone in skin on thighs. Ooh, crispy skin, yum. That sounds really tasty. Um, not gonna lie, you'll hurry up and wait. Just makes me think of works. Hurry up and slow down with regards to people's attention to detail. Good lord. Oh no. Mm. I have to say, like, finding that balance between speed and attention to detail is a skill, hey? It's a skill. Wait, does Super Fast Night? Yeah, it's like they fixed the cues, hey, Matt? I'm very happy. We we blitzed through it tonight. I think it took us just over two and a half hours, so I'm happy with that. 
Uh, hey, Blunts. Uh, what is the pet battle add-on you're using that shows what moves to use on which turn? Um, that's notes. I've put them in myself. Uh, but it's, uh, the whole add-on is called rematch, as in you've gone up against them for a rematch. Um, uh, yeah, so you can save a team so that when you hover over them, it automatically loads, like, hover over the NPC, it automatically loads your team, uh, and sets their moves to what you've set them to, and if you have a notes part in that team setup, it will bring up the notes as well. It's really useful. Now, if you're curious about the other add-ons I use, you can type exclamation add-ons into chat and you'll get links like, uh, I think they're all CurseForge, most of them are, uh, but links to all the add-ons I use as well as their names and stuff. Thank you, Kay. There you go. Absolutely. A good number of my team is still ready. Really new to the industry in general. Ah, yeah, yeah, gotcha. That definitely slows things down a bit. You're very welcome, Blunts. Not a problem at all. Enjoy. I hope it makes your life easier. I mean, you know, at least a little bit easier when it comes to video games, at least. I love that the robot's name is just math. I know the other one is logic, but it's like math. We're, we're defeating math. I've only just now realized there's a little auto button in your pet battles. There is. There is. That is TD pet battle scripts. Killing math with fire, indeed. Fire is usually the best weapon. <clears throat> Dum -da -dum. What happened to 100%? Uh, like I said, I predicted their next four moves. <laughs> this is all part of my plan. Horu, open the rest of the cages. Everyone else, team meeting. Esters. So thanks to your info, I'm on track to get the big ticket event items. Oh, fantastic, Kay. That is awesome. I have to admit, like, it gives me this, this weird kind of separated sense of pride when I see people like, yeah, I, I took, I took the info you gave me and I'm achieving this thing. It's kind of like, oh, I'm so proud of you. Like, it just, I don't know, it feels really good. It feels really good. Uh, I hope a Battle Dungeon Quest chain was quite enjoyable, I find. Yes. Yeah, it was very cute. The stories are adorable as well. Like, totally unnecessary for the rest of WoW. Like, well separated, but still fit in really nicely as well. It's, it's really cool. Really cool. Uh, and then, obviously, how they all chain together as they've released them as well. Very good. Uh, WoW Pokemon time. Indeed. Indeed. Pet collecting. Something a little bit more chill now that the... Uh, now that the Heartbreaker runs are done for the day. 50 tunes, look. I knew what I was getting myself into, but I did not know what I was getting myself into. You know. <sighs> Grandpa love bread after you too. Ah, look at that. Fantastic. Yeah, I bought all three of my toys today. Quite happy with myself on that. All three of them purchased, crossed off the list. The only thing left that I need from the entire Lita event is them out. <clears throat> because of course I do. Okay. 
Okay. Everyone yes. remember the new plan? Sure Alron, no, you're no. up. Alron, dude. <laughs> they have a new plan. No map, a second pet. Ah, oh, fantastic. Okay. Yeah, it'll be fun going through all my two. Excuse me, going through all the tunes at the end of the event. And uh, shuffling all the pets onto one character to sell them off on the auction house and stuff. It'll be a time. It'll be a time. Clearing out all them bags. It may well be because reset day. That's a pretty sound uh, assumption, Zam. Bubble team. This is a long battle. <clears throat> this is it goes to turn forty four plus. We're on round thirty at the moment. So we're getting there. Well done, Jess. Fastest takeover of England I've done in a while. How long do pet battles usually take? Um, well, it depends on like whether or not you're working to like a, an efficient, like they all, they're all different. They're all different, but um, I don't think I've seen one that's 44 turns for a while. Um, but apparently this fight has a lot of RNG. So this one, um, this one kind of, it's long so that it manages the RNG. <clears throat> I'm I think I'm just essentially, I'm using Apocalypse on the Cockroach and then swapping and keeping them all healed and then swapping the Cockroach in when Apocalypse hits to kill the pet and then doing it again and again, like, good lord. Because, yeah, this one should die here, I think. Yeah. I'm just waiting out the time, keeping my pets healed until Apocalypse hits. 
And then we killed the last one properly, by the looks of it. Ah, uh, once in extension of very long. Yeah, some of them, hey. I really don't know if would like to figure it out sometime. They are, like, exceptionally easy, especially when you use websites where people have put together teams and strategies and stuff. Exceptionally easy. The hardest part is kind of getting the pets for the teams that you need. That's the, the hardest bit, in my opinion. Uh, but... Yeah... I'm gonna get the pets. Yep. Yeah. Mm. There are a lot of really easy ones you can start with, but if you have a look at uh, Zufu's pet battle strategies, um. Well, at least that's over. Someone else can do the work now. I'm taking five. Are you challenging me? Uh, Zufu is X U hyphen F U. Um, but they have a uh, the whole the whole website is just pet battle strategies, and people can submit them write notes and, and all that kind of stuff. And then if you create an account and you sync it with your Battle.net account, it can pull your pets from the API and tell you what you're missing and tell you what you've got but needs leveling and stuff like that. So it, you can use that to create yourself like a shopping list, basically. Super, it's super, super handy. A month or so into an expansion, like a new expansion, I'll usually jump on there and see if I'm missing anything to start knocking out the pet battles. <clears throat> usually I don't, because I've got most of the pets at this point, but occasionally there's one that I'm like, oh, I don't have that one. Battles are cute and fun and just had a They're chill. They're chill. I'm going to capture all the new dukes, toss them in jail, take their land to be replaced by loyalists. Easy times. Oh dear. I somehow have 180 unique pets. Well done! Well done. Lost the connection was a dreadful five minutes of no fear stream. Oh no, Zam. Oh no. Can I please also point out that this pet's name is Brute? As in, like, Groot, except with a B for Bob. <clears throat> Love it. It is awesome. It's super cute. really another long this is another really long fight the best bit is their 30,000 man strong army just got thrashed by one case stack armored pretty men brilliant So Crush Face healed up, but I think at the moment what we're actually trying to do is take out the back pets. 
They're at a thousand and nine fifty four nine forty four. We have to get them to 285 health points. <clears throat> Why is this health jumping up? Is it leech seed? It must be. Ah, oh, what are we on? Round twenty-seven. The the battles before these two were relatively quick, but I think it's just these two that take fucking forever. <clears throat> Dying very slowly. He's not at the moment, no, because I'm streaming something different. Thanks, anyway. I hope you have a lovely time. Working on my pet collection currently, trying to up that completion percentage. We'll get there eventually, these just are taking forever to fall over. Oh, the backline pets on now. God, they've just got so much health. So much health. Uh, you've asked me once, and I've said no. Um, like, what you're saying is the equivalent of, would you ever try playing this game? Would, or you know, play, come play this game with us now, right now, when you're content creating, right now. N no, no, thank you. No, thank you. I uh, yeah, I wish you well though. Have fun. Good luck. I'm not interested. <laughs> peach bubble tea is so good. So it's like, you know that I had those peach heart thingies, the peach whatevers that I bought on at the end of last week on, on Friday. I was like, oh my god, I haven't had these in yonks, and they were just so good. It they taste just like those. <sighs> Tasty stuff is just... Makes my heart happy in a way that few other things do. <clears throat> Are we nearly done? Are they... Well, Tremors is getting there. Um, Fosling's already under the 285. Tremors isn't quite there though, but we have switched to the Roach. Now we have to wait 15 more turns. Good lord. It's round 49 and we're waiting another 15 turns. God, these fights must be so difficult with the RNG 
that 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 people have come up with this like really long strategies to make it possible. Like, you know what I mean? So I feel about Baja Blast. We don't. I don't think we have Baja Blast yet. I know we have a couple of Taco Bells here and there, but I don't know if we've got Baja Blast. I'm pretty sure I've asked this before, but I'm gonna ask it again because I don't remember. Don't have Taco Bell in Oz? We do. <laughs> we do. Um, there's a couple of them, or at least there was one. Uh, TacoBell.com.au. They even have their own website. Locations. There are... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in New South Wales. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen in Queensland. There's three, four in Victoria, one in WA. There is most certainly Taco Bell in Australia. Lost the ability to laugh like an Aussie. It's not a joke when there's no kappa there or anything. You're just being a bit of a numpty at this point, aren't you? Ah, uh, no budget blast on the menu, can I use it? Yeah, it doesn't, like... I wasn't sure if we had it or not, because I know it's, like, a big Taco Bell thing, but I'm not sure if, like... Do they manufacture... Like, the Taco Bell stuff for Australia, do they manufacture it here? Or do they send the seasoning packs and stuff over from the US? Like, is it worth making it for so little stores here, like, manufacturer-wise? Like, I don't know. It's a bit kind of... Business decisions are difficult. Some Baja Blaster Powerade flavor. Not that I know of. I know it's like a, a soft drink that's available at, um, at Taco Bell, but I don't know what else it might be. I know they've also had some weird crossovers with, like, snack foods and stuff. I know they had, didn't they have like Baja Blast Doritos or something at one point in the US? Or maybe not Doritos, maybe some other usually cheesy snack. I can't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, it's Baja. It's Baja Blast. Okay, there you go. My apologies. I'm so sorry. I've, I don't think I've ever... I'm trying to think if I've ever heard it said. And I don't think I have. Thank you for correcting me. Uh, there's literally three in Brisbane I know of yet, right? Exactly. It's alright, they're just being a bit of an umpty there. Ugh, cracking jokes, but forgot that, you know, tone can't be detected in text. Especially when you put a full stop at the end of a sentence. I reckon it was a, we don't, and then, oh shit, she's right. Fuck, I better back up out of this somehow. But that's fine. It's because I'd already told them off about pressuring, like, and pushing about the keys. Nah, not interested. Not interested. variety oh okay there you go i know it's also like an unnatural shade of like aqua or something right like almost like fluorescent aqua it's mountain dew they made a bar last hard drink out here in the u.s ah on their menu i'm looking at it only has just standard mountain dew fair fair i'm gonna bar blast myself into the sun <laughs> no don't do that she but i like you don't do that nice warcraft 2 music yeah well this is um isn't it warcraft 1 like orcs and humans all the way from the beginning i remember watching or listening to when I was at work, uh, there was a BlizzCon that had a panel that was the music of Warcraft and they were playing through audio clips and like, see if you can figure out where this, where, where this one came from. And they had a few clips of music that were from different zones and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, that's from there and that's from there. And then this music started playing. I'm like, oh, that's pet battles. And they went, yep, that's right. It's from Orcs and Humans. And I was like, what? I love that they reused you know what I mean? Like, brought it through that with a little Easter egg there. Oh, so good. So good. 
<clears throat> do you or Aussies in general enjoy Tim Tams as much as non-Aussies? Yes. There's a reason they're such a popular export and it's because they are fucking awesome. Tim Tams rock. <laughs> Tim Tams are fucking awesome. There are definitely some varieties that are miles better than others, but that a lot of that is very much down to personal preference. I personally love all the fancy limited edition flavors, but you all know that I am, I am just a sucker for a good marketing ploy. So limited edition gets me every time, especially when it's threatening to be delicious. <laughs> Taco Bell chips are delicious with their fancy Mexican flavoring salt. It does sound pretty tasty. I would, I would definitely try that. I would definitely try that. I'm a little bit nervous about like trying their main menu items, like the tacos and stuff. Uh, after all the stories you hear out of the US. However, however, that being said, I imagine that all the ingredients that go into an American Taco Bell taco, are, they're all American ingredients. They're manufactured in America, whereas Australian Taco Bell would probably be manufactured in Australia because it's a hell of a lot cheaper to manufacture here than to have it shipped over from the US, especially at the moment, right? So, and I know that, like, for example, things like McDonald's overseas, it's fucking trash. Whereas here, it's actually pretty good. So I feel like maybe it wouldn't be as risky, but then also I'm very nervous. Uh, Derp, Red, Thor, Fairy, Bjorn, Dunno, Zam, Buoy, and Spam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Uh, what I find funny is their argument was that they were Aussie. Yeah, I don't know what was going on there. Um, they haven't been in this, because I recognized the name from somewhere, but um, judging by the, the mod logs, uh, they haven't actually been here since uh, Clash of the Creator last April, like the end of last April. Um, maybe they've been lurking or something, but like, I don't know, they just, their, their sense of humor was just a bit off. Something didn't feel right or good. So I just, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> Tim Tams are awesome. Baja Blast is like a weird aqua teal color mixture weirdness. Tastes great though. Always a must have when going to Taco Bell. Okay, please describe the flavor. If you can. My mind says it's either gonna be some kind of weird tropical thing like pineapple coconut, or it's gonna be like bubble gum, or it's gonna be like creaming soda. So I I can't, like, like vanilla and, and all that kind of stuff. I just lost. Shit. Okay, so who is this? Tasha Riley. Maybe I've got like the wrong team set up. Or maybe one of them was already dead. Cause I know I can't, I can't, um, the thing. I can't re revive my pets in here. Tasha Riley. Let's see if this works. Oh, that's green. Shit. Uh, is there a... What does it need? Ice Lance, Call Blizzard, Ice Tomb. Ice Tomb. Frost Nova. I need Call Blizzard. Um, okay, hang on. Is this the one that I just used? Maybe. Which is mine. Little bling and microbot. Yeah. Okay, that's the one I've already used. <clears throat> Let's 
let's maybe try have this one maybe oh I don't even have a mechanical cockroach oh that'd be why ha huh. fuck okay uh shit I think I just have to replace the inland croaker maybe Um, all right, let's let's try this, but then thirteen thirty eight through eight two twenty five. Let's go with this one and see the team. Overwrite the team, good. And then we'll grab the TD script and hope that it actually works. I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to change. Oh, it, okay. That might've been why I lost. How are you? Safe travels. Let's see if this goes. Okay, Tim Tam's pretty amazing. Yes, stupid question. What is a Tim Tam? <laughs> uh, Tim Tam is is two biscuits with like some moussey stuff in the middle, uh, and then it's all dipped in chocolate. They're fucking delicious. Give me some double coat. Double coat is good. Makes a Tim Tam slice. All flavors mixed. Ooh, not trolling honest. I don't know. Totally fair cinders. Yeah, that's uh, that's what a, a Tim Tam is. Where a Taco Bell can't really have spice. Ah, chocolate biscuit cookie thing. Yes, chocolate coated biscuit. Shotgun Tim Tam, uh-huh. So um, a popular way to enjoy a Tim Tam is to bite, because it's all coated in chocolate, right? You bite off each end, because then you've got the biscuit that goes straight through and the, the mousse and stuff, and then you stick it into a drink and use it as a straw, like a milk drink. Not like a vodka cranberry, like, <laughs> like a milk drink. Uh, and you use it as a straw, especially if it's a warm drink as the milk goes through the holes in the biscuit and through the chocolate mousse and everything, it all gets all melty and stuff, and then you eat this sopping mess of a melted biscuit. Yeah, it's it's really good. Really good. Mm, I don't care. Size and sensitivity as someone who has a sensitive stomach. Also ate a lot of Taco Bell in my 20s. It never made me sick. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's really good. Ah, oh, when I was in the EU, I must say McDonald's is better there than it is here. There you go. There you go. Oh, I want the UK Tim Tam, a penguin. Penguins are also awesome. Not quite the same. I don't think they have as much chocolate on the top. I think the co the coating of chocolate is a bit thinner from memory. I haven't had a penguin in years though, so keep that in mind. Uh, tropical lime Mountain Dew, according to Google. Tropical lime, tropical-ish, no coconut, okay. Uh, so Tropical Lime Mountain Dew. Okay. Interesting. I think it's like a blue raspberry type of flavor. It's basically that, but with carbonation. Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry lime Mountain Dew. That sounds so interesting. So interesting. <clears throat> I forgot what I was gonna do. Oh no, Nutty. Oh no. What a Taco Bell or Macca's? I mean, probably. Or a Tim Tam. Or a Tim Tam. The mango Tim. Oh, the mango Tim Tams are delicious. They're so good. I find that a lot of the custom, like a lot of the limited edition flavors are just so rich though that I can only have a couple. 
I mean, my stomach is like betraying me these days. I cannot eat nearly as much chocolate as I used to be able to. Oh, Tim Tam Slam, yas. Yep. Uh, melted Tim Tams and hot drinks are the bomb. Yes, correct. Never crave Tim Tams more than right now. I'm so sorry, Lucky. I am so sorry. Uh, it is very interesting, very difficult to describe. I think someone just got drunk and was like, yeah, all these flavors sound good, why not? And boom, Baja Blast was formed. Brilliant. Love that. Love that. So of caramel Tim Tams? Yep. Uh-huh. Penguins have a little less chocolate coating, but they're longer. Okay, so slightly different shape as well. Gotcha. Is Tim Tam an Australian snack? It is Australian, yes. It is a, a chalky bicky. It's a chocolate biscuit. Um, mint Tim Tams. Yeah, like an after mint, after dinner mint on steroids. Less mint, more chocolate though, than after dinner mint in my opinion. But you guys eat them with Vegemite? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, just on a strict medical diet, which has got me close to my goal weight. Hey, can't have any sweets. I'm living vicariously through everyone else. Totally fair. Totally fair. I'm so glad you're almost at your goal. That's awesome, Lucky. Well done. Well done. Take mint slice biscuits over Tim Tam, over like a mint flavored Tim Tam. Yeah, honestly, so would I. Mint slices are just, oh, they're amazing. So good. So good. Don't give them ideas, no. Uh, Tim Tams are more than just a chocolate biscuit. They are the best chocolate biscuit. I agree, Heels, I agree. But when trying to explain it to somebody who has never heard of a Tim Tam before, I don't want to oversell it. Oh, fuck. God damn it. This is not... This is not good. Um, I'm probably gonna have to restart this whole bloody thing now, which is not good. So that was that one, and I don't, I can't do that again. That one, I didn't have the mechanical cockroach. Do I have anything like a mechanical cockroach? That warning interrupting jolt. That warning apocalypse. Not okay, so it's apocalypse I'm missing. Um, that's the one I tried first. And I think I fucked that up. Can we do this one? Nope, because one of us is dead. Um, it's got the chitter plant skittling again, I've got the mechanical cockroach again, chitter plant. That's interesting. I don't have more dull evening star. Ah, he's level one. As is he. Shit. Well, bugger. Alright, so I think I fucked up my original. So what we're gonna do is save it back in there and pop in the script again. I'm gonna have to leave instance group and start over, which is really annoying considering this is the second to last battle. But I can't heal. You can't heal uh, in the in the pet battle dungeons once you're trying to do them as the weekly. Oh well. Um I hope I don't confuse more by saying blue raspberry. No no no, that's okay. I just I think it's gonna be such an interesting Hello. flavor as it is. And I'm like what does it taste like? Good day to you. See you around. What does it taste like? I got for surgery on my 16 kilos lighter. Oh, wow. Well done, Lucky. Well done. 
I don't think you could ever oversell them. You know what, Heels? That's a fair point. That is a very fair point. I don't think you can oversell a Shim Chen. They are the best. They are. Look, I, I wholeheartedly agree. I just, God, I've had so many things oversold to me in the past that I'm like, I don't want someone else to go through that. But at the same time, you are right. Tim Tams are like the standard to which all other chocolate biscuits should be held to. We've all been waiting for you. To be honest. You finally decided to visit our base of operations. Ah, uh, good luck and good night. Thank you, Dory. Have a wonderful evening. Ah, uh, it's my normal order for McDonald's. I may call it a 20 nugget share box, but I disagree. Yeah, last time I got one, it was like share box and like challenge accepted. <laughs> Can V heal? Uh, Luke, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Not very well, though. Goal, if you ever come to the US for a con, Baja Blast. Yes, correct. Correct. I'll make a TikTok. Let me try it for the first time. God. Uh, using a Tim Tam as a straw for hot chocolate. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Getting that, like, the melty, gooey chocolate, like the biggie in the air, and just toss it. Yeah, it's great. It's wonderful. Sharing in this economy. I know, right? More like sharing in a pandemic. What? Tony Bees is nothing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, dear. Na, 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 na. No, no. Oh, I just realized I have to hydrate. There we go. Oh, it really sucks I had to start this over. At least the first couple battles are quick, but like I'm not looking forward to doing those two really, really long ones again. It kind of sucks. Magic word. <laughs> Ah, fuck. Search Tim Tams if similar biscuits called custard creams and bourbons. Hey! I told you not to hurt a hair on my sweet Torrin's head! Haru! Custard creams. Okay? Yes, but custard cream. Not dream. Cream. I am at a loss. It's no surprise you won. They are we not even close to similar. A fight against a strong breeze. So we have them as well, this the custard cream biscuits. They are not you. even close. Um, so the biscuit isn't... Um, so the biscuit in a Tim Tam isn't actually like a crumbly biscuit like you'd think. It's, it's kind of somewhere between, like a, a cross between a biscuit and a wafer. It's really light and really airy and really crispy rather than like crumbly. Uh, like a biscuit. Um, I guess the cream in the middle might be kind of similar, but the the cream in a Tim Tam is really mousse-like. Like it's, again, really light and kind of fluffy in a way. Uh, and then, of course, the coating of chocolate. Um, but we have custard creams here as well, and they are not... No. No. Uh, but bourbons. Bourbons. Bourbon biscuit. There we go. Let me have a look at this one. Closer! Except... What? Sandwich biscuit consisting of two thin rectangular dark chocolate flavored biscuits with a chocolate buttercream filling. That's closer, but this image I'm seeing makes it look like it's one solid brick. I think it's just a really bad picture. I think the bourbon is a hell of a lot closer. The only similarity that a custard cream has is that it's goo in the middle of biscuits. Um, but yeah, I think the bourbon biscuit's a lot closer, except that it's also, yeah, dipped in chocolate afterwards. <laughs> There you go. Oh, I always feel like my little doing pet battle stuff. No, not at all. Nice as someone doing. Yes, absolutely, Blaze. Absolutely. Um, I am a big fan of, like, I'm a completionist. I, I like to collect stuff, and uh, these pet battle dungeons have pets I still don't have because I've been lazy. Uh, Bourbons is a downgrade of a Tim Tam. Yeah, it's like it's like a, a Tim Tam with all the chocolate taken off. Yeah, basically. 
but close. Like it's it's similar in structure. Ah, uh, dip the bourbon in chocolate. Yes, to Tim Tam without the chocolate coating. Correct. Uh, is that insane title pre-nerf? Um, I don't remember. When was the nerf? I've had this for a very long time. Uh, well, actually, not that long. Actually, only four years. Uh, but coming up on four years. I don't know. Uh, does it matter? It was still difficult. <laughs> like, does it matter? Um, prestigious tiles you have, immortal, conquerable Dwar, uh, possibly. Uh, I don't remember. I'd have to know the, um, achievement title. What is, was immor immortal? Is that one? Yes. Uh, well, I must have it, because I've got the achievement. Uh, and what was the other one? Ulduar. There's 87 results, that's not going to help. Conqueror or... There are. Uh, I don't see that one. So if that was a hidden one, then probs not. Um, I don't see why it matters though. Uh, I'm playing around for over a decade. Recently got into pet battles. Now I'm addicted to collecting pets. It's a bit that way, isn't it? And there are so many. There are so many. So so many. Um. Uh, well, yeah, of course they're rarer, six. They're older. <laughs> like, so many people who would have them don't play anymore and stuff. It it really doesn't matter that much. Like, someone who's gone to the effort to get something that's that far out of their way, I, like, good on them regardless. I, I don't see why we need to, like, categorize people into, like, I, I don't know, that just, that feels kind of elitist to me, and I, I don't like that, sorry. Um... No idea, Custard Cream is outside the UK. Oh, there you go, now you do. Awesome, yeah, it's the only reason I knew is because it came up saying uh, purchase from Woolworths for this much money, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, Australia has Maltesers as well, we do. Maltesers are amazing. I had, um, a couple months back, I had uh, marshmallow flavored Maltesers. Like the malt crispy bit in the middle tasted like marshmallows. And they got the flavor bang on, and it was absolutely awesome. Exactly. Absolutely One awesome. 4, That's oddly specific. Uh, okay. Theory. Let's go. Hundred percent chance to destroy. Zhuzh. Um. Given okay, the same a penguin biscuit. Uh, Maltese is a great. They are ah, penguins have jokes on the back. They do. From what I remember, they do. They were awesome. Goodness is the prestigious aspect of it that matters, and yes, it is a bit elitist, you're right, but for some that is a core aspect of the game. Uh, yeah, it's not here. Um, this community doesn't really do elitist. Um, we prefer congratulating everyone on their achievements, regardless of how small or big they may feel to others. Um, you know, someone putting in the effort to farm out a 1 in 20 drop mount, that's a huge effort for them. Might not be for me, I have 50 characters, I just knock it out in a day. But for them, it's a huge effort, and so I'm going to congratulate them on that and celebrate it with them. Because I don't give a flying fuck what someone else thinks is difficult. I just, like, yay for us getting stuff done. Like, what, I don't, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I, I, I don't like elitism. I collect shit for me, not for the prestigiousness. I get stuff done because, hey, look, a challenge. Let's ca Let's tackle it. Let's have some fun. Mm, sounds interesting, marshmallow Maltesers. Yeah, the inside was like, I think it was like very slightly pink colored a bit. Yeah, happy brain juice noises. Uh, all the ATT. But yeah, it's uh, yeah. But no, I, I don't really care about the percentage of Nah, thanks anyway. <laughs> uh, probably fire I simply due to the fact that CE was the first added to expansions later. Yeah, that too. But yeah, it's it's because it's old and a lot of the people who had those kind of things don't play anymore and stuff like that. It's it's just it doesn't really matter. Um I think one of my favorite things from traveling abroad. Was trying all the foods, yeah, absolutely. That'd be the best thing. 
try one of these Tim Tams where you guys describe them like, oh, I gotta try it. Um, a lot of like a lot, a lot, a lot of places. If they, if you found, if you have like a um a snack food store or something that has like an international section near you. There are a couple of things that if they have an Australian section, they will have Freddo frogs, they will have Vegemite, they will have Tim Tams. It's kind of the thing. Um, so if you have one of those within distance of you, like reasonably being able to get to a place, um, you should be able to find Tim Tams because they're a, they're a big, not, not like one of our biggest exports or any of that kind of thing, but like... They are so popular that they sell really well, um, so we we send them to people like a lot. <laughs> like I said, I predicted their next form moves. This is all part of my plan. Horu, open the rest of the cages. Everyone else, team meeting. Um, if I were simply to. You don't have to look down on other players to feel proud of your own prestigious achievements. No, I know, but the way your comments are, maybe it's just because text doesn't convey tone very well. Like, that's, there's a very good chance that that's what's happening here. But, like, it does kind of feel like you're attempting to separate me into a category of people that's like, up, you know, do you have this, 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 and this? Well, those are really prestigious, and that means that you're in this top 1%. And I'm like, I don't, like, do you know, it feels like you're trying to not, not necessarily other me, but you're trying to lift me up on this pedestal or trying to test me to see if I'm good enough to be the, the, the streamer person. Do you know what I mean? Like, so that I'm, I'm sure it's probably just because tone can't be conveyed, but it really is coming across that way to me at least, um, which is why the conversation was making me a little bit uncomfortable and I wanted to make sure that everyone knew that that's not what we do here, uh, that everyone's achievements are celebrated no matter how small they may feel to others. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of, that's where I'm coming from. Uh, actually granted archaeology from zero to 600. Holy shit, well done, Blaze. Nice in a single weekend. Go you. Holy shit. <laughs> Do I try to murder myself? Oh, good, Jas. How? What? Assassinate yourself? Oh, yeah, Caramello Koalas. Sorry, I always put Caramellos in with Freddos because they're like pretty much the same thing except a different shape, basically. I know they're not before anyone comes for me. But like, they just, you know, they're the, if, if you're gonna have Freddos there, there's probably gonna be Caramellos as well, because they kind of go together. But yeah. Afternoon, Draz. Hello, Haley. Uh, have you tried to not do that, Jazz? <laughs> oh, you tried to divide by zero. We had a war as many years ago, it was shut down. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So to hear Ivan Reitman passed on earlier this week. Ghostbusters is one of my favorite movie franchises. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, Matt. I did see, I think I saw that on... Maybe on Reddit? I'm trying to think. I know I saw it somewhere. I just don't remember where. Ah, uh, if they're sugary, they'll sell well in the US. We love sugar. So I have heard. So I've heard. Ah, uh, I have to look into that one for sure. Australia, New Zealand, um, bucket list places are oh, brilliant. You'll be very, you'll very, you, yeah. Let's try that again. You're very welcome. Fingers crossed for you, yeah? Fingers crossed. Battles finally some content. Hey, Flib, how you doing? Welcome on in. By default, have the achievement. Many, many others do not. So to a certain extent, you are already in that area. Yeah, I know what you mean. Difference in achievements, just like, for example, talent jobs IRL. Certain jobs and talents are just more respected. No, they're not. Like, I mean, maybe in the IRL, yeah, but like, there is a very, 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 very small portion of the World of Warcraft community that actually, like, respects people more for having an achievement from 10 years ago like it it it's a, it's a video game <laughs> it doesn't really matter that much it's not that big a thing um i also don't kind of go out of my way to like i did this over a decade ago and i did this like eight years ago and it, it's just it's not my style in the slightest um yeah so that's why I'm uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, same thing in my head, because Fondra is always a bit. Ah. <laughs> all wrong do this, all wrong do that. She's always ah, skills, right. effort, time, and dedication. Yeah, maybe, but again, 10 years ago, I was like in my early 20s, I was in uni, I had shitloads of time to do whatever the fuck I wanted. Like, not everyone has that ability to do that now because we are adults with jobs and potential partners and potential families and 
Like we just don't have that kind of time to develop those skills and we don't have the time to dedicate to that kind of shit. Like we have lives now, we've moved on. We're not all about the video game like we could be in our teens and early 20s. The game has changed because we have changed. Life has changed. It's not like, yeah, we, we do not put that kind of value on stuff. I mean, I've... I mean, I don't, at least. It's not, I mean, hey, it's cool, I have the thing, but I, I do not care if I'm in the top 1% of, I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. What business have you? Um, my uh, kingdom, Seven so far, brilliant. I think part of the problem is your first message in here asking if she had prestigious titles and achievements. Vibe was off, yeah. It's, um, we, yeah. We are chill. <laughs> we we don't do we don't do that shit. Um, <laughs> dupe with the bits. Thank you, much appreciated. Four touchdowns. Four touchdowns in one game back in high school. Yeah, it's like I've been playing for fifteen years. Like it's a long time, and I had a fuckload more time to commit to the game when I was fucking seventeen. Like, ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, life is not the same anymore. Um, you up on to you. <laughs> but ain't that the truth? Back in high school, one of my mates took six wickets for three runs. Oh, wow, dude, that's actually like, holy shit. Well done. <laughs> is it? Is it still one of the things that they kind of like brag about at the at the, the, the barbecues and stuff every so often? Someone rib them when they can't match the same thing again. Sometimes I just don't want to adult. I know, I know. I I feel that. I feel that. Unfortunately, this is the world that we live in. Responsibilities are things. Um. We celebrate everyone's little wins. Exactly. We don't really care about prestige. It's not a. It's not a thing. But we, yeah, so we're in 20 years, aw, okay, fair enough. <laughs> People change, life changes, especially how much of a grind everything is nowadays. Yeah, everything now is designed, instead of having to like dedicate X amount of hours in one sitting to a thing and get it done and like push and getting all these like, you know, 25 people organized at the same time to go do the thing for four hours and all that kind of shit. Like, I, I used to raid four hours a night, four nights a week. 16 hours a week in the same instance, killing bosses, you know? Like, that is not a thing I can commit to these days at all. Excuse me. Zem, Dunno, Neke, and Spam. Congratulations on your bonus shit. Um, like, oh, where was I going with that? Uh, grind, right. So Blizzard understands that the the player base that they had has aged. That's what we do. We grow up. And those same teenagers who would call out of school to raid on the launch day of a new raid and stuff like that now are in their 30s. So there is a pretty good chance that they will have partners. They will have families, children. They will have full-time jobs that they work 40-ish hours a week, maybe more. Uh, and their gaming time is l more limited. Maybe not actually limited limited, but more limited than it was even five years ago. You know, like more things come up every fucking year. And so what they want to be able to do is have, if, if someone can log in for half an hour a day, they can still make progression. If they can log in for two or three hours a week in one block, they can still make progression. But you can also bash your head against everything for like hours a day and just kind of get everything done. Sort of, do you know what I mean? Like it, it caters to both of those kind of play styles. So you have the competitive end where you're getting people who are paid to raid, pay, paid to play, all that kind of stuff. Um, but then right down to the people who only have a couple of hours a week to get stuff done, they can still get things done. It's obviously just going to take them a bit longer, but they're not going to feel completely left out or that they have to quit because they can't ever accomplish anything. Uh, the style of the game has changed dramatically because the player base has changed dramatically. 
Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's probably a good thing that they've realized that the player base has changed and so they've adjusted stuff like that to match. It was already 30 when WoW came out. Oh wow, there you go. There you go. No idea what a wicket is, nor the concept of cricket. Look, honestly, I know what a wicket is, but that's about all I understand. So, <laughs> responsibilities, you're never told about them as a child because you'd never want to grow up. Exactly. It's like, kids, I really, I want to grow up. I want to grow up. And then you grow up and you're like, oh, I have made a mistake. <laughs> uh, so we came in right now and said they got to level 10 and we'd all congratulate them. Exactly. Exactly. Especially like coming in and being like, you have that title, but is it pre-nerf? Like you're already prejudging me that I didn't do a, I didn't do the achievement at the good enough time. But it's okay because you've got you've got immortal. Therefore, that redeems you, and you're okay. Like, I just I really don't feel good about that. That makes me feel really uncomfortable, and that's not how we treat each other in this stream in this community. Um, I mean, I'm sure that there are absolutely communities out there who put massively high value on that, and they they may be bitching about me behind my back right now, and that's that's absolutely their prerogative. They want to waste their breath on that, but um, we don't do that here. We we don't determine that someone is you know oh you're it you know it, it doesn't matter that you've hit level sixty because you didn't hit one twenty when that was the level cap. Or, you know, you've you've gotten to level 50, but it was so much harder back in my day, therefore I'm a better player than you. Fuck off. That's not a thing. That is absolutely not a thing. Um, so yeah, that's... I'm not sure if that was the intent of the comments, but that is absolutely how it came across to me. And uh, I'm not okay with that. That's not how we treat each other here. Uh, responsibility. I know. Back when achievements mattered to be a part of exclusive, exclusive guilds that pushed AOTC and World First, we're just playing the game we love. Achievements are achievements. It's great for getting them. At the end of the day, let's just play the game. The pressure of putting her on a pedestal is a little unnecessary, no matter how big or small the streaming community hypes up everyone. Hever hypes everyone up on enjoying the game or rolling a new turn or whatever. Exactly. Exactly. Um. Oh, good lord. Yeah, nah, you can. Yeah. It's, it's day of the troll today, apparently. Um, mind of a casual. Fuck yeah. I'm a fucking casual. <laughs> and I'm fucking loving it. Because raiding and running a goddamn raiding guild to get cutting edge and bullshit, uh, and to get the immortal, and all that crap, was a pain in my fucking ass. Because people who raid in those kind of guilds are usually, in my experience, fucking children. They're little piss ants who backstab you and try to mutinize any time they don't get their way on one particular strategy. And yes, I am a motherfucking casual and I'm loving my life. I raid when I want, I mythic plus when I want, and the rest of the time I farm mounts and transmog and pets and toys and completion percentage and it's fucking glorious. I have no stress, no pressure, no expectations from anyone except myself, and god damn, I fucking love it. I fucking love my life. Ugh. Enjoy your prestigious achievements, because no one else really gives that much of a fuck. <laughs> oh dear. We grew up- I know, right? We grew up- how dare? How dare the world work like that? In this economy. <laughs> yes, look, aging does not equal growing up. You are absolutely right with that, Flipple. Absolutely right. I uh, think you're up for a few years, went back to being a bit of a kid who just pays bills. Yes, a kid who pays bills. That's absolutely, exactly. Well, at least that's over. Absolutely a thing. Work now. I'm taking five. You dispute my honor. Ah, uh, just daycare that we get paid for. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I'm in trouble killing this my whole druid. Figured out the issue. My eye my weapon is eye level 34. K. K, I think your weapon might be a little bit too too little. Um <laughs> uh, a wise person once said, growing old is mandatory, growing up is optional. I love that. Like most adults in yes. Absolutely. Aw, thank you, Blaze. Much appreciated. 
Ah, uh, Matt, we're on time. Just remember it's weekly reset today. It is. It is weekly reset today. Recruitment officer from Mythic Raid Guild. It's enough reading experience for me. Yeah. Yeah. Good lord. Nah. Ugh, look, I've been there. I've done that. It's exhausting. It's fucking exhausting. I'm 30 goddamn fucking two. I do not need that crap in my life. <laughs> like, no. Um... Had many great holidays when our expansions came out. Gotta love having so much time off in Oz, four to six weeks a year. Yas. Can't, she's not finished yet. <laughs> yeah. Look, that was a little bit of a rant and I do apologize. Oh, I also yelled. I know I was yelling, but like, oh, yes, I am a fucking casual. <laughs> I just, I don't understand why people have so much of a pro. It doesn't affect your play. Why does me being a casual affect you in the slightest? It, like, good Lord. Good lord. Sound command? Oh god, I have to turn the volume down to like two. Um, still a child, 18, with 27 years of experience. ERs. Won't change it for sure. For sure. Got older but not grown up? Yeah, look. There are, there are parts of my life in which I am absolutely a grown up. 100%. Uh, there are other parts of my life where I am absolutely not. <laughs> Ugh. I am I am a responsible adult when I need to be, and I'm not when I don't. And I think that that's, um, I mean, it did take me a while to learn when I could let go. What was, my God, thank you for the cheer. Ah, <laughs> dirtbag, thank you very much for the cheer. Much appreciated. Um, it took me, it took me a few years cause I, um, I was, uh, I was a very responsible young adult. Like I was the, um, excuse me. I was always the one in charge of organizing stuff. And I was, you know, never, never skipped class or, or all that kind of like, I was very much a, um, I guess someone called me a goody two shoes or a teacher's pet or something like that. Um, but it wasn't so much that I just felt like I had to do the best that I could in everything. Uh, and that involved listening in class and it involved, you know, writing shit down and doing my homework and stuff. Because if I didn't do that, then I wouldn't get 100. And like, I was a completionist even at fucking school, you know? Uh, so I was always very, very responsible and, and strict with myself and all that kind of stuff. And then as I kind of got into my early 20s, um, and had a, I've met a few different people in university and stuff. And I sort of learned that I can let go sometimes. I was a control freak as well. Like I absolutely had to be in control of everything uh, or I would have massive anxiety. Uh, Cause you know, if I can't control it, I don't know what's going to happen. And if I don't know, how am I going to respond to it? If I don't know what it is. Uh, so it, it took a long while, but I kind of got to the point where I could let go with certain things. And then over further years, I've learned where, where I need to put the responsibility and where I can not put the responsibility. Um, and that's, that feels good because it means that I can kind of knuckle down and get stuff done. But then once it's done, I can just have some fun, play some fidget games, you know, like leave that, turn that part off and just forget that responsibility exists for a little while. No, I'm opening a smallpox because I just leave him there. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, uh, it's time to trade in the toothpick. What's up? Hello! Enjoying WoW more, to be honest, since I became a casual. Less stress. Oh my god, so much less stress. It's so much fun. Video games are fun. Fun. Right? Good lord. Um. Uh, thank you again for the cheer, Chaz. Much appreciated. Maybe it was my place to come to do. Don't appreciate tough guys acting out of pocket because they're behind a keyboard. Falls in line with exactly what I said earlier. Yeah, no, it's, it's totally fine. It's just, like... <laughs> Oh, people thinking they're better than everyone else because I did it when it was harder. Back in my day, like, no. See, like, we talk about Lawmaster, right? Yori really recently finished off Lawmaster and I was so fucking happy for her. Like, oh my god, congratulations. And then it's like, you know, back when I did Lawmaster, it was like complete 800 and something quests in Eastern Kingdoms and complete 750 in Kalimdor. There was no, I had to go through fucking Wowhead and and find all this kind of bits and pieces and like cross them off the list every time I visited because there was no pinging the server to find out whether or not you completed a quest. You had to go and visit the quest giver and stuff like that, right? It was a fuckload harder. But that doesn't make me any better. 
It doesn't make me any better. We still got the same fucking achievement. It is linked the same way in chat. I put in effort and I achieved something that I wanted. Yori put in effort and achieved something that she wanted. And both of those are things to be celebrated. It doesn't matter when they were done or how they were done. It just matters that they were wanted and they were done. I don't understand the whole, I'm better than you because, no, no, fuck off. No, you're not. You're better than me because you got an achievement a few years before me. Oh, fuck, nobody cares, honey. No, nobody cares outside of your small little clicky community where prestige is ever, no, fuck off. No one gives a shit. Again, except for the small community that may possibly give a shit. But even then, even if they do give a shit and go, oh yes, you're very prestigious, but I have one worth more than that, because that's what they're like. They've all got things shoved up their asses. Anyway, uh, place your bets. Next troll's gonna come here and be a dweeb about pet battles. Probably. That or uh, possibly boobs. Oh no, actually the camera cuts off. Yeah, camera cuts off too. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Heckin' casual deserves use of- oh, brilliant, Kay. Wonderful. Uh, shoot me the mp3 when you've got it and I'll I'll put it in and turn the volume very much down. Uh, should we do a poll on that? No. Don't- don't encourage the universe, please. I don't want to deal with another troll today. Like, I'm done. Fucking three bands in one stream. That's magical. Uh, casual for 99.9% .9 of the time. I just get a little hardcore leveling when an expansion- Oh, fuck yeah! Absolutely! I take two weeks off for a new expansion. That's mostly because I stream, though, so <laughs> it's mostly because it's my job. I mean, I, I did- I used to take a week off for a new expansion, even when I wasn't a streamer, but nowadays I take two off because I can and because, um, again, job. Is it challenge on people? Oh, holy shit! Well done, Chaz! Well, that is awesome. That is Challenger. What is what is Challenger? Can I? Oh, my keyboard's dying. Uh, excuse me. Challenger. Earn Challenger title. Thank you very much. That's exceptionally helpful. Wow, you are. Good lord. Um, so what, tell me, what is involved in getting Challenger? Because I know exactly this much about PvP. Uh, <laughs> uh no, do it. no. Random pugs to, ah, oh, hard mode. Wonderful. Good job. Which kind of insanity. It's amazing, man. I'm very happy for you. Like, Jesus Christ. Elite PvP set. Transmits are so good. Transmogs. Entirely too much gold. Ah, uh, that sucked my eventual king. Oh no! Well, it mustn't matter when you did it. It's a damn daunting ship. Exactly! It doesn't matter! Oh, good lord. Like, fuck. Anyway. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah, uh, the insane is similar there, to be honest. It takes a huge amount of effort, despite it being easy. Exactly! It doesn't matter. I still- I went- like, I wonder if it would matter to them if they knew that I pickpocketed every single last lockbox myself and didn't purchase a single one. Like, you know? It doesn't matter. Someone who went and bought them, they still had to earn the gold, which takes time. So that's is spending time in a different... You know, we were talking, you know, time is money. And if you go and buy a, a rare drop mount off the black market auction house, that's not worth any less than getting it to drop. You've still spent the time farming the mount. It's just that you were farming for gold, which was then used to purchase the mount. You know, it's, it's, you've still got the fucking mount. Why does it matter? It doesn't, it shouldn't, but whatever. So yeah, look, people, people who bought the lockboxes earned the gold, purchased them, and then turned them in. Instead of earning the gold, because I didn't know how back then, I just went and ground them out. It's like, same effort in different directions, and then comes back to the same goal. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, I do love how elitism has no place in this community. It's so fucking refreshing. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. That was- that's a special kind of elitism, though. Like, there's- there's the whole caring about, like, Mythic Plus score and stuff like that because it relates to inviting people to your group and stuff like that. I mean, it's still elitism, but it's for a purpose. That just has no purpose at all. Like, except for ranking people above or below one another for their efforts and prestigiousness. So I don't understand why, like, no, no. Uh, I'm sitting here trying to figure out which three kingdoms would be the easiest to take over for my chief. Judge mindset undeveloped. 
A community can be very toxic. It's a bummer. It can be, but I mean, so can most communities. And I'm not just talking about gaming communities, like actual community communities out in the open world. If you get a group of people together, there will be fuckwits in there. The larger the group of people, the higher the chance of fuckwits. It's just, it is a thing, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we just, we don't, we don't do that. Who reeks of Fedora, to be honest. I mean, look, I can understand, I can understand putting a high value on your achievements in World of Warcraft. I have 641 mounts. I'm heckin' proud of that. Does that make me any better than someone who has 640? No. Does it make me any better than someone who has 100? No. Does it make me any better than anyone who has two? No. It just means that I've taken more time and put in more effort because that's what I value doing. That is one of my values. I, however, also have achievements in other areas of my life. So I can kind of feel like when you, when you say Fedora, like my, my, um, granted, this is very stereotypical and you know, it's all that kind of stuff. And I don't tend to like stereotypes, but the stereotype of people who narrow in so, 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 so tightly on the, how valuable in like millimeters or, or quarter inches. You guys don't have anything smaller than an inch and an inch is fucking massive. It's silly. Anyway, um, I mean, you probably do microns. No, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. But, um, like they, they narrow in on these particular goals because there's nothing else that they feel like they have accomplished. That does not mean that they haven't accomplished anything though. I am absolutely certain that a lot of these people who don't think they have, have done fucking plenty with their lives that is worth being proud of. Even if it is just for them, because I mean, like, How is this I've had life struggles. I'm sure most of you have as well. Do not change. Pixie, how much more time? Cool. Um, so I think I might do this one manually because I'm really nervous. Um, but yeah, so like. There's a lot of stuff out there that's like, you know, they, they, there's nothing else that they have in their life to be proud of, so they have to focus on the one thing that they've achieved and, like, analyse it to the nth degree to see how much better or worse they are than other people who have done something very, very similar because they feel like there's nothing else in their life that they've done. Okay, shh. Go on, bring in a little bling. Okay, so that's what's happened there. Because that was because the Chitter Spine Skittling was damaged in a previous fight. It's died early. That's what happened last time. Can I one round cooldown? That'll do it. Awesome. Um, yeah. So I like. I understand that. Like, if that. Oh shit! Fucking undead. If that's how they feel, then that's horrible. Uh, and I hope that they realize that no matter how small other achievements may feel, there's still something. There's still something. Um, the WoW community eventually drove me out of WoW and I just watched people play in- oh, lucky. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay, so I have extra plating against Fury then make it rain, then inflation. I'm going to get a hype train really for fear and bring up the fun. Let's go find the right people to play with. Exactly. Wait, is Challenger PvP? Challenger 1600 rating? Oh, nice! Oh god, I've never even been close. Good lord. Well done. Well done. Go and raid a PvP to get it. Yep. I thought you were a PvP god. You're, you're hilarious. You're hilarious, X. Bring me back to life. Go, go. Bam. This is not going well. I really needed that black claw. It's not a problem, just go on. Look, I don't. I feel like this is absolutely a problem. Extra plating. Yep, because now I'm dead dead. And then I'm supposed to be able to knock out the last pet with supercharge and ion cannon. That's it. Because that's got like three round ability. <laughs> I 
I need to find which team prior uses the Chitter Spine and I need to change it. Because this is not okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna die again. It's gonna kill me. Oh no, recovering still. Okay, good. I'm still gonna die. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. What's that? How? Oh god, yeah. Increases damage taken. That's gonna end me. Yeah, I'm gone. Bugger! Alright, um. Where is the Chitter Spine Skittling in the other battles? It's on Char. I need to find a different one for Char. This? No. What is that? Rebuilt Mechanical Spider. There'll be nothing like that either. And this other one requires breeds. What is that? Why can't I see its breed? I used to have a thing that would show me that. Why? Okay, so 1400, 227, 357. Okay, so that's the right breed. And then the cockroach needs to be 1481 health. It's not. Okay, what about this one then? The squirrel needs to have 1400 health, which it doesn't. Tolerate hair has 1465, which is not right. Yeah, I know. This this sucks. Um <laughs> 1481. 1481! Okay, so this is the right breed. <sighs> okay. And then a random any pet. Which better not be the bloody space kid this one. <sighs> these these randoms do kind of make me nervous a little bit. Um and then we can grab that TD script and change that one. This is okay, so. I do like that I'm getting this kind of set up for, because last time I was in here, everything was flawless, but I think it's because I didn't face Char, so it didn't fuck the team later. Yep, okay. Um, it's really hard to get. Yeah, I can imagine so, Chaz. Uh, I never done it before, so I had a good night. I'm so glad. True, I thought I had. I found the group chat about their efforts to get my real name and number. Oh, God. Jesus. Ah, uh, when touch the insane, I value my sanity. Fair, fair. Does Lawmaster require it all in one tune or just the account? I'm pretty sure it's account wide now, Snow, because I know a lot of people when they're, um, like if they have a zone that they're missing, they'll make sure when they're leveling a new character to swing by that zone. I think each of the individual lowest level achievements, like Duskwood and Elwyn and blah, 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 I think those have to be done on one character but then the meta can be done on a whole bunch of them. So you can do Elwyn on one and Duskwood on another and Red Ridge on another, et cetera, et cetera, um, to get it all done. I'm pretty sure, but I got it away, away back. So I did it all on one tune, but I th I'm pretty sure you can do it across multiples now. Um, uh, yes. Uh, this hasn't been updated since Kata, even from Kata, the Lawmaster Master Chief had 33,260 quests for board. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot. I was going to shoot me kill 75 colleagues. I just kept coming. Okay, I'm here. New patch coming out. It's a good time to get back in. Da, 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 da. Nanometer, millimeters. Okay. okay. You do have mill You do use millimeters in the US? I thought it was like inches. 
Like, why do you use millimeters if you don't use centimeters and meters and kilometers? They're all related to the meter. I'm confused. Oh, I've been playing my belly for nearly six years. Oh, wow. Got my teeth sorted. Oh, yay, EXO! I, um, I paid my surgeon the second installment the other day. 2,500 bucks. Next time, can't sleep. Not a worry, Chaz. Rest well. We'll see you next time. Life is struggles. Correct. Correct. Ribbon Death Steed still eludes me. Did I get Skull Ripper? Oh, well done. Congrats. I could say it either. If I argue because the nonsense toxicity made up its core, take another break yet again because it's just unneeded at this point. My favorite things to do in game is transform. Can't make tunes. Yes. Should make you feel bad for wanting to do that in a video game. Not at all. No, not at all. Uh, quite interesting to watch you puzzle out. Really? Okay, I'm glad. Like, I'm always afraid the content I'm doing is shite. Uh, so, ooh, no, I need to heal first. Because I can't heal when I'm in there. Can't heal when I'm in there. Um, but yeah, always, as a content creator, you always worry about what effect your content's gonna have. So, it's good to hear you enjoying it. Uh, whales next, so much depth of pet battles. I had no idea. Well, there's just so many pet battles. Um, and some strategies that people do only work if you have a certain amount of speed because it means you'll always go first or you'll go first against this pet, but second against this pet. Like getting thing, getting the timing right can be really important for some moves. I don't know much in terms of actually like figuring all that shit out. However, there's a website that full of people who do it, and I just use their strategies with many, many thanks. <sighs> Absolutely fascinated. Ignore pedals. It's so interesting. Oh, good. I'm glad that you're. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying this. Um. Uh, that's why I love my guild. We have people collecting, doing PvP, Mythic Plus, and raiding. No obligation to actually do those things with guild members. Oh, that's brilliant, Nutty. That's awesome. Never do pet battles ever. I'm completely locked in. Oh, good. Yay. I hope that you guys find it fun to do yourselves in game. Like seriously, hey, a buzzy. Thought pets just existed to be caged and sold. Who knew? I mean, the people buying them had to be buying them for something, right? <laughs> this is what they buy them for. Ridiculous math shit. Uh, <laughs> like on the back end, is that that is pretty much all World of Warcraft is. It's math, right? But when you're actually in a boss fight, mashing the button, waiting for your cooldown to come off, it doesn't really feel as much like math. Whereas pet battling, because it's all kind of slowed down, it's like Pokemon, you know? You pick your move, they take turns doing it. You pick your next move, they take turns doing it. It's all about the math, like which po which Pokemon, which battle pet is going to go first, how much damage they're going to do, how much, like, all that kind of... It's all, like, a pretty skin for math. Um, but uh, I enjoy it because there's rewards at the end. Even if those are reward, Even if those rewards are more pets. <laughs> so <laughs> Because I like to collect shit. I'm a completionist. I want 100% everything, all the stuff, all the things. Funnily enough. Um, yes, account wide. Awesome. I thought so. Uh, it's also I wish that was my experience. The majority of my time and where I was spent solo with my best friend. Once he stopped playing, I just pursued alone, tried finding a place to call my own, but no avail. Yeah, it can be kind of tricky. It can be kind of tricky. Like, w when it comes to raids and like. Stuff like that. I always found like finding a raiding guild was a really easy thing to do. Not necessarily being accepted by one, but finding where the guilds were was always really easy because there's like recruitment posts and there's forums for recruiting and all that kind of stuff, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, it's um f for other stuff though. Finding communities, now that they have communities in-game and you can search through those and stuff, that makes it a little more helpful. But uh, yeah, it can be quite tricky to find those kind of what most people consider niche communities to do that kind of stuff, like pet battling and things. I don't think we had Liz last time. I'm up against Liz and I'm nervous because I don't think we had Liz last time. Uh, Zem, Dick, Draz, and Thor, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, yeah, one more. Good, we're good. Oh, would you be centimeters and meters and kilometers? Really? Because all I hear is inches and feet and miles. Okay. Can we just like convert you to metric permanently to make life so much easier for the rest of us? <laughs> don't use CMM in the US because fuck everyone else we use MM because of Honda Twitter Holden props I don't know damn 13 millimeter sockets 
Uh, no heartbreaker for me either. Oh, Zam. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Funnily enough, miles, inches, yard, uh, feet are officially defined in metric units. They are, which is hilarious. I find it very funny. I have no idea what's going on. It's so interesting. Yay! Good. I'm glad. Well, if you have questions, please feel free to ask. There are no stupid questions. Every single thing you could possibly ask, I have had to ask at some point as well. And if I haven't, it's because I don't know yet. And we can find out together. Theron, what are the odds that this hero succeeds? Be careful. Exactly. So, like, by all means, ask away if you need to. Ah, uh, Lucky Rose is pretty much on my own doing stuff. Yeah. It's awesome, not gonna lie. So I love this community. I can tune and engage with you all. We all have fun and all help each other out. It's great. I enjoy it too. I enjoy it too. So once upon a time, we did try to convert, but ended up going nowhere with it. Ah, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Ask questions, do it. I had no idea what a Tim Tam was, and I'm that much better for it. Mmm, exactly right. I know we're not gonna like freak out over a question, except maybe like, oh my god, you've never had a Tim Tam? You need to get a Tim Tam? Holy shit, they're amazing. Like, that's kind of the extent of our freaking out. Nims on sale over here on island. So there we are. Oh, can someone tell Haley that absolutely they need to pick some up when they go out? Um, there's an ad in progress, and I don't know that Haley can actually hear or see me. But I would like to very much inform them that yes, they should collect a Tim Tim. <laughs> Oh, you can hear me. Well, cause, because you don't have the prime badge or, or a sub badge or anything. I thought that because an ad, but maybe there's no ads to show you left anymore. All right, sorry. Look, that was embarrassing, wasn't it? Uh <laughs> oh, fuck. Ugh. That's really funny. When you do try a Tim Tam Slam, yes, probably no ads left. Quite potentially, quite potentially. Um, I'm in England, where is in my shop? And by the Tim Tams, isn't a Tim Tam just a penguin? Not quite. Um, they are very similar. Penguins are a bit longer, uh, and they have less chocolate on them. Tim Tams have quite a thick coating of chocolate, uh, and they're, yeah, a little bit, a little bit shorter. But beyond that, they are very, 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 very similar. Tim Tams also don't come usually individually wrapped unless you're buying, like, um, like if you're in a, a corporate office or something, you can buy big bags of, like, individually wrapped Tim Tams. Um, I know that penguins usually come individually wrapped, I think, and they've got jokes on the back. We don't have jokes on the back of Tim Tams. But apart from that, pretty similar, yeah. I, I personally prefer the chocolate to, to everything else ratio of a Tim Tam to a penguin. It feels like there's just not quite enough on a penguin, but excuse me, that's just my personal preference and obviously everybody's tastes are going to be different. <clears throat> uh, like I said, I predicted their next four moves. <laughs> this is all part of my plan. Horu, open the rest uh, of the cages. You know, so Everyone else? Team meeting. I know my trip now, Tim Tam just sounds like some kind of sanitary product. Sanitary product? I've never even thought it, like, I guess because I've grown up with them, I'm like, is it because you mean it sounds kind of like tampon, like the word? It's like Tim Tam, tampon, like the the word is sort of similar and so audibly it kind of reminds you of? I get that, that, that makes sense. I get the connection. Uh, no jokes, because Aussie's choo choo cereal. Uh huh, right? <laughs> have to buy Tim Tams tomorrow now. Mm hmm. Maybe pick up some Tim Tams when I go to get the apple cinnamon hot cross buns. Fuck yeah. But, and don't forget the, the butter or the margarine. You cannot do hot cross buns without the butter or margarine, depending on your personal preference. <laughs> ew. What's ew? Uh, does not help. Dove makes both chocolate and sanitary products. <laughs> 
Um, not just the sun no, 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 of course, that I never, I never even would have thought of that. It was more just like, how do you make the, because I've always known Tim Tams to be a Chocky Bicky, I'm like, how could he, anyone even possibly think it could maybe be a sanitary product? But it does, like, audibly, you're right, they, the words do sound relatively similar. Uh, got some real nice butter already. Good, good. Do you know if pet battles have an end game content daily that offer gold rewards like Covenant dailies? Um, no, but they are, there are world quests. There are pet battle world quests. And usually with every 24 hour reset, there's at least one in each of the end game, like so Ardenweald, Maldraxxus, etc. Um, at least one in each zone every 24 hours. Sometimes they award gold. Um, sometimes they award uh, stones for like leveling or upgrading to rare quality. Um, sometimes they award the bandages. Um, I think that's, I think that might be all the rewards that they kind of offer. But yeah, there are, there are pet battle world quests though. And that's since, sent back in Legion. And there are lots of achievements that, um, that involve the world quests. Mm, Lord Commander has spoken, get the condiments. Ah. <sighs> da da dum, da da dum. Ugh. Hmm. I see most of them don't offer big gold rewards. Well, no, there's not going to be something that offers you three grand. Um. Uh, but no, it's it's a side thing. It's not a. It's not a core part of ga gameplay. It's like a side optional thing, and side optional things usually don't offer you that much gold, um, because otherwise everyone would feel pressured to do it. Uh, Fia, so have you decided on your nails for tomorrow for our suggestions, or will you just yell it tomorrow? The only suggestions I remember are pink, like the rocket. Um, so I feel like I have to pick a color. Let me um. But like, what, is it just pink? And so I'm not doing any nail art or what's like, I might not have time for nail art to be totally fair, but like, um, I'm off for dinner, have a good evening. Oh, you suggested Tony Windrider. I thought you were talking about my eyeshadow. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay. dinner, Everyone ah, enjoy your dinner crumb. Uh, enjoy. All Ron do this, all Ron do that. She's always ordering the Uh right, so hang on, let me I probably have more pinks than I do browns. To be honest. It's a fair assumption knowing me. Look, just a little bit. Do I have any that I haven't used for a while? I have I'm that. 22. I have this colour. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? Yay, nay. Be Cloud Serpent. <laughs> it's like Barbie pink. Um, a little bit brighter. I'd say Barbie pink's more of like a blue pink, like a, a bit of a bubblegum sort of shade. Um, do I have one that I would call Barbie pink? Rob's. I have a lot of nail polish. Um. Oh, that one. 109. Where's 109? Uh, even that's not quite Barbie pink. Um, so, like. It's a little bit lighter. You might not be able to see it on camera properly, but it's like a little bit lighter. I'd still call that not quite Barbie pink. That's more, um, I'd need a bit more blue in there, make it a little less peachy, but uh, yeah. Like a cool pink, yeah, exactly. Add a little more blue in there. Blue pink, yeah. Blue toned pink. It's like you can have a green that looks kind of yellowy. It's like olive. 
And then you have a green that's kind of deep and like emerald, which is like a blue green. And then you've like, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, there's different undertones. Uh, hello, Bellasine. How you doing? Welcome on in. Some would say a lot, some might say some. I have 153 bottles of nail polish. That's just the colors, not the bases and top coats and stuff. Cool pink rather than a warm pink. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm learning so much. I'm glad. I'm glad. So am I, am I going with the, the hot pink? The uh, This is called Fruity Patootie. Because <laughs> people get creative with naming shit. <clears throat> Do it because of the name. You're a fruity patootie. Thank you, I think, maybe. Sounds like fun. You're French, wonderful. Well done. The name sells at IMO. Yeah, it's from Sally Hansen. It's a complete salon manicure. And it's fruity patootie. I'll spell it for you because it's got a... Very special spelling. Um, tea. It's spelled like that. Fruity patooty. Uh, could you do a half-half design with some tape? Yes. Yes, I could. In fact, I have a couple of funky shaped tapes that I could use, indeed. Mm, less fun? Oh. Okay. <laughs> so often, it's okay. It's fine. It's made up words. It's fine. Uh, no rocket today. Oh, tomorrow, Haley. Always tomorrow. Indeed, off to pit bells myself. Super Squirt is up in you. Ah, oh, fantastic. Wonderful. Decided, let's go. Okay, but if we're doing a half-half, what the fuck is the other color? <laughs> what, what other color am I using? <sighs> Half and half with what, just pink? Like, <laughs> both pinks. Oh, I'd need a different, I'd need a different pink if I'm doing both pinks. Um, not the other one, they're too close. They're too close in color. Uh, what about like a pale pink? Like, fucking, where's the number? Here it is. It looks like you're spelling out a snip too. Yeah. <laughs> Patootie is so much more fun. I agree. I agree. Zebra stripes? Okay, I don't think I have that. Um, oh, actually. Where are my footers? I don't have zebra print, but what I do have is this stamping plate. She's cute. Do you see the one that's next to the bats? I know it's zigzags. I am aware that it is not zebra print, but is it close enough? Is it close enough? Uh, thanks for stream. Oh, no worries, Cinders. Thank you so much for hanging out. You said yellow compliments. Speak, it does. It does. Emerald green SR, uh-huh. Close enough? Okay. In that case, I can do black and white and then, and then pink. Definitely close enough. Good, I glad. I glad. Good. <laughs> All right, no promises, no promises, but I will try. I will do my best. Would that make a good stream session? Seems interesting. What, painting my nails? Possibly, but I'm already doing fucking bonus streams every goddamn day. What more do you want? <laughs> Obviously a nail art stream. Um, I did actually promise my streamer friends uh, they, when I was doing my nails one day, when we had like a, a meetup, like a virtual meetup on Discord, I was doing my nails and they're like, oh, what are you doing? Show us. And I showed them and they're like, what the fuck? What have you done? How are you, what? How? And I'm like, I stuff stamping. Plus no yell. Um, and so they demanded that I teach them how. And so I said, okay. So like, there's that. There's that. You're just chatting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Heartbreaking nails for the win. There's actually, there's a makeup and beauty category and I'm pretty sure there's actually a nail art tag. If I type in nail, yeah, nail art. There's a nail art tag that you can search for on Twitch. FYI, it's probably empty, but it's there. Heartbreaking nails for the win. If I do heartbreaking nails and it doesn't drop, can I be pissed? <laughs> Fia has friends. I know. I feel like, oh, you like, you have no idea. I mean, maybe you do have an idea, actually. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know your life story. But, um, I don't know. I've always, like, I've had friends, obviously. But it's kind of been, um, you know, it's always usually been, like, friends of convenience. Or, like, I've happened to be there and they've formed a group. And so they've included me because I was there sort of thing. But with this group, um, we've got, a like, a little Discord server we chat in and stuff like that. And um, when they were talking about, because we do, like, a monthly catch-up in Discord. Monthly guess what month it is and they were talking about February and I said okay well I have no time because I'm doing 24 out of 28 days is stream and they're like oh well we can postpone it I'm like no no it's okay you don't have to like you don't have to not do it on my behalf like I can always just not attend or I can come by later or, or something like that and they're like no we want we want you there and and like yeah, you have to be there. You're supposed to teach us how to nail art. I was like, oh shit, okay. So, <laughs> so it just like, it felt really. Well, at least that's over. I felt like I fit in, now. and I felt like I'm I belonged, you know. And it's. Alron is whining again. It's been a really long time since I felt like I was, I, like I felt like I belonged in a group of people I barely knew, and that. Crush our guests. It was a really good feeling. <laughs> And now I'm going to cry because I'm an emotional bitch, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm getting angry. But yeah. May your blades never dull. So it was, uh, it's really nice. So maybe I should try to figure out a way to like, maybe I can film it. Maybe. No promises. No promises. Um. Excited again, let's go. It doesn't drop. Are you gonna be pissed anyways? Might as well have great looking at Well, not 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 pissed pissed. I was just being like, you know what, the num I know the numbers are against me. Even even if I get to sixteen hundred, that's not even half of thirty-three thirty-three, you know. So I like I know that it's probably not gonna drop, but I would very much like it to, and I'm trying to convince the universe to give it to me. Um, but yeah. Uh, can we TD script on a group of level one pets? I'm pretty sure you can, Angor. Um, it just means that, like, because all the script does, it doesn't rely on the levels or anything like that. All it relies on is, like, switch to pet X, use ability Y, you know? So as long as you've got the, as long as it's the correct pet, because some, some scripts refer to a pet slot and a, an ability slot, but there are some scripts that refer to a named pet and a named ability. So that you have to make sure that you've got the right pets in the right slots with the right abilities so that the scripts will work. But if they're level one and poor quality, they'll still work. You might just not get the results you're looking for because most of the scripts are done with 25 rares in mind. That's all. But yeah, you absolutely can use a TD pet battle script with a level one pet, 100%, for sure. It just might not work properly. Like it might not, you might not get a win because it's not doing the damage that it expects it to do. And you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but there also might be scripts that are written with level one pets in mind. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and if you write your own scripts, you can absolutely write them with your own pets in mind. I don't know how to, I don't know how to write scripts. Um, how do you get pet battle to go in auto? Um, so I, it's not automatically running. It is when I push a button. I get one action. Um, so it's not automated. This is not botting. This is not, the, the, there's not a program playing the game for me or anything. If I don't have, if I'm not touching anything, nothing happens. And then I press because I've got my auto button bound to a key. I can press the key and then it does one action. One button press equals one action is uh, Blizzard's rule. Don't ever break that. You'll get yourself banned. Um, but it's a it's a, uh, an add-on called TD Pet Battle Script. And some incredibly minded people on the interwebs um, have written scripts that'll play through a pet battle for you. Obviously, if something goes wrong and you get crit and you die or something like that, it won't completely work, so there's some issues here and there, but um, yeah, it's it's fantastic. It means, especially with battles that are like 
60, 70 turns long. I've seen some fights that are 92 rounds to be successful. It's like, what the fuck? I can't keep track of a 10 round fight in my notes. I've, I'm like, shit, where am I up to? So um, having that with a pet battle script helps you step through that without messing up and without pressing the wrong ability and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's an add-on called TD Pet Battle Scripts, and then you can find the scripts that other people have written on places like Zufu Strategy. It's XU hyphen FU Pet Battle Strategies. Um, uh, or you can write your own. Like, pe people, every script I have has been written by a human somewhere. Um, so you're able to write your own scripts as well, if you so desire. Uh, yes, okay. Um, oh, that's super sweet. Yeah, it's, yeah, it just, it made me, like, it made me tear up a little, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, record it, also share it on YouTube, maybe. Maybe, that's not a bad idea, actually. If I can get it, this little bitch to do the right thing, anyway. Oh, I get that made some friends with people via YouTube stream a number of years ago. Some of us then went off to play D&D together from the three of us. We're going super close. Yay! Oh, that's awesome. I will fear or you can have one of your homegirls record your teaching session. Thanks for answering. You're very welcome, Mangan. Not a problem at all. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Use Zufu to get started. It's incredible. Oh, so helpful. Oh, fuck, I use it like every single, like when I was having the issues here, I was browsing Zufu trying to find a, a new strategy to use. Like it's, I use it for literally everything pet battle. Yeah, all the like pet battles collecting not so much but the actual battles it's i i'm very time poor i don't have a lot of time to do things um so if someone else has already written a strategy fucking oath i'm gonna use it especially if it works um because that means it saves me time trying to figure out how the fuck to win um but yeah definitely awesome uh can you share the link for your td pet battle script please um no, because each individual one will have an individual different link, and I have hundreds and hundreds of them because I have hundreds and hundreds of different teams. Um, Haley, unfortunately, that has come through as asterisks because um, because of the link protection. But I will grab this website. This is where you can find stuff. Enjoy. I'm recovering from COVID, otherwise I'm good, thanks. Oh, well, I hope you feel a lot better a lot sooner than... Wait, hang on. English. I hope you feel a lot better soon. There we go. <laughs> that was more difficult than it should have been. Um... Ah, you're very welcome. Very welcome, Anchor. Uh, do the scripts have alternates, say, if I don't have the pet that it requires? Um, so in, in the strategies on Zufu, if there are alternates that can be used, it'll have the pet and then there'll be a thing down the bottom that says like one out of say three, and then you can click through and change the, the pet in, in the strategy. And then you can, once you've got the set, that's what I was doing before. I was clicking through and swiping through until I found a pet that I had at the right breed. And then once I've done that bit, then I grab the, the pet battle script. It's always worked like that for me um, because I think they know where they're putting each of the pets. Maybe if you shuffled them around, it wouldn't work, like if you actually moved them. But as long as you're using alternates that Zufu suggests, it should work. In my experience, it has. Uh, I mean, hey, if you find one that doesn't, they do have comments on every single strategy. So you can drop a comment to say, the script didn't work when I used this as an alternate. Um, and hey, who knows, you might find someone on the website lovely enough to write you a script. Uh, I did that once. I reported that the script hadn't worked or that it hung on a certain position. And then a couple days later, there was a comment on my, like a reply to my comment. Someone had written me a new script to fix that. I was like, holy fuck, thank you. Like it's, it's they don't need to, but they, they, you know, they're helpful. And that's awesome. Super awesome. Na 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 Right, so what am I gonna need? I'm gonna need white and black, aren't I? Ah, the black's gonna have to be a stamping polish. There we go. So I've got a. I have a black stamping polish. I'll need a white. Hmm. 
Maybe if I use a white stamping polish so it can cover that. I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to do this because see, if I do, I wouldn't do a white stamp over it, actually. No, so if I do the black and white part first, when I go to put this over the top of the half of it, the black will probably show through the pink and that would be shit. But if I do it the other way around and do the pink and then try to put the white over the top of the pink, and then stamp the, like, stamping the black on will be fine, but if I try to put the white over the top of the pink, the white might show through, like, it might end up being a pale pink. I'm trying to figure out... I'm sure I'll find a way. You are not ah! prepared! Tom, hello! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome on in. How are you? How is everybody? How is your stream? What were you up to? Arena and Battlegrounds. Holy shit. Well done. Well done. Welcome indeed. Morning, there won't be enough time to get Gladiator. Oh, so close, Tom. That's okay. Next time. Next time. Yeah, PvP. Fear's favorite. Well, it's going to have to be soon. Because I'm going to need to go and get all those uh, PvP levels. I'm on a level 22. And the first two mounts on my mount collecting list are PvP on a level 40 and on a level 70. So I'm going to die. Um, <laughs> but I want to get him. So eventually we're going to have to do just like BGs every, every week or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh man. Nearly battle time. Make sure you get those last units in guys. Exclamation battle in chat. will get you the link to the stream Raiders battle from where you can log in with your Twitch account, drag and drop your units to the battlefield. Uh, and then in just a couple minutes, we will let her rip. Make an amazing fun rated BG team with the community for sure. I'm not a paladin. Uh, I'm not a paladin. Uh. Oh my god, okay. Thank you for the biddies. Immediately followed by Sheba dropping the. <laughs> Fuck. Good lord. <laughs> oh, the timing indeed. The timing. Can I just say I fucking love that sound command? And not just because of how much I've made through bits so far. <laughs> oh, shit. It's been a while since we've had a, uh, a sound command be so popular. No, um... What was I going to say? I'm not sure rated BG would be a good, a good idea. But I mean, I'm down if you lot are. How do you even make a rated BG team? Is that like, do you actually have to like create it or do you just get in a group and go? Like, how does that work? Can you tell I do nothing to do with PvP? No idea how it works. Good. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> idea just group up and pew pew. Yeah, probably. Organize a group of ten and join. Great fun when it's just chill and nobody cares about winning. When don't you do it via like automatic matchup thing, like LFR kind of thing though? Isn't the opposition probably always gonna care about winning? Oh, excuse me. 
All right, Tasha, let's let's get you done because I'm sick of this. Um, um, you tell you what, I'm looking forward to being able to find my glasses. The charms I need. Yes, Kay, I did that today. I finished my rounds. I, fi I finished my 50 runs, and then I went and bought all three of the pet, all three of the toys that I needed, and it's done. All I need from the entire event now is the mount. Who cares what the opposition wants? All about having fun, right? Look, yes, but also honor. I want my honor levels because I want my mount, so I don't have to do it anymore. So <laughs> but no, we could do that if we had if we had ten people. I would absolutely do rated BGs on PvP nights. Like we'd pick a night, like Friday every Friday. Would do would do rated BGs. Uh, Red, I'd spam Thor, Gooses, and Solstice. Congratulations on your bonus shit. If we didn't have ten, if we only had say eight or nine. Can you queue for random BGs as a raid group? I feel like the answer to that is no. But I don't remember. It's been a while. <clears throat> oh shit, I just started another battle. Fuck, I wasn't supposed to do that. All right, we're gonna finish this dungeon and then whenever, whatever point we're at in the battle, we're gonna run that. We're doing, we're doing, we're finishing this pet battle dungeon because I fucking want Tasha to fall over. Um. <laughs> and then and then we're doing that battle. So make sure you get your units in because we will be starting it early. Ah, uh, max of five, you know, if I, mm, bugger. That's my that's my problem, is that if I can't if I've got nine, like I can't get to ten, but there's nine people who want to join, and we split into two groups in queue, there's no guarantee we'll end up in the same battleground. Uh, which is kind of I mean it's you know, obviously like whatever, but what if one group gets out but then the other group's stuck in their run for like 20 minutes more and all that kind of, yeah, it's just. One team with 159, one at 171, one at 80. Oh, I'm getting there. Need to do some math when my brain isn't as fuzzy tomorrow to figure out exactly how many bracelets I need. Yes, of course, of course. Usually just have to use LFG to pick up one more. Mm, okay, fair. Gotcha. I could just post on group finder for a few more. Fair, fair. As long as those, as long as the, the pugs are aware that we don't, we're not organized and we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Come find me. Fair. Fair. That is another very good option. I think we might actually get this this time, you guys. Now that my uh, chitter spine skittling wasn't half dead when we got in. Question to the Horde players, how do I get to Outland as a level 50? Um, there is a portal to... Maybe it's not a portal to Hellfire. There's a portal to Shat. Like, there's a portal to Shatrath. It's downstairs in the portal room. Um, yeah. There used to be a thing to Hellfire, but I don't remember if it is actually a thing anymore or not. I don't remember. We've spent years working on that. Mm. It might not be pretty, but it packs a punch. Fine. Oh shit. Well, Prove it. Oh, it's random elementals. Okay, that's fine then. Good day to you. I was like, you shit, I've got one that's like half health. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I don't think. NBC to hotel puts you to hellfire. Should be in the portal room. Yeah, but there is also a Shatrath portal. Um it's just downstairs. We've got we've got two levels. If you start heading out, there's a right hand turn that you go like down a bunch of st and there's three portals down there. Caverns of Time, Shatrath, and another one. Portal to Hellfire. Yes, Portal to Hellfire in Undercity. Right, and the under the portal to Undercity from Orgrimmar is at the top of the Zeppelin Tower. Yes, thank you. Appreciate the contributions. You're very welcome, Kim. Isn't the community awesome? This thing has 13,000 health. This is ridiculous. I'm going to pass that portal many times. They're doing these days. Yeah. Yep. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. 
Night Elf Mage, taking Covenant suggestions. <sighs> Night Foe. Night Foe, Night Foe, Night Foe. I mean, it fits with the Night Elf thing, with their whole connection to nature and stuff like that as well. Uh, but also, Night Foe is the best for mages, technically. Um, well, for Fire Mages at least, I don't remember about Arcane or Frost, but it's probably Night Foe as well. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, it also fits with the aesthetic of the night, uh, the night elves, though. Night elf belongs to the night fae. Mm, fire or frost? Yeah, fire mages are supposed to go night fae. I'm Venthyr because I don't care, uh, but I'm also blood elf. Night elves work with night fae. Night fae, yeah. Level them all! I mean, there's also that option, but like, I don't have time for that. <laughs> Much later problem, Frost Mage Necker is so cool. Ah, really? I, I've been Venthyr since they announced the expansion. So <laughs> as soon as I saw what the event, like what the covenants were gonna be, I was like, oh, oh Venthyr is cool, they're vampires. It's like, oh cool, that's also nice, but still Venthyr. Uh, yeah, but still Venthyr. Yeah, no, nah, Venthyr. And I haven't changed my mind since. So, <laughs> hi, hello, I am a vampire. Can I help you please? Like, <laughs> uh, not only aesthetics, it's also night face. Night elf souls are placed into the heart of the forest. True, true. Yeah, there are a lot of reasons for a night elf mage to be a night fae. <laughs> like, lots. Elf mage vent later. Fuck yeah. <sighs> she gets there one day. She will. She will. One day. One day. Ta-da! Fucking finally. Okay. Only took us, what, like two hours? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, well, hey, I've ironed out the problems. Hopefully that dungeon will never be a problem again. Knocks on wood. How are you? We complete the quest. I have one shadowy gem. I must have purchased one last time I ran this. I could buy the Wailing Lasher. Fuck it. I want something after all of that. I'm buying the Wailing Lasher. No, don't sell it back, you numpty. See you I'm done. Uh, okay. Early battle it is. I did, it is set to yes. Ready, battle. I'm gonna place a spell just to help us out. Because we might need it. I know it's very early, but I did say we we're gonna be starting it early. I just didn't know how early. <sighs> so where's my white polish? What is it called? It's 110. Uh, this one, and then it's 120. This one. So I have colors. Yep. I'm gonna do my best. No promises. I cannot promise you that they're gonna be done by tomorrow's stream because. Look, nail art takes a while, and it is a work day tomorrow as well, but I will try. I'll do my bestest. Uh, new pet, yay! Exactly. We won! Holy fuck, good job, guys! 
I honestly was not expecting the win. Well done. Uh, Dick Vander, Bod, Draz, and Gooses, congratulations on your bonus shit. Well done. I got a vampire. Oh, look, boss. We're going to start on Friday with a boss. We're not going to do battles tomorrow. There is a bonus stream tomorrow. Um, speaking of streams, uh, we're currently on the 16th of February. Tomorrow is the 17th. We are having a Heartbreaker Farm. It starts at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. What are you hiding? Thank you for the biddies, Kay. Um, we're starting at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, which is four and a half hours ago tomorrow. Um, then on Friday, we are doing Heartbreaker Farm. That one is starting at midday, 12 noon Australian Eastern Standard Time because my mommy is coming and we're going out for dinner and I'm so excited. Um, but that one will be starting 10 and a half hours ago in two days. Good. Uh, Saturday, Heartbreaker Farm, 6 p.m. Australian Eastern, so same time as tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, Heartbreaker Farm, plus Transmog Hunt when we're done with the Heartbreaker. Uh, that's going to be starting at normal stream time. Same with Monday, Heartbreaker Farm, plus Mount Farm Monday uh, on the 21st. Then our the, it says on the 22nd I'm doing the Heartbreaker Farm. However, that's because Monday's stream is continuing overnight into Tuesday morning. That's going to be almost a 12-hour stream. Starting at 4 doing my Heartbreaker Farm, doing Mount Farm Monday until 1 a.m. when dailies reset, then have that three last hours to get through the last of my Heartbreaker runs if it hasn't dropped yet. I would appreciate the moral support. I would also appreciate as many people as possible uh, to make full, full parties so I don't have any queue times. Because fuck me, I'm going to be fucking tired. I'm going to be dead. Um, so the more people I have kind of scooting in and getting us some instant cues, the, the better that's going to be. Uh, and also, of course, you guys get attempts quickly done as well. Like, I'd love to get you guys instant cues too. This is not all about me. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm going to be fucked. It'll be the last day and I'll just be fucked. Uh, and then I'm going to sleep. No, I'm not. I'm working on that Tuesday. <sighs> it's fine. Everything is fine. But on Wednesday, we're not doing squirt day. We are doing... That does not sound at anything like a drum roll. Fingers on a fucking wrist rest. Uh, 9 2 launch day. And I'm very excited. I cannot wait to see all the new content. It's going to be phenomenal. But that is a week away. Shut up. I know it's bedtime. Uh, <laughs> I am. I get lost. I get um, involved in things and don't realize what the time is. So I have an alarm to tell me. By the way, you should probably think about going to bed soon because you're unhealthy and you need to sleep. Um, <laughs> but. That's what we're going. If you want all these times, all the start times and shit, if you want them in your time zone, you can scroll down a little bit and click Fiamma and then click schedule and all of it will be there waiting for you, converted to your local time, which is supremely awesome. Or if like you want to bookmark it for later reference, it's twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma forward slash schedule. That's how you get directly to that page with all the, the time zone bullshit. Um, yeah, I need sleep. Where's Twitch? This one. Uh, back to Twitch. Um, will it break fear? Probably. I'm going to do my best to keep you company. Thank you, Kay. I very much appreciate it. However, none of you are obligated to do so. I would love the company, love the moral support, but you are not obligated. Please, you know, take care of yourselves before you take care of fear. That doesn't just go for financial shit. It goes for your own health as well. That is really, really important. Um, oh, you know what? I think we might send some love in this direction. Yay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I'm up to do last minute attempts as well. Yes. Can I just come along and offer moral support? You absolutely can, Lucky. 100%. I would very much appreciate it. Sleep. It's only 4.30 a.m. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mandatory. Got it. Correct. No. Um, Thank you, Zam, for dropping the socials link and reminding me. Um, I made partner in June last year. It's been a bit over... What the fuck, man? It's nearly like eight months? What? How? How? God damn. Sorry. <clears throat> Everything's fine. My next big goal is to be full-time. I want to be a full-time content creator. I want to be able to do this with you guys, for you guys, full-time. In order to do that, I need to be able to pay my bills. And paying my bills is usually done... Uh, well, I would like to be able to pay my bills via sponsorship payments, brand deals. 80% of brand deals come through Instagram. Um, so 
if you have an Instagram account and you're not already following me, could I ask a massive favor and get you to swing by and drop me a follow? I, it, I know it doesn't sound like much and it sounds a bit silly, like a Twitch streamer. Why are you not asking us to follow your Twitch channel? I know, I get it, but I promise you, it is actually right now the most effective way for you to help me grow is on the Instas. I do also have a Twitter, a Facebook, and a TikTok. If you'd like to follow those, you can also follow here. Uh, join the Discord if you'd like. Uh, all the ways to connect with Fia and the Fiamily, which is what we call our community here, by the way. It's a terrible pun and we love it. Don't judge. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Instagram is redonkulous. Like you have no idea. It, it like to the point that I am considering, like I'm looking at investing some money into a social media marketing person to take a look at my Instagram and give me a batch of, of hashtags to use and some advice on my content and, and a, a schedule for posting to try to grow my presence there more um, because I want to, uh, and it's, it's going to be so valuable. Like paying for that person is probably going to pay for itself within a year or so, uh, as long as I follow their advice and it's good advice. So I'm, I'm on the lookout for a good social media person to, to do that, to help me with that because fear, I want to be full time. I want to be a professional content creator. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to get, I'm going to go, um, I got it. Her IG is fire, especially today. Oh, very sweet of you, X. How often do you use Twitter? Like seven times a day. I don't go on there to check stuff very often, but I post very frequently, very frequently. Um, is it bigger than YouTube? Um, for someone who doesn't create mainly on YouTube, yeah. Yeah, it, it really is. Um, I don't I don't have time to do pre-recorded content. Um, the stuff that I upload to YouTube, I do have a YouTube account um, and what I upload there is VODs, literally, just, just VODs with like a little preamble thing uh, that I stick on them myself. Um, but I don't have time to go through and like edit stuff and, and create new content just for YouTube. Um, and YouTube tends to only get financial benefits like when you're a fair bit bigger than I am. I've got like 300 subscribers on YouTube or something like that. It's, it's not a thing really. Um, but yeah, uh, Insta like for, for people in my particular position, Instagram is the way to go. Uh, if they're not, if, if you don't have, if you're not creating for YouTube as like your main platform, Instagram is, is the way to go. Uh, yeah, I've got a lot of people in on in my like uh, that I talk to regularly who are industry professionals, and all of them, all of them are recommending. Like they say, TikTok is good as long as your TikTok content is similar or the same as your Twitch content, which is why I upload clips to TikTok. But I don't do like the TikTok trends, like the the dances and the, all that kind of stuff, because that's not what's here. So if people see my TikTok and it's a trend, and then they follow it through to my Twitch and my Twitch is totally different, then they're not going to give a flying fuck and they'll unfollow me on both. Um, so yeah, it's it's a kind of a sticky situation. Um, so Instagram's like my best chance at this point. Yeah, but uh, thank you for the question though. I appreciate it. The insides of this shit is hella, like business side of content creation is fucking weird, man. Fucking weird. Uh, right, okay, we're sending some love. What did I miss? I'll stream. No heartbreaker, uh, pet battles. Finally got some pets and um, talking about business uh, and how I want to go full time and I need follows on Instagram. So pretty please follow me on Instagram. Also everywhere else, but like mainly that's my focus at the moment. Hope you're having a lovely night, Resto. Uh, let's pop in this one. And Tim Tams. Yes, Tim Tams and Baja Blast because, uh, <laughs> and penguins, penguins do that right now. Oh, very sweet of you, Resto. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Okay. Did you have that saved from earlier or did you type that out, Kay? Jesus, well done. Um, here's the raid. For, oh, thank you, Resto. Much appreciated. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy the content. You have a stream deck button for it. I, good lord. You can make me cry, holy fuck. Anyway, guys, grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype Eno emote, either because you're not a sub or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, both of which are totally okay, uh, you can paste the entire message into the chat box and then delete Fiamma Hype and replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote when we get to Sleepy's channel. Sleepy Pan is a 
lovely, wonderful human. I've known her for a long time and she's just genuinely infectiously happy. I adore her. Uh, so we're going to go send her some love. Um, so far I am good. What a pro. <laughs> Get on my level. She's my mate. Ah! She's over there around all the time. She's awesome. She fucking rocks. She's great. So we're going to send her some love because she deserves it. Um, take care of yourselves. I'm not a paladin. Uh... Thank you for the biddies, Kay. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I will see you tomorrow for another 50 Heartbreaker runs. All love. Mwah. Bye, guys.